सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू एवरी टैप एंड गाइज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सॉरी फॉर द डिले आई एम रियली रियली सॉरी फॉर द डिले दैट हैज बिन कॉज बिकॉज ड्यू टू सम टेक्निकल एरर सो ड्यू टू सम नेटवर्क इशू वी कुड नॉट स्टार्ट द सेशन एट ट्वेल्व पी एम आई आई एम रियली सॉरी फॉर दैट नाउ गाइज आई थिंक यू शुड बी रियली ग्लैड आई थिंक एज आई आई एम सींग दैट चैट ऑल्सो दैट मोस्ट ऑफ यू आर वेटिंग फॉर द सेशन सो रियली ग्लैड टू सी दिस थिंग एंड इफ आई टॉक अबाउट टूडे सेशन टूडे सेशन इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सेशन दैट इज टॉकिंग अबाउट योर जी ए session i think now you have taken your mock test also you have revised orally also so this will be a very important your quick revision session for your important general awareness section that is of 20 marks that will be covering your current affairs from the month of june to september okay so guys before proceeding with the session if you are new to our youtube channel kindly subscribe to the channel so that you could get all the latest updates then guys to get the access of the pdf kindly subscribe to the telegram channel the link for which is given in the description below and i am really seeing that the josh is high in each and every student so now guys talking about the marathon series so yes we have taken the most important session and if i talk about today's session this is a very important session that is about your general awareness section now guys very important announcement before starting the session is that we are running a flat 40% off on all our courses that is from 11th to 13th of september and you could avail the course by using the code weekend now guys let's start with the first month of the day that is the first month that is the june month of june so now guys let's start with the first question of the day the first question is about the who has named a covid variant that is the first found in india as kappa and delta respectively where are the headquarters of world health organization so very very important question static questions are again important for your examination let's see how many of you get your answer right that is the headquarter of world health organization one of the most easiest question of the day if i talk about today okay so guys the headquarter of world health organization is as we know it is in geneva okay now guys moving to the second question the second question is about again a question related to who so who has approved a sinovac covid vaccine for emergency using so you tell me that this vaccine has been developed by which country theek hai kis country ne ye vaccine develop ki hai is it india japan china russia ya fir france okay so now let's see how many of you get your answer right for the sinovac covid vaccine theek hai So guys the answer here will be the option number C that is China is the right answer here so talking about how many questions guys there will be around 400 plus more than 400 questions will be there in this specific session theek hai ji to second third question kya hai again a question on WHO so the question is who has been appointed as the chairman of world health organization okay is it arun kumar mishra narendra batra bvr subramanyam subodh kumar jaiswal or dr patrick amoth ठीक है लेट्स सी हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू गेट योर आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन ऑफ द चेयरमैन ऑफ वर्ल्ड हेल्थ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो आई एम गेटिंग द आंसर अवर अली सिंह सर पैट्रिक विल बी द आंसर ओके लेट्स सी हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू गेट योर आंसर राइट आई एम गेटिंग मोस्ट ऑफ यू द आंसर इज ऑप्शन नंबर ई एंड येस गायस डॉक्टर पैट्रिक एमोथ इज द राइट आंसर हियर नाउ द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज अबाउट इसाक हेजॉक that is a person by the name of isaac hazon has recently been elected as the president you have to tell me that he has been elected as the president of which among the following countries is it turkey denmark israel iran or syria okay very very important questions guys i am again repeating these are really important questions this will be a very beneficial session for your quick revision of this general awareness section okay i am getting the answer israel so let's say guys the answer here is yes option number c israel is the right answer here once again really glad to see this kind of response from all of you this makes me really really happy that the level of your preparation is really good that just when i'm just re reading the question i'm getting the answer from all of you that is israel before given the question also theek hai ji so guys that is the answer for the third question okay from that is i as isaac say israel yaad rakho isaac israel okay isaac and is 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 israel so that is our trick for you to remember this question then guys the next question is about a book by the name of star gazing the player in my life you have to tell me the author of that specific book is it shane vaughan vvs lakshman yuvraj singh ravi shastri or saurav ganguly okay let's see how many of you get your answer right guys so the answer here is yes i am getting the answer ravi shastri the right answer here so he has written a book book by the name of star gazing the players in my life 
Now guys, one thing more I want to ask from you is whether I should read the option or I should just read the question and then I should follow with the answer. So you tell me this in the comment box, okay? Whether I should read the option also or whether you want that I should just read a question and then I should give you the answer. Now guys, the next question is about the director of, that is who has been elected as the board of director for International Dairy Foundation, okay? Okay, guys, I'm getting the answer. Just question now. Let's start. Board of Board of Director of the International Dairy Federation is that is Mr. R. S. Sodhi. Okay. Now, guys, the next question is about the warship Kharag. So, a boat named warship Kharag has caught fire and later sank into the Gulf of Oman. You should have to tell me that it belonged to which country. Okay. The country to which the warship Kharag belongs. The answer here is guys, yes, option number A, Iran is the right answer here. Okay, ji. next is the question about the Telangana Foundation Day. Again, a very important thing because the state foundation days can also be asked in the NABAD examination. The state specific thing are important for your NABAD also. So Telangana Foundation Day celebrated on, is celebrated on 2nd of June. So Telangana Foundation Day when it is 2nd of June. Ko. Then is about the global day of parents. That is the global day of parents is observed on which year? That is on which date this is observed. Okay, let's see how many of you get your answer right for the global day of parents. So guys, the answer here is option number D, 1st of June is the right answer here. Now very important thing to remember all the days. One thing I will be discussing with you, maybe the date, that is the day, the date, the next thing that you have to revise if something is not covered here is like themes. If I am not telling you a theme that you have to revise on your own self. This is again a very, very important thing from for your examination point of view. Okay, the theme now you have to tell me in the comment box what is the theme or if you don't know then try to revise the theme also. Next is about the World Bicycle Day. There is World Bicycle Day celebrated on which date? Okay, G, I think this is again an easy answer. So, World Bicycle Day is celebrated on 3rd of June. On 3rd of June, the World Bicycle Day is celebrated. Okay, G. Then is the Raimona. Very, very important thing. So, Raimona was seen as news. So, he has it has become the 6th national park of which of the following state. Very, very important thing. I think these questions have been discussed with you. If you have gone through the YouTube videos, if you have revised the thing very much easily, I think these are the questions that we have revised a lot of time with you. Ritika Rehal ma'am has re has revised this thing. I think me I myself has come uh, come about come after these questions and have revised these things with you. So Raimona is a national park of yes, it is a national park of Assam. Okay, because those of you who have given the answer Assam, they are absolutely right. Then guys, the next question is that which organization has become the official partner of ICC till the year 2023? Very, very important question from the sports section that who has become the official partner of ICC. So official partner of ICC has become, yes, Bharat Pay has become the official partner of ICC till 2023. So yes, guys, Pooja, Akhil, Biswanta, they are getting the answer right. That is that Bharat Pay is the official partner for ICC till 2023. The next question is, guys, that who among the following has been appointed as the CEO of HSBC Bank, that is Hong Kong and Shanghai Banking Corporation Limited. You have to tell me because questions on banking are generally asked in paper one. Okay, phase one, specifically these kind of questions are important. Had That is CEO. So the answer here is Hitendra Dave is the answer. Dr. Patrick Amat, we have just discussed about a question about him. Okay, Dr. Patrick Amat, we have discussed. So this means, means this will not be an option. So Hitendra Dave is the answer. Talking about the headquarter of HSBC, it is in? London. So London mein hai na headquarter HSBC ka. Okay, now let's see how many of you get your answer. Kisi kisko, just kisko. How many of you know that the headquarter of HSBC was in London? This is again a very important question that could be asked in your examination. Okay, ji. Now, the next question is about the Merapi volcano, which has recently erupted in the month of June. So now you have to tell me that this Merapi volcano belongs to which of the following country, or is it located in which of the following? countries is it indonesia russia japan ethiopia or united states 
so i'm getting the answer indonesia somebody is saying uh, indonesia i'm getting the answer okay ji so guys the answer here is yes indonesia is the right answer here then guys moving to the next question is about that who among the following has broken the world record in the women's 10000 meters at the world athletic continental tour which was taken place in huelva in hangelo in netherlands so which means it was taken place in netherlands you just have to tell me the name of that specific player very very important because sports section is a very important thing lots of events have taken place in sports also if i give you an example olympics has taken place then the paralympics has taken place and if a record has been broken that is again important for us so the answer here is yes guys option number c sifan hasan is the right answer here so sifan hasan has she has broken the world record in the women's 10000 meters the next question is who has taken over as a charge of director general operations in indian navy okay let's see how many of you get your answer right for the director general operation in indian navy so guys the answer here is yes it is rajesh pendekar is the right answer here the next question is about which of the following state has released a film on shivaji to restore his forts and temples guys this is a very very important question very very important question and let's see how many of you get your answer for this specific question about maharaj shivaji or about chhatrapati shivaji so guys here the answer is that for the fort it has been restored by the state of goa yes guys option number c goa is the right answer here so they have released a film on restoring the forts and temples of shivaji in the state of goa the next question is about abdullah shahid so abdullah shahid he has been elected as the president of the united nations general assembly in the month of june you just have to tell me that he is presently working as the foreign minister of which among the following countries about mr abdullah shahid let's see how many of you get your answer right so here guys the answer is maldives so he is presently working as the foreign minister of maldives okay guys now a very important day that is the international day of innocent children victims of aggression is observed on which among the following date is it 3rd of june 2nd of june 5th of june 4th of june or 1st of june theek hai ji let's see how many of you get your answer right so guys here the answer is option number d 4th of june is the right answer here theek hai so those of you who are giving the answer 4th of june their answer is absolutely correct theek hai ji now vidya namaste theek hai ji now moving to the next question is about world ocean day so world ocean day is observed on 8th of june the date i have given you now you tell me the theme for this specific day that is a world ocean day for the year 2021 is it time for nature innovation for a sustainable ocean is it gender and the ocean is it the ocean life and livelihood innovations for a sustainable ocean or none of these ठीक है जी लेट्स सी हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू गेट योर आंसर फॉर दिस वर्ल्ड ओशन डे राइट सो यस गाइस ऑप्शन नंबर सी द ओशन लाइफ एंड लाइवलीहुड इज द राइट आंसर हियर ठीक है जी सो अंशु कावेरी चेतन बिस्वंता संगीता देव ऑल ऑफ यू आर गिविंग द राइट आंसर दैट इज ऑप्शन नंबर सी इज द राइट आंसर हियर ठीक है जी नाउ गाइस वन थिंग मोर वेदर यू वांट मी टू स्लो डाउन माय पेस और वेदर यू फील दैट द पेस इज फाइन ओके Tell me in the chat box whether you are feeling my pace is right or you want me to slow down my pace. ठीक है जी, this depends on you. Now, guys, the next question is about Cooper. So, Cooper is the world's biggest new dinosaur dinosaur species that has been discovered. Okay, जी. Now let's see which you have to tell me in which country this species has been found. ठीक है जी. So everyone is saying no slow. ठीक है जी. I will be the pace is fine, so I will be doing on. I will be going on the same pace. ठीक है जी. So Cooper, you have to tell me the dinosaur species. So simple is it is a dinosaur species has been discovered in which country? So Cooper has been discovered in Australia. ठीक है जी. So Cooper has been discovered in Australia. Very important information for you. Then the next question is who among the following has overtaken Lionel Messi to become the second highest international goal scorer? ठीक है जी नाउ दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फॉर ऑल द फुटबॉल लवर्स ठीक है लियोनेल मेसी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फुटबॉल प्लेयर लेट्स सी हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू फुटबॉल लवर्स गेट योर आंसर राइट इन दिस क्वेश्चन द 
second highest international goal scorer is yes the indian player that is talk, that is sunil chetri the indian captain of captain of indian football team sunil chetri is the right answer here theek hai ji now guys coming to the next question that is election commission of india you have to tell me that election commission of india has been appointed who has recently been appointed as the election commission of election commissioner in india theek hai ji is it anup chandra pande vishwavir ahuja bvr subramaniam hitendra dave or dr patrick gamot so here i am getting the answer anup chandra somebody saying sir anup chandra pande i am getting the answer so yes guys option number a anup chandra pande is the right answer here theek hai ji now coming to the next question is about the corpet exercise so 31st edition of corpet that is coordinating patrols or the corpet exercise has taken place you just have to tell me that this exercise has been taken place between india along with which of the following country is it indonesia russia china thailand or antarctica so guys the answer here is yes option number d thailand is the right answer here. and guys one trick i just want to give you for important maritime exercise because generally what used to happen is most of the students get confused that's it how to remember this defense exercise so just what you could do is now at this present moment just when you go across any defense exercise make a table like the name of the exercise and then the countries that are there in it theek okay? hai most of them the those in which india is participating are relevant so now what you could do is here write a india that is india which are the following countries this will be really really helpful for your quick revision just before the examination also just look at this page and this will be all for you or uh, for revising your defense exercises the next question is about the convergence agents energy services limited so they have signed an mou with which of the following ut to make it carbon neutral so let's see how many of you get your answer right theek hai ji for the carbon neutral ut that is with the cesl so let's see how many of you get your answer right so guys the answer here is option number d ladakh is the right answer here theek hai ji then is guy i will re look into it theek hai ji don't worry akash i will re look in i will re look into it if there is any kind of question if there is any kind of error that you have spotted i will make the correction okay don't worry okay so don't worry don't guys don't worry if there is any correction i will make the correction in the pdf okay i will re look re look into it and then i will make the correction theek hai ji chalo about the digital india corporation that is they have signed an mou with which of the following organizations to provide demand based tele agriculture advisories to farmer theek hai ji to national fertilizer hai national seed corporation hai icar hai ya fir fci hai to iska answer kya hai guys iska answer hai option number c indian council of agriculture research has recently signed an mou with kiske sath demand based to for demand based tele agriculture advisories to farmer theek hai ji chalo ji तो नेक्स्ट इज गाइस अबाउट द अपॉइंटमेंट कमेटी ऑफ कैबिनेट हैज अप्रूव्ड द एक्सटेंशन ऑफ द चेयरमैनशिप दैट इज एक्सटेंशन ऑफ हु अमंग द फॉलोइंग एज द चेयरमैन ऑफ लाइफ इंश्योरेंस कॉर्पोरेशन ऑफ इंडिया ठीक है जी तो सिफन हसन तो अभी हमने पढ़ लिया कि ये तो आंसर गलत हो गया है ठीक है जी क्या नरेंद्र बत्रा है क्या टी रविशंकर है जॉर्ज जे कतून है या एम आर कुमार है लेट सी हाउ मेन ऑफ यू गेट योर आंसर राइट ठीक है जी so guys i am getting the answer mr kumar so yes guys m r kumar is the right answer here to dekho ye ek cheez this is one important thing that you have to remember hasifan hasan we know he's no narinder batra is related to hockey theek hai ji to hockey federation ke member ban rahe hain narinder batra ji to usse related hai ho jate hain theek hai ji t ravi shankar ji bhi nahi hai because he is associated with rbi so that is again so he is again wrong here theek hai ji then जोस जे कटूर आप उसके बारे में सर्च कर सकते हो सो दिस इज वन इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग ठीक है ये बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग है एलिमिनेशन मेथड इफ यू हैव गॉन थ्रू द थिंग बाय एलिमिनेशन मेथड आल्सो यू कुड सॉल्व दिस काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चंस ठीक है जी चलो तो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज अबाउट वर्ल्ड ब्रेन ट्यूमर डे यू हैव टू टेल मी दैट दिस वर्ल्ड ब्रेन ट्यूमर डे इज सेलिब्रेटेड ऑन विच डेट एवरी ईयर ठीक है जी सो इज इट थर्ड ऑफ जून सेकेंड ऑफ जून फिफ्थ ऑफ जून एट ऑफ जून या फिर फर्स्ट ऑफ जून ठीक है लेट्स सी हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू गेट योर आंसर फॉर द वर्ल्ड ब्रेन ट्यूमर डे 
सो गाइज आंसर क्या है वर्ल्ड प्रिंटिंग डे का आंसर है जी एट्थ ऑफ जून इज द राइट आंसर फॉर द वर्ल्ड ब्रेन ट्यूमर डे नाउ द कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट डे वर्ल्ड फूड सेफ्टी डे तो अभी पढ़ के आए वर्ल्ड ब्रेन ट्यूमर डे मनाया जाता है एट्थ ऑफ जून को वर्ल्ड सेफ्टी फूड डे मनाया जाता है ऑन सेवंथ ऑफ जून अब आपने मुझे बताना है वट इज द थीम फॉर वर्ल्ड फूड सेफ्टी डे फॉर द ईयर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन ओके सो इज इट फूड सेफ्टी फॉर हेल्थी टुमारो इज इट सेफ फूड एवरी वन बिजनेस इज इट सेफ फूड टूडे फॉर हेल्थी टुमारो इज इट फूड सेफ्टी एवरी वन बिजनेस लेट सी आई थिंक दिस इज अगेन अ वेरी वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन बिकॉज वर्ल्ड फूड सेफ्टी डे हैज बी डिस्कस विद यू लॉट ऑफ टाइम एंड दिस इज रियली इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर योर ए आर डी सेक्शन ऑल्सो ओके फॉर ए आर डी ऑल्सो बिकॉज फूड सेफ्टी ठीक है दिस इज अ टॉपिक ऑफ ए आर डी सो आंसर हेयर विल बी येस का ऑप्शन नंबर सी सेफ फूड टूडे फॉर अ हेल्थी टुमारो इज द राइट आंसर here then guys the next question is about the hing patkari so hing patkari has become the seventh national park of which among the following that this thing it is really glad to see i think there was one student in the comment box that has given the answer of it already also let's see because this is just a presence of mind if you have just seen looking at the answers i think this will be really answer for that theek hai ji to yes the answer is assam so yes the student i just know that i just don't know the name of the student but that guy that person who has given this thing i am really glad to see See, ठीक है, so that is why I was not asking you, addressing your query because the question I have asked you is, uh, so earlier, Rai Mona, we have discussed it has become the sixth national park of Assam, and now the Hing Patka, the Hing Patkai is the seventh national park of Assam. ठीक है जी, चलो. The next question is about which bank has been named by the Forbes in the list of world's best bank for the year 2021? Is it City Bank? OCBC Bank, DBS Bank, HDFC Bank, or none of the above? ठीक है जी? तो आंसर क्या है? Let's see how many of you get your answer right here. तो आंसर क्या है, guys? आंसर है इसका ऑप्शन नंबर C. DBS Bank is the right answer here. ठीक है? Now the first purpose as for your homework is you have to tell me that the headquarter of DBS Bank is in which among the following district or which among the following state or country? Okay, now this you have to tell me in the comment box. Now, guys, moving to the next question is that RBI has approved reappointment of whom among the following as the part-time chairman of ICICI Bank. ठीक है जी, ICICI Bank was in lot in news. So you have to tell me who has now been reappointed as the part-time chairman of ICICI Bank. ठीक है जी, तो अभी हमने पढ़ा है नुपचंद्र पांडे जी के बारे में he will not be there. Doctor Patrick Ahmed will not be there. Hitendra Dave will not be there. Let's see how many of you get your answer right now. ठीक है दिस इज अगेन अ वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन तो आंसर इसका क्या है जी आंसर इसका गिरीश चंद्र चतुर्वेदी इज द राइट आंसर हियर सो ऑप्शन नंबर सी इज द राइट आंसर हियर ठीक है देन बेटा द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज अबाउट रिसर्च फ्रॉम विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इंस्टीट्यूट हैव फाउंड अ वे इन डिटेक्टिंग द टॉपिकल साइक्लॉन्स इन द नॉर्थ इंडियन ओशन अर्लियर देन सेटेलाइट ठीक है जी लेट सी हाउ मेन यू गेट यूर आंसर राइट फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन दैट इज अबाउट द Instrument that is the researchers who have found an institute who have found an instrument the, or a way in detecting the tropical cyclones. Guys, how many of you get your answer right? So is it Arun Kumar Mishra, Chandrasekhar Ghosh, Ram Prasad Siddharth, K Nagaraj Naidu, or Rajesh Pajagar? Okay, so let's see how many of you get your answer right here, guys. So here the answer is option number D. K Nagaraj Naidu is the right answer here. ठीक है जी चलो जी द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज अबाउट आरबीआई हैज हाइक द एटीएम इंटरचेंज फीस पर ट्रांजैक्शन फ्रॉम रुपीस फिफ्टीन टू हाउ मेनी रुपीस ठीक है टिपिकल बैंकिंग क्वेश्चन लेट सी हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू गेट योर आंसर राइट ठीक है जी अबाउट दी दैट द हाइक इन एटीएम इंटरचेंज ठीक है सो इज इट रुपीज फिफ्टीन टू हाउ मेनी रुपीज सो आंसर इज रुपीज सेवनटीन दीज आर काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन जो काफी टिपिकल है बट दैट कैन बी आस इन योर एग्जामिनेशन ऑल्सो ओके The next question is about who among the following has been appointed as the Chief Information Officer of Wipro. That is Chief Information Officer of Wipro. Who has been appointed? Let's see in the answer. Is it Amar Kumar, Josh Jekato, Ravi Shankar, Narendra Bataya, Anu Prohit? I think this is one of the most easiest question of the day. The answer is Anu Prohit because we've discussed one with Sir Amar Kumar also, T Ravi Shankar sir also, and Narendra Batra also. Okay, so Josh Jekato we have also discussed. This way you could easily answer this question. That is Anu Prohit is the right answer here. 
Then guys about the Buddha Dev Das Gupta, he has passed away. You have to tell me his profession. He belonged to which among the following professions? Whether he was renowned director, cricket coach, hockey coach, boxing coach, or musician. So if I talk about Mr. Buddha Dev Das Gupta, so the answer here is guys, yes, that is he was a renowned director. Next is who has become the title sponsor for the London Marathon in a six-year partnership? Okay, the sponsor for London Marathon. Let's see. Earlier we have discussed about sponsor for ICC. That was Bharat Pay till the year 2023. Now London Marathon title sponsor is guys. The London Marathon title sponsor is Tata Consultancy Services. Okay, ji. Chalo. Next come to the next question. That is I M I A M A I S. That is who has been appointed as the chairperson of IAMAI's Grievance Redressal Board. Okay, ji. Let's see. Is it Vanita Gupta, Rekha Mohan, Arjun Kumar Sikri, Mingma Tenji, or none of the above? Let's see how many of you get your answer right. Okay, ji. So answer kya hai? Answer is option number C, Arjun Kumar Sikri. Guys, see one thing I want to tell you. See your total paper timing is 120 minutes, and if I talk about there in GA section, it should give you. You should. Solve the question within ten, five to ten minutes. If you are solving your GA question within five to ten minutes, it will really help you in solving your other section. Okay, your time up. Can you use it? You could use the specific time in reasoning, math, quant, as well as in your ARD and ESI question. So that is why your pace should be high in your GA section because it is very easy question for the GA. Okay, whether you know, whether you don't know. So this trick should be really important for you. Then, guys, the next question is: Central government has reappointed whom among the following as the deputy governor for? Two years, ठीक है जी. Deputy Governor point किया गया. किसको point किया? Deputy Governor of, I think, IBI. ठीक है. Let's see how many you get your answer right. So ये answer मैं पहले भी पूछ चुका था. That is M K Jain. That is question that I have asked you earlier also. ठीक है जी. M K Jain वाला question. Then is the the Northern Coalfields Limited has contributed rupees ten crore to which of the following states or UTs to support the fight against COVID? ठीक है जी. Let's see how many of you get your answer right. ठीक है जी केरला है अंडेमान एंड निकोबार है असम है मध्य प्रदेश है या राजस्थान है ठीक है जी लेट्स सी हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू गेट योर आंसर राइट तो हियर गाइस द आंसर इज ऑप्शन नंबर डी मध्य प्रदेश इज द राइट आंसर हियर देन इज हु मंग द फॉलोइंग हैज बीन अपॉइंटेड एज द एडिशनल सेक्रेटरी इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इकोनॉमिक अफेयर्स एज द मेंबर ऑफ द बोर्ड ऑफ सिक्योरिटीज एंड एक्सचेंज बोर्ड ऑफ इंडिया Very very important question. Let's see how many of you get your answer right. That whom the following has been appointed as the additional secretary in the Department of Economic Affairs. Is it Mr. Vikas Bhel, Alok Kumar, Padma Kumar Nair, Sanjay Yadav, or Anand Mohan Bajaj? So this answer is what? This answer is Anand Mohan Bajaj is the right answer here. So those of you who are giving the answer that is Anand Mohan Bajaj, they are absolutely right. Then is whom the following has been named as the co-founder of Zomato. ठीक है वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन सो को फाउंडर ऑफ जोमैटो किसको बनाया गया है टेल मी इन द कमेंट बॉक्स ठीक है जी सो गाइस द आंसर हियर इज आंसर क्या है जी आकृति चोपड़ा ठीक है जी तो आप याद कर सकते हैं जोमैटो के को फाउंडर कौन है आकृति चोपड़ा देन इज नेफ टेली बेनेट हैज बीन इलेक्टेड एज द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ विच अमंग द फॉलोइंग कंट्रीज टर्की डेनमार्क इसराइल ईरान या रशिया तो अभी हमने पढ़ा है इसराइल के बारे में ठीक है जस्ट वी हैव रिसेंट वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट इसराइल के बारे में इसराइल के लीडर के बारे में हमने अभी पढ़ा है नाउ यू हैव टू टेल मी दैट इज नफ्तली बेनेट हेज बीन इलेक्टेड एज द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ विच कंट्री सो ही हैज बीन इलेक्टेड एज द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इसराइल ठीक है जी तो अभी आपने मुझे बताना है एक चीज हमने अभी इसराइल के बारे में पढ़ी थी अर्लियर ऑल्सो नाउ यू टू टेल मी जस्ट सी हाउ मेनी ऑफ यूर रिमेंबर द सिंग ऑल्सो ठीक है जी प्रेजिडेंट कौन थे हाँ जी तो वही मैंने जब पूछा प्रेजिडेंट थे हिसाक एरगोस इज द प्रेजिडेंट और प्राइम मिनिस्टर कौन बने हैं नेफ्टेली बेनेट देन इज द वर्ल्ड एल्डर एब्यूज अवेयरनेस डे हैज बीन ऑब्जर्व इन द मंथ ऑफ जून यू जस्ट हैव टू टेल मी द डे ऑन विच द डेट हैज बीन द डेट ऑन विच द डे हैज बीन ऑब्जर्व इट इज इलेवंथ ऑफ जून ट्वेल्थ ऑफ जून थर्टीन ऑफ जून फोर्टींथ या फिफ्टींथ ऑफ जून तो बहुत ही इजी क्वेश्चन है गाइस आई थिंक दिस वन आल्सो दैट इज यस ऑप्शन नंबर ई फिफ्टींथ ऑफ जून इज द राइट आंसर हियर ठीक है जी देन इज द विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग बैंक हैज अनाउंस्ड एन ई ऑक्शन टू सेल द 46 नॉन परफॉर्मिंग एसेट्स ठीक है जी तो किस बैंक ने रिसेंटली बोला है कि उन्होंने अपने 
नॉन परफॉर्मिंग एसेट्स की ये ऑप्शन की है तो आंसर क्या है जी आंसर है बैंक ऑफ बड़ोदा ठीक है सो बैंक ऑफ बड़ोदा इज द राइट आंसर हियर देन गाइस कमिंग टू द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डे दैट इज वर्ल्ड ब्लड डोनर डे सो वर्ल्ड ब्लड डोनर डे हैज बीन ऑब्जर्वड ऑन 14th ऑफ जून यू जस्ट हैव टू टेल मी द थीम फॉर द वर्ल्ड ब्लड डोनर डे ठीक है जी लेट्स सी हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू गेट योर आंसर राइट के थीम क्या है वर्ल्ड ब्लड डोनर डे की इट इज ब्लड कनेक्टेड सॉल सेफ ब्लड फॉर ऑल Give blood and keep the world beating. Save blood saves life. Or none of the above. Let's see how many of you get your answer right. ठीक है जी. I'm getting the answer option number C from all of you. Some of you are saying option number B also. But let's see how many of you get your answer right. ठीक है जी. तो answer क्या है जी? Option number C. Give blood and keep the world beating. Then is who has become which has which of the following has become the first country to adopt. Bitcoin as legal tender. ठीक है जी बहुत ही बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन है वाई आई एम सिंग दिस थिंग आई हैव डिस्कस विद लॉट ऑफ टाइम गाइज वेन एनी थिंग हैज टेकन प्लेस फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम देर इज अ वेरी वेरी हाई प्रॉबिलिटी दैट अ क्वेश्चन विल बी आस फ्रॉम दैट स्पेसिफिक न्यूज ठीक है तो फर्स्ट कंट्री टू एडॉप्ट बिटकॉइन एज लीगल टेंडर कौन सी है जी इट इज एल सेल्वेडोर इज द राइट आंसर हियर देन The next question is about Indian Bank. So, Indian Bank has partnered with which among the following organization to offer wealth management solutions? ठीक है जी, let's see. So, guys, here the answer is Fistum. ठीक है, with Fistum, Indian Bank has recently partnered so that they could offer the wealth management solutions to Indian Bank. Next is about the professor from which of the following institutes? Has developed a new wastewater treatment technology. ठीक है जी. Earlier also we have discussed the technology. Now a question on new wastewater treatment technology. Who has developed? Let's see, guys. How many of you get your answer right? ठीक है जी. तो गैस आंसर इसका क्या है जी? आंसर है इसका जादवपुर University of Kolkata. The professor of Jadavpur University of Kolkata. They have recently developed a new wastewater treatment technology. ठीक है. Yes, that is absolutely right answer. So those of you who are saying IIT Guwahati guys, वो नहीं है. It is Jadavpur University, Kolkata. Then is which of the following state or UT has announced to set up a Vedic Education and Sanskar Board? तो कौन सी UT में या state में Vedic Education और Sanskar Board set up होगा? तो जब तू tell me this answer, ठीक है? क्या है इसका answer? Kerala, Andaman, Nicobar, Assam, Madhya Pradesh या Rajasthan? So I'm getting the answer from all of you, sir. Rajasthan will be the answer. Let's see, guys, how many of you get your answer right here. ठीक है जी, किस किस का आंसर सही होता है? So yes, guys, the answer here is option number E. Rajasthan is the right answer here. ठीक है जी. Now, guys, again a very important to World Day against Child Labour. I think this too we have discussed a lot of time. World Day against Child Labour, so we have discussed a lot of time. Let's tell, let's see how many of you get your answer for right thing. ठीक है, about the World Day against Child Labour. Is it 12th of June, 13th of June, 16th, 15th or 14th of June? So, its answer is what? Its answer is the answer here is option number A. 12th of June is the right answer about the World Day against Child Labour. Now, guys, let's see how many of you know the theme for the World Day against Child Labour. This is again a very important thing that you have to remember. If you know the theme, this is really really good. But if you don't know the theme of the World Day against Child Labour, guys. Then this should be your first important revision. ठीक है जी? तो this should be your first important revision. ठीक है? So the theme is Act Now and End Child Labour. Let's see how many of you get your answer right. तो ये important चीज़ है. ठीक है? ये important चीज़ है about the theme. Then is about the NHPC Limited. So recently, guys, the NHPC Limited has signed an MOU with which of the following state or UT? That is the Hydroelectric Power Corporation Limited to implement the Dark Mara hydroelectric power project. Now, from this question, the very important thing that comes to your mind is Dark Mara. That is Dark Mara hydroelectric project is in which among the following state? So, is it in Bihar, Andaman and Nicobar, Assam, Madhya Pradesh, or Rajasthan? Let's see how many of you get your answer right, guys. So, this answer is very important. The answer here is yes. The answer here is option number A, Bihar, and that is all of you are giving the right answer. That is Bihar is the right answer here. Then, guys, the next question is about the BRICS network universities. So, recently a conference on BRICS network universities has taken place. You have to tell me who has organized this specific conference. Who has organized it? Is it IIT Delhi, 
आईआईटी रोपड़ आईआईटी गुवाहाटी आईआईटी खड़गपुर या फिर आईआईटी बॉम्बे ठीक है लेट्स सी गाइस हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू गेट योर आंसर राइट फॉर दिस स्पेसिफिक क्वेश्चन अबाउट ब्रिक्स नेटवर्क यूनिवर्सिटीज सो यस गाइस आईआईटी बॉम्बे इज द राइट आंसर हियर तो आईआईटी बॉम्बे ने की है ठीक है जस्ट वी हैव डिस्कस द क्वेश्चन अबाउट आईआईटी खड़गपुर आल्सो ठीक है अ फ्यू क्वेश्चंस अर्लियर दैट इज अगेन इंपॉर्टेंट ठीक है नाउ वी आर डिस्कसिंग क्वेश्चन ऑन अनदर इंपॉर्टेंट आई आई टी आई आई टी बॉम्बे नेक्स्ट इज अबाउट दी सिद्धलिन गैया तो सिद्धलिन गैया हैज पास वे सो ही बिलोंग टू विच वंग फॉलोइंग दैट इज द प्रोफेशन ऑफ द पर्सन आई एम आस्किंग यू इज इट वेज ही आर रिनाउंड पोएट क्रिकेट कोच हॉकी कोच बॉक्सिंग कोच और म्यूजिशियन लेट सी हाउ मेन ऑफ यू गेट यूर आंसर राइट गाइज तो इसका आंसर क्या है जी Yes, I am getting the answer point. So this is really, really glad to see this thing, and this is the absolute right answer. So this one important thing, guys. Again, I want to praise all of you for that specific thing. Is just I give you a question, and I am getting the answer because this is really important thing to see from all of you, and I am really glad to see this much participation from you. ठीक है जी? बहुत ही अच्छा लग रहा है चीज़ देख के. Then is about the International Day of Family Remittance. That is, this day is observed on which among the following date? So, कब मनाया जाता है जी इंटरनेशनल डे ऑफ फैमिली रेमिटेंसिस सो गाइज द डे इज सेलिब्रेट ऑन सिक्सटीन ऑफ जून नाउ दिस इज वन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इन द मंथ ऑफ जून देर वर लॉर्ड्स ऑफ लॉर्ड्स एंड लॉर्ड्स ऑफ इंपॉर्टेंट डेज वर डेज इन यूज सो दैट इज ऑल दिस डेज इंपॉर्टेंट डेज आई एम डिस्कसिंग विद यू इन दिस स्पेसिफिक सेशन सो दैट कोई भी इंपॉर्टेंट डे जो जून का है वो आपका मिस ना हो देन इज अबाउट वोन इन एज अ न्यू चीफ प्रोसिक्यूटर ऑफ द इंटरनेशनल क्रिमिनल कोर्ट that is chief prosecutor of international criminal court i think this is again a very important question that is that has been discussed by you in by ritika rehal ma'am in his ga videos also she has discussed this specific thing earlier with you in her ga videos also let's see how many of you get your answer right theek hai ji to you are getting the answer yes kareem khan so guess guys option number b kareem khan is the right answer here Then, guys, the next question is about the Shenzhou 12. That is, Shenzhou 12 mission belongs to which among the following state? Or sorry, which among the following country? ठीक है जी तो आंसर क्या है? About Shenzhou 12 is yes. China is the right answer. So see how many questions we have discussed. We have discussed two to three questions about Sinovac. That is again about China. That we have discussed earlier. Now Shenzhou 12 is again a spacecraft of China. Next. Among the following has been named as the chairman of Microsoft. ठीक है जी. Let's see how many of you get your answer right. Chairman of Microsoft कौन है जी? तो chairman of Microsoft है. That is Doc. That is Mr. Satya Nadella. Then we have talked about just a few questions earlier. We have discussed about Akriti Ghosh all. Akriti Chopra also. That is co-founder of Zomato. ठीक है जी. That we have discussed also. Also we have discussed the question about K Nagaraja. Right you also sir also. And then now we are discussing a question on Mr. Satya Nadella who is now been appointed as the chairman of Microsoft. The next question is guide about the Corona Free Village. So you have to tell me which state or UT has launched this Corona Free Village contest. Is it Kerala, Andaman and Nicobar, Assam, Maharashtra or Rajasthan? Now let's see how many of you get your answer right. ठीक है जी. So let's see, guys. Answer here is Maharashtra. Okay. So within a quiz also we are re we are again revising the things that we've discussed earlier also. Okay, ji. So next question is about which among the following country has planned to allow municipalities to issue paper-based vaccine passports? Okay, ji. This is a very important question. Let's see how many of you get your answer right for the paper-based vaccine passports. So guys, the answer here is yes. Japan is the right answer here, and I am again telling you this is again a very very important question because some new kind of initiatives that is a paper based vaccine passport is in use. So this is that's why this question is really important for your examination point of view. Then guys, the question is about the high level advisory group and sustainable and inclusive recovery and growth group. I think this is again a very important question from your ESI point of view, from your GR point of view. The name of that specific person. Can you tell me? who has been named as a member of this specific group so guys the answer is very very easy yes that is mr montek singh aluwalia is the right answer here so now see we have discussed about mr girish chandra chaturvedi discussed the question on mahesh kumar jain sir earlier all now we are discussing a question on very important personality montek singh aluwalia 
ठीक है जी सो नाउ से दिस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग दिस इज द वे हाउ यू कुड री रिवाइज योर थिंग ऑल्सो विद इन द स्पेसिफिक सेशन इसी मैराथन सेशन में आप जो जो चीजें पहले पढ़ चुके हैं उनको भी री रिवाइज करना स्टार्ट कर सकते हो गिरीश चंद्र चतुर्वेदी हमने अभी पढ़ा है ठीक है जी मिस्टर महेश कुमार जैन के बारे में पढ़ा है कि उनको डेप्टी गवर्नर जो है उनको एक्सटेंड कर दिया गया उनके टेन्योर दो साल के लिए वो हमने अभी पढ़ा है गिरीश चंद्र चतुर्वेदी सर के बारे में वी हैव डिस्कस अ क्वेश्चन ऑन मिस्टर गिरीश चंद्र चतुर्वेदी एंड नाउ वी हैव डिस्कस ए क्वेश्चन ऑन मॉन्टेक सिंह आलू वालिया ठीक है तो द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज अबाउट अ न्यू टेडरी ग्रेड दैट इज अ वाटर बियर स्पीशीज हैज बीन डिस्कवर्ड फ्रॉम विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेट द नेम ऑफ द स्पीशीज इज टेडरी ग्रेड ठीक है जी दिस इज द नेम ऑफ द स्पीच व्हिच इज बेसिकली अ स्पीशीज ऑफ वाटर बियर्स सो जस्ट हैव टू टेल मी फ्रॉम विच स्टेट दिस स्पीशीज हैज बीन डिस्कवर्ड केरला बिहार असम मध्य प्रदेश और राजस्थान so i'm getting the answer kerala from all of you so yes guys kerala is the right answer here now the next question is about i think this question we have discussed earlier and also which of the following bank has extended the us dollar 100 million worth of line of credit to sri lanka so that they could finance their solar energy sector projects theek hai ji let's see how many of you get your answer right theek hai this is again a very easy question the answer here is Exim Bank, yes. Option number E, Exim Bank is the right answer here. Now, guys, if I talk about Sri Lanka, so we have discussed in the ESA current affairs sessions also that Sri Lanka, the country, has recently declared emergency. So this question can also be asked that which state or which country has recently declared an emergency in the month of August or let's say in the month of September. So the answer will be Sri Lanka, which neighboring country that is Sri Lanka has declared an emergency recently. Then is India has appointed who among the following as counselor in India's permanent mission in the World Trade Organization? Let's see how many of you get your answer right. ठीक है जी इस श्री वनिता गुप्ता, रेखा मेनन, अर्जन कुमार सिकरी, नफ्ताली बेनेट और आशीष चंदोरकर. I think this is again a question that you could answer. ठीक है जी तो हाँ जी those of you are saying sir emergency due to food crisis that is absolutely right. ठीक है बिल्कुल सही है that is absolutely right that Sri Lanka has recently declared an emergency due to food crisis so now coming to this question that who has been appointed as the counselor in india's permanent mission in the wto guys the answer here is option number e ashish chandorkar is the right answer here now the next question is about world day to combat desertification and drought very very important day i am saying you very very important day is this world day to combat desertification and drought let's see how many of you get your answer right i think this is observed Every year, the day is observed on which among the following date? Okay, I am getting the answer. Seventeenth of June. Let's see, guys, how many of you get your answer right? So yes, the answer here is option number C. Seventeenth of June is the right answer here. Then, guys, they are talking about the question about who among the following has been appointed as additional judge of Guwahati High Court? Okay, the additional judge of Guwahati High Court. The answer here is Robin Fukan. So Kareem Khan, we have discussed the question. Recently, we have discussed the question on Mr. Anand Mohan Bajaj also, and we have discussed the question on Mr. Sanjay Yadav also. ठीक है जी? So these are things. This is the way how you could revise. We have discussed the question on Kareem Khan. ठीक है जी? Chief Prosecutor, that is Kareem Khan, sir. Chief Prosecutor. We have discussed the question on Mr. Anand Mohan Bajaj, sir, also. That we have just discussed a few seconds earlier. ठीक है? So again, I am repeating the same thing. This way, you could again revise the thing. जो चीज आपने जस्ट द थिंग दैट यू हैव रेड अ फ्यू सेकंड्स अर्लियर दैट यू कैन जस्ट रिवाइज बाय लुकिंग एट द ऑप्शन आल्सो देन इज गाइस इन हैज साइंड एन एमओयू विद व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग कंट्री इन द एरिया ऑफ एनवायरनमेंट इन द मंथ ऑफ जून इंडिया हैज साइंड एन एमओयू विद व्हिच 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 अमंग द फॉलोइंग कंट्री इन द एरिया ऑफ एनवायरनमेंट एंड द आंसर हियर इज गाइस आंसर इज ऑप्शन नंबर बी भूटान इज द राइट आंसर हियर देन द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज हु अमंग द फॉलोइंग हैज बीन इलेक्टेड एज president of iran so we have discussed the question on president of israel now you have to tell me the question on president of iran theek hai ji i think this is one of the most easy question bahut hi bahut easy question hai just look at the option you could easily get the answer right yes only option c that is abraham raisi is the one option that we have not discussed earlier all the options we have discussed we have discussed the question on satyan adela nagaraj daidu chandrashekhar ghosh and akhrit jopra all of these we have discussed earlier so very easy to answer that is option number c is left and that is the right answer that is 
Abraham Raisi has recently been elected as the president of Iran. Then guys, the next question is about who has been honored with the European Inventor Award that is European Inventor Award for 2021 in the category of non-European patent office country. Okay, that which person has been organized, which person has been honored with this award. So the answer here is yes, option number A, Sumita Mitra is the right answer here. So she has recently been honored with the award in the category of non-European patent office countries. So, Mr. Perfect, don't be sad, okay? Don't be sad for the mock test, okay? Don't be sad. You could, it's not your fault. If you have not read, if you have, if you couldn't get out of, but try to do this thing, okay? Try to now focus on this, focus on the super marathon, okay? This way you could revise the thing. You could use that specific time of mock test in the in now solving this specific uh, super marathon series. Now, the next question is about who among the following has been appointed as the 10th president of Illinois, that is Illinois Institute of Technology in the United States. Let's see how many of you get your answer right. So again, very easy to answer. Yes, option number D. Rajakopal Raghavan HM Buddy is the right answer here. Take option number D is the right answer here. So Maheshwari is saying, sir, database question. Maheshwari, the question about the database, that is all the statistics questions, jitne bhi hai, discuss honge in your 15th of September session about the Jitne bhi data hai, wo sare se discuss karenge. Hai ji? Then who has been again a book, The Seven Sins of Being a Mother. Let's see how many of you get your answer right for this book. That was there in news, The Seven Sins of Being a Mother. The answer here is very, very easy. Taira Kashyap Khurana has written a book that is The Seven Sins of Being a Mother. Hai ji? Then is International Yoga Day, one of the most easiest day. International Yoga Day, 21st of June. An app by the name of Namaste Yoga. We have discussed in ESI current affairs also earlier. Okay, we have discussed that Namaste Yoga app has launched. Kiya tha? Ministry of Ayush. Okay, so this is the thing that we have discussed in ESI also. Now this way you could revise this Namaste Yoga app also from International Yoga Day. Okay, ji? now World Music Day is observed on which date? Okay, again a very important day. Let's see how many of you get your answer right. World Music Day. So World Music Day is observed on 21st of June along with International Yoga Day. Thik hai ji? Then, additional judge for Kerala High Court who has been appointed. So guys, the answer here is Abdul Rahim. That is Mr. Abdul Rahim has been appointed as the additional judge of the Kerala High Court. Thik hai ji? So yoga break app, that, that is again a news. Very, very important thing. Yoga break app, just a few days early, yoga break app has been launched. Thik hai? So that is again important thing that you should remember. Thik hai? Then is India has signed an MOU with which of the following countries in the field of agriculture and allied sector in the month of June. Okay, let's see how many of you get your answer right. So here guys, the answer is yes, option number E, Fiji is the right answer here, who has signed an MOU with India in the field of agriculture and allied sector. Then the question is about who has been re-elected as the chairman of the Cellular Operators Association of India. Let's see how many of you get your answer right. The Chairman of Cellular Operators Association of India. And guys, your answer is Mr. Ajay Puri. That is option number B. Ajay Puri is the right answer here. So, Abraham Rai, as you have discussed, that is, he has been pointed as President of Iran. Akriti Chopra, we know she is associated to Zomato. Tika Satya Nadella, sir, is associated to Microsoft. So, these are the terms that we have discussed earlier on. Ji, now, who has been reappointed as the Secretary General of United Nations? Again, a very easy question, Secretary General of United Nations. If you just know his name, that is easy to answer. Yes, that is Mr. Antonio Gutters has recently been appointed as the Secretary General of United Nations. Ji? Now, coming to the next question is about who has been appointed in the month of June to an internationally advisory group for climate action. The purpose of him, the purpose of the organization will be that it's he, it will be focusing on climate action. Let's see guys how many of you get your answer right for this specific question. The answer here is, I think sorry for this thing guys, the answer here is option number D, Sunita Narayan is the right answer here. I think there is a, option number B, Sunita Narayan is the right answer here. Okay, option number B, 
बिल्कुल सही है सो समृत समृथ निखिल नितेश अंशु मुकुंद दे ऑल हैव गिवन द राइट आंसर इट इज ऑप्शन नंबर बी इज द राइट आंसर हियर नाउ हु अमंग द फॉलोइंग अगेन अ बुक दैट इज इन देयर दैट वाज देयर इन न्यूज़ बाय द नेम ऑफ बियॉन्ड हियर एंड अदर पोएम्स ठीक है सो वी हैव डिस्कस द थ्री बुक्स फर्स्ट वन इज अबाउट द बुक रिलेटेड टू रवि शास्त्री देन वी हैव डिस्कस द बुक दैट वाज रिलेटेड टू ताहिरा कश्यप खुराना and now i am asking you a question on third book that is a collection of poem by the name of beyond here and other poems let's see how many of you get your answer right for this question and guys the answer here is it the answer is option number d that is bishupendra sethi has recently has recently released this book of that is the collection of poems a book by the name of beyond here and other poems theek hai ji then is the next question is guys that who has been conferred with the regional award as asia pacific productivity champions from the asian productivity organization theek hai to award has been presented by the apo which is in tokyo in japan so this question again is important for you to so, kisko mila hai ji award the award is being presented to mr r s sothi theek hai then the next is upar has partnered with which among the following technology companies to rent oxygen concentrators on demand in the month of june लेट सी गाइस किस किस को आंसर आता है ठीक है जी तो आंसर क्या है जी आंसर है जी ऑप्शन नंबर सी आंध्र प्रदेश मेट्रेक जोन लिमिटेड ठीक है देन इज अबाउट द सीनियर इस्लामिक शरीय स्कॉलर दैट इज जो केरला से बिलोंग करते थे बिलोंग्स टू केरला हिज नेम वाज मिस्टर एन के मोहम्मद मौलवी ही हैज रिसेंटली पास वे सो यू टेल मी विद विच ऑनर ही वॉज रिनाउंड ही वॉज बेसिकली बीन टाइटल एज विच बाई ऑनर ऑफ विच अमंग फॉलोइंग whether he was known as the grand old man of india whether he was named as bird man of india man of peace or shaykhul ulama let's see how many of you get your answer right again easy to answer this thing the answer is option number c shaykhul ulama is the right answer here theek hai ji to very important now international olympics day just i was discussing that olympic has taken place now let's see how many of you get your this answer right international olympics day is observed annually on which among the following date because in this in this year's olympics as well as in paralympics india indian players has recently they have shined they have they have absolutely shined in their specific domains now let's see how many of you get your answer right for international olympics day ha ji grand old man wisdom is saying so grand old man dada bhai naro ji that is absolutely right theek hai ji history ke questions hai so that is now the answer here is for international olympic day that is 23rd of june is the right answer here theek hai ji the really important thing to answer now is who among the following has been appointed as the head of the army aviation theek hai army aviation ke head kisko appoint kiya gaya hai is in mr ak suri kareem khan robin fukan अब्दुल रहीम और अनंत मोहन बजाज आई थिंक दिस इज अगेन एन इजी आंसर का बहुत ही इजी आंसर है ठीक है आंसर क्या है जी इसका बहुत इजी पता है ऑप्शन ए क्योंकि हमें पता है बाकी ऑप्शंस ऑल द अदर ऑप्शंस वी हैव गॉन थ्रू डिस्कस द क्वेश्चन ऑन मिस्टर करीम खान मिस्टर रॉबिन फुलकन अनंत मोहन बजाज इवन ऑन मिस्टर अब्दुल रहीम सो ऑल दीज वी हैव डिस्कस अर्लियर इन अवर अर्लियर क्वेश्चन ठीक है जी तो द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग कंट्रीज हैज सक्सेसफुली टेस्टेड एंड एयरबॉर्न लेजर वेपन दैट कैन शूट डाउन ड्रोन ठीक है जी एयर बॉर्न लेजर वेपन लेट सी हाउ मेन गेट यूर आंसर राइट एंड द आंसर फॉर दिस इज इसराइल सो नाउ सी वी हैव डिस्कस थ्री स्पेसिफिक क्वेश्चन ऑन इसराइल डिस्कस द क्वेश्चन ऑन द प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ इसराइल द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इसराइल नाउ द एयर बॉर्न लेजर वेपन सिस्टम दैट इज देयर फॉर इसराइल देन वी हैव डिस्कस द क्वेश्चन ऑन एल सेल्वेडोर दैट इज रिगार्डिंग द बिटकॉइन ठीक है जी चाइना के बारे में हमने भी क्या पढ़ा वी हैव डिस्कस द क्वेश्चन ऑन सेनोवेक एंड द स्पेस क्राफ्ट दैट इज फेंजो दैट इज ऑन चाइना वी हैव डिस्कस्ड ठीक है जी देन अबाउट फीजी वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस द क्वेश्चन दैट यू कैन आल्सो रिवाइज देन वी वी हैव डिस्कस द क्वेश्चन ऑन भटॉन आल्सो ठीक है जी सो नाउ आई थिंक आई दिस इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग टू री रिवाइज द थिंग सी I always say you one thing that the best way to do your preparation is at the end in your examination retention retaining the thing is important so this way can really help you in retaining the thing now guys you have to tell me who among the following has become 
द ज्वाइंट टॉप स्कोर इन मेन्स इंटरनेशनल फुटबॉल ठीक है ज्वाइंट टॉप स्कोर कौन बने हैं वी हैव डिस्कस अ क्वेश्चन सुनील चेत्री जी तो इज इन सेकेंड पोजिशन लेट सी हु इज द टॉप गोल स्कॉलर The टॉप गोल स्कोर ऑल द फुटबॉल फैंस आर हेयर नाउ ये क्रिस्टियानो रोनाल्डो इज द राइट आंसर हेयर ठीक है जी बिल्कुल सही है क्रिस्टियानो रोनाल्डो द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज अबाउट दी आरोग्यम हेल्थ केयर बिजनेस लोन ठीक है सो अब लोन हैज रिसेंटली बिन लॉन्च बाय द नेम ऑफ आरोग्यम हेल्थ केयर बिजनेस लोन यूर जस्ट हैव टू टेल मी विच बैंक हैज रिलीज दिस स्पेसिफिक लोन ठीक है जी लेट सी हाउ मेन यू गेट योर आंसर राइट सो गाइज द आंसर हेयर इज ऑप्शन नंबर डी स्टेट बैंक ऑफ इंडिया इज द राइट आंसर हेयर then guys the question is about who has been appointed as the unctads unctads secretary general let's see how many of you get your answer right the answer here is option number e that is rebecca grinspan is the right answer here we have discussed about montek singh alowale sir high level advisory group he was appointed there we have discussed the question of grish chandra chaturvedi sir that is on regarding to icici rajgopal raghavan we have discussed earlier and sunita narayan That is the award she has won. That we have discussed also earlier. ठीक है जी. Then guys, the next question is about a very important thing. That is, world's first genetically modified rubber plant has been planted on the outskirts of which among the following? ठीक है जी. World's first genetically modified rubber plant. You have to tell me the answer for this specific thing. Is it Tamil Nadu, Haryana, Madhya Pradesh, Assam, or Rajasthan? ठीक है जी. Let's see how many of you get your answer right for world's first genetically modified rubber plant. So I'm getting the answer. Assam is the right answer. Okay. So Assam we have revised earlier. So we have discussed the questions on Assam. Okay. Raimona Park we have discussed. Then we have discussed seventh national park of Assam. Now we are discussing that a rubber plant is also been planted on the outskirts of Assam. Now guys, the next question from the month of June is about the ICG. So Indian Coast Guard. Has inducted the first three of the sixteen advanced estimates MK3 helicopters. So just have to tell me who is manufacturing these MK3 helicopters. Is it DRDO, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, Bharat Electronics, ISRO, or Larsen and Turbo? Okay, so let's see. So guys, the answer is option number B, HAL, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited is the right answer here. Okay, so then the next question is, Jan hai to Jahan hai campaign. We have discussed this thing a lot of time. This end in the PIB just three days earlier, this thing was in news. Jan hai to Jahan in PIB also. The answer is very simple. Ministry of Minority Affairs is the right answer here for Jan hai to Jahan hai campaign. ठीक है जी. Then is about the Benjino Aquino III. So he has recently passed away. So he was a former president of which of the following country? ठीक है जी. So let's see how many of you get your answer right for this specific question. So answer क्या है guys? Answer है option number C. Philippines is the right answer here. ठीक है जी. Now the next question is about International Day of Seafarer. ठीक है. Let us the question about International Day of Seafarer. You just have to tell me on which date this day is observed. That is International Day of Seafarer. So guys, the answer is option number C. Twenty fifth of June is the right answer here. So guys, now one thing your jaw should be high here. ठीक है जी. अभी तो सिर्फ वी आर डिस्कसिंग द क्वेश्चन ऑफ मंथ मंथ ऑफ जून सो वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग द क्वेश्चन ऑफ जून जुलाई अगस्त एंड सेप्टेम्बर सो जो जोश शुड बी हाई ओके नाउ गेन आई एम आस्किंग यू हाउ इज द जोश ठीक है एंड आई जस्ट वॉन्ट वन रिप्लाई फ्रॉम ऑल ऑफ यू लेट सी हाउ इज द जोश गाइज एंड द आंसर शुड बी दैट आई एम गेटिंग इन ईच एंड एवरी लेक्चर ऑफ माइन इज सर वेरी हाई सो दैट शुड बी योर स्पिरिट फॉर दिस स्पेसिफिक सेशन ठीक है लंबा सेशन है बट द थिंग इज ऑल योर इंपॉर्टेंट ये क्वेश्चन विल बी Solved here. ठीक है, so Josh is high. I'm getting the answer. Sir, high, sir. It should be very high, guys. Okay. So Josh, Josh should be very, very high. ठीक है जी. चलो. The next question is about additional judge of Himachal Pradesh. The answer here is guys. Satyan Satyan Vadia is the right answer here. ठीक है. Now this is the spirit. I'm getting the answer now, sir. Very high, sir. So this should be very, very high. Okay. This should always be high and should always be very, very high, even in your examination also. So this is the spirit. Now let's move further with the next question about the tax inspector without borders program has been launched in which among the following country? ठीक है. Tax inspectors without border. So this is a program that has been launched in Bhutan. Yes. This is a program that has been launched in Bhutan. That is tax inspectors without border. 
Then is about the National Tiger Conservation Authority, guys. So NTCA has recently given approval to Ramgad Vishdhari Sanctuary. So just have to tell me which this tiger is of. This that is this Ramgad Vishdhari Sanctuary is located in which among the following state of India. This is really really important because this could be asked even in your static GK also. So answer is very simple, guys. Answer is this in Rajasthan. Okay, Chalo ji. The next question is about the anomalies in law and justice. So the book by the name of Anomalies in Law and Justice, you have just had to tell me the name of that specific person who, has, who is the author of this specific book. Okay, ji. Is it R.V. Ravindran? Let's see how many of you get your answer right. I think these are the two options we have discussed earlier. Have a look at this, whether we have discussed this thing earlier or not. So the answer is very easy. Yes, option number A, R.V. Ravindran has written a book. That is by the name of Anomalies in Law and Justice. The next question is about guys, which of the following space agencies has announced to hire the law, has announced to hire and launch the world's first physically disabled astronaut? Let's see which agency is that. Okay, again, a very important question for you guys. The answer here is, answer is option number D. European Space Agency has recently decided that they will be launching the world's first physically disabled astronaut so this is again a very very important thing for us then guys who has been named as the strongest hotel brand in the world in the month of june so let's see how many of you get your answer right so answer guys ka answer is option number a taj hotel is the right answer here that has been named as the strongest hotel brand in the world next is about the youngest indian cricketer so who among the following has become the youngest indian cricketer to play all the three formats Let's see how many of you get your answer right. I think this is again a very easy question. Okay, if you have watched the cricket properly, let's see. So earlier the question on R Ronaldo was regarding the football fans. Now let's see how many of how many of you are cricket fans. Okay, let's see how many of you cricket fans are there. So I'm getting the answer. Somebody saying so option Taj is uh, Taj is answer for previous question. Now let's see get who get the answer here. So yes, guys, answer here is yes. This, that is option number E, Shefali Verma. So all of the cricket fans are now coming here. So Shefali Verma, Shefali Verma, yes. Shefali Verma has recently become the youngest Indian cricketer to make her debut in all the three formats, that is ODIs, Test and T20 International. Then is guys who has been deployed for naval exercise. Which among the following ship of India has been deployed for naval exercises in Africa and Europe? Okay, ji. So answer, let's see how many of you get an answer right. The answer here is guys, INS Tubber. So INS Tubber has recently, he was in PIB also. So recently, he is on a very important mission of Africa, Europe, that he has visited a lot of countries of this specific continents. Then is about the International Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises Day. TKG MSME again in news. I have discussed the question on MSMEs a lot of time with you. Okay, just in the recent days. Let's see how many of you get the answer about International MSME Day is observed on which among the following date. So come and it is it is on 27th of June. Then is about the International Day, again an important day. International Day against drug abuse and illicit trafficking. Let's see how many of you get your answer right for this specific question. The answer here is again that is on 26th of June. So see these days are really, really important guys. I know these are difficult to remember but at this point of time <coughs> I'm really sorry for this guys. So okay, at this point of time, these questions are really important because the days are, these are like you could say, these are like micro, make or break kind of questions because every one of those of you who are preparing, they kind, they kind of know these days. Okay? So this is why these days are important. Then is the new chief minister of Uttarakhand, I think guys, this is uh, Pushkar Singh Dhami. So yes, we know that is the uh, recently the chief minister has resigned now the new chief minister of Uttarakhand has uh, been appointed that is by the name of Mr. Pushkar Singh Dhami okay, ji. so the next question is about that which among the following country has hosted the 7th edition of IONS at Library Union 7th okay, edition of IONS it is being hosted by yes it is being hosted by France so this is again we know the edition name is again important for us Concert edition that is important. That is seventh edition. Or kahan pe hua hai? La reunion in France. 
Dennis guys who has assumed as a charge of vice chief of air staff. Okay. Let's see how many of you get your answer right. Vice chief of air staff company hai? Vivek Ram Chaudhary. Okay. Ji. So which of the following countries celebrated? I think it is a question from the month of July. That is just a week early. Ya chuka. So koi agar nahi, fir bhi important hai. So which country has celebrated? Kya? We know USA has recently celebrated its 245th Independence Day. Okay. Ji. Then. Which among the following guys has recently announced to launch a view once feature? Okay, view once feature. Kiss social agency, kiss social, uh, which, uh, which social site or which social uh, app has recently launched this feature by the name of view once? The answer here is very easy. Okay, ji, which we all have, which we all are using. Now, WhatsApp. WhatsApp is the right answer here. Okay, ji. So, recently, guys, an MOU has been signed to conserve the turtle in which of the following states? Turtle conservation ke liye kit state mein kit state ne MOU sign kiya? You have to tell me the specific answer. Is it Assam, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Kerala, or Andaman and Nicobar Islands? Okay, ji. Let's see how many of you get your answer right, guys. So answer kya hai ji? Option number A, Assam. See now, see we have discussed a lot of things on Assam. So best ways after the session, what you could do is make a note and write a state by the name of Assam or jitne bhi the, all the initiatives of Assam you could write there so that it could help you in quick revision also again okay, to memorize this thing in a better way then is who has won the world's most innovative investment promotion agency 2021 award that has been presented by OCO Global let's see guys how many of you get your answer right to answer kya is ka what is the answer here the answer here is yes, that is Invest India has recently been awarded as the world's most innovative investment proportion agency for the year 2021. Then is guys, the next question is, I'm really sorry, the answer is here. I'm really for said for this thing. The answer is presented here also. That is Mr. Shalina, uh, Shalina De Kumar has been nominated as the Indian American Circuit Court Chief Justice. Then is guys, the next question is about who among the following has been appointed as an executive director to the board of Tata Motors. Okay. So now these are kind of questions which generally we do not expect. But these are kind of questions that has been asked. Why? See, the best example of that is the RBA examination of 2021. Okay. We could not expect that these kind of questions could be asked. But they have asked these kind of questions. So that is why. If this kind of question comes, your preparation will be up to that level. So that is why this question have also been asked by us in our session. So the answer here is guys, yes, option number C, Girish Vag is the right answer here. Okay, ji. Then is, who has launched the first bullet train in Tibet? Okay, first bullet train in Tibet is being launched by which among the following country? Again, a very, very important question, guys. So the answer here is China. So China has recently launched the first bullet train in Tibet. Again, a very important question for all of us. Then is guys who has assumed as the Air Office Commanding-in-Chief of the Western Air Command. That is again the news that was there in PIB in the month of June. The answer here is, yes, it is Mr. B. R. Krishna is the right answer here. Then, a very, very important question. Who among the following has become the first and the only female Indian swimmer? Sorry, sorry, sorry for this thing, guys. I think I am really sorry for this thing. Okay, I am really sorry. So I think there is a ha. Huh. Huh. The question is who among the following has recently become the first and the only female Indian swimmer to qualify for Tokyo Olympics 2020? I think uh, this is really a very, very important thing to answer for us. So answer here is yes. Option number B, Mana Patel is the right answer here. Along with her, the very important information is first Indian medal is again win by a woman. That is Meera Bai Chanu. Ji. Then the very important announcement for the women here is that is about PV Sindhu. So she has become the first Indian woman to win consecutive two medals in the consecutive Olympics. It is PV Sindhu. Then we have discussed a question on Bhavina Patel. That is she has won a silver first silver medal in by a woman in Paralympics. That is Bhavina Patel. Then is Avni. Lekhara. So she has won gold and bronze. So first Indian woman who has won a gold, that is two consecutive medal in a single Paralympic. That is again a very important thing. So which means 
the ultimate thing of it is women empowerment so women have really overshone women have really performed very well in this in this year's olympics and paralympics of 2020 okay so really important and all these names are really really important for you in your examination theek hai ji then is about the us ukraine that is a recently a us ukraine military exercise has taken place you just have to tell me the name of that specific exercise the name of that specific exercise is guys sea breeze so sea breeze exercise has recently been conducted between uk and us so surya kiran kaise se beech mein hoti hai i think surya kiran is between india and nepal do make me sure ke surya kiran is between india and nepal na theek hai so you could google it that thing also okay i think i from from my perspective i think it is between india and nepal theek hai ji hand in handing i think it is it is between india and China, ठीक है और आई थिंक सूर्य किरण आई थिंक इट इज बिटवीन इंडिया एंड नेपाल ठीक है दैट यू गाइस गुड सर्च कि वेदर इट इज बिटवीन इंडिया एंड नेपाल आल्सो और वेदर इट इज बिटवीन इंडिया अलोंग विद एनी अदर कंट्री ठीक है जी तो आई थिंक इट इज इट इज बिटवीन इंडिया एंड नेपाल हैंड इन हैंड इज बिटवीन इंडिया एंड चाइना दैट आई नो सो आई एम गेटिंग हां सर इट इज बिटवीन नेपाल सो ओके गाइस सूर्य किरण इंडिया नेपाल हैंड इन हैंड इज इंडिया चाइना एंड सी ब्रिज इज यूएस एंड यूक्रेन ओके जी चलो नाउ मूविंग फॉरवर्ड हु हैज वन द अवार्ड फॉर द बेस्ट स्क्रीन प्ले at the jeboxery international film festival film festival theek hai ji let's see how many of you get your answer right so guys the answer here is mr jay raj has won the award for the best screenplay award then is who among the following has become the youngest ever chess master in the world so youngest ever chess master in the world let's see how many of you get your answer right theek hai ji to answer is yes abhimanyu mishra is the right answer here that is youngest ever chess grandmaster is abhimanyu mishra then is the question about the qmpu rashtriya puraskar for 2020 you have to tell me who has been selected for this annual rashtriya puraskar for the year 2020 theek hai i think this is again an easy question for you very easy it will be let's see how many of you get your answer right so answer is Yes, that is Dr. Rajendra Kishore Panda because this person we have discussed earlier. ठीक है? Girish Chandra Chaturvedi we have discussed. Montek Singh Alowalia, Sunita Narayan. So this will be by elimination method you could solve this question also. <coughs> really sorry guys. ठीक है? Sorry for this. Then is World Asthma Day. Let's see guys the World Asthma Day. How many of you get your answer? That is World Asthma Day is observed on which among the following date? हाँ जी अक्षय अक्षय सिंह सर एक बार इसको एग्जाम से पहले एक बार फिर देख लेंगे अक्षय दैट विल आल्सो भी हेल्पफुल ओके सर क्विक रिवीजन दैट वीडियो यू कैन आल्सो हेल्प ठीक है वो आप तब भी देख सकते हो इट विल अगेन भी हेल्पफुल एट दैट स्पेशल टाइम आल्सो नाउ लेट सी वर्ल्ड एस्ट्रो डे कब मनाया जाता है इट इज ऑब्जर्व ऑन थर्टी ऑफ जून ठीक है जी सो विद दिस डेट द क्वेश्चन ऑफ द जून वी हैव डिस्कस नाउ बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द मंथ ऑफ जुलाई वन थिंग आई वॉन्ट टू आस यू वेदर यू वॉन्ट अ वाटर ब्रेक और नॉट ठीक है जी द जोश शुड बी हाई एज आई नो द जोश ऑफ ऑल ऑफ वन ऑल वन ऑफ यूज यू ऑल वन ऑफ यू इज हाई वेदर यू वॉन्ट अ वाटर ब्रेक और नॉट ठीक है जी वेदर यू वॉन्ट दैट सेल्ट कॉन्टिन्यू विद दी कॉन्टिन्यू वी डोंट वॉन्ट एनी वाटर ब्रेक ओके तो समबडी सेंग सर टू मिनट ब्रेक ओके गाइज लेट्स हैव अ ब्रेक ऑफ टू मिनट ओके Let's have a break of two minutes. You could have a water break. Okay, two minutes break we will have. Then after two minutes, I will start with the questions from the month of July. Okay, let's have a two minutes break. ठीक है जी चलो लेट्स हैव अ टू मिनट ब्रेक आफ्टर टू मिनट्स वी विल स्टार्ट विद द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ठीक है जी आई थिंक गाइस आई एम रियली ग्लैड टू सी ठीक है जी सो I want more and more you, more of you should participate in this question because the purpose of this, see, purpose of this thing. When you are going through these MCQs, one thing will be, if you know the answer, that is really good for you. But if you don't know the answer, let's say you are getting the answer wrong, then the very important thing here will be, for example, the very important thing like here will be that at that point of time, you could. now have a problem that you could analyze yourself that these are the important points that we have to cover 
ठीक है जी सो दीज आर इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट दैट वी हैव टू कवर तो दीज पॉइंट यू कुड कवर ऑन योर ओन ठीक है दीज आर द पॉइंट ऑन विच यू विल बी वर्किंग सो काइंडली वर्क ऑन दिस स्पेसिफिक थिंग ठीक है जी सो डू दिस स्पेसिफिक थिंग ओके आई थिंक नाउ द वाटर ब्रेक इज ओवर फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू लेट स्टार्ट विद द क्वेश्चन ठीक है जी वन मिनट का लेट स्टार्ट विद द क्वेश्चन Okay, guys. Now let's start. Let's move on with the next question. That is from the month of July. Let's start. Okay, ji. Let's start with the month of July. The first question is that is the Chartered Accountants Day. So you have to tell me the Chartered Accountants Day is observed on which among the following date. ठीक है जी. So now, guys, let's start. So Neva, Marti, both of you are saying, sir, let's start. Now, like, yes, let's start. Chartered Accountants Day. I think now you all will be. चेरिश ठीक है वाटर पेक सबने ले ली है नाउ द जो शुड बी हाई तो चार्टेड अकाउंटेंट डे कब मनाया जाता है जी इट इज ऑब्जर्व ऑन फर्स्ट ऑफ जुलाई सो दैट इज एब्सोल्युटली राइट ठीक है चार्टेड अकाउंटेंट डे इज ऑब्जर्व ऑन फर्स्ट ऑफ जुलाई देन द हिस्टोरिक अर्बन लैंडस्केप प्रोजेक्ट दैट वॉज देयर इन यूज इन द मंथ ऑफ जुलाई अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस स्पेसिफिक प्रोजेक्ट देर आर टू स्पेसिफिक सिटीज दैट हैव बीन शॉर्ट लिस्टेड बाय द नेम ऑफ Gwalior and Orcha. You have to tell me that these two cities are located in which among the following state of India? Which state are these two cities located in? So these are located in Madhya Pradesh. We have discussed this specific thing, I think, in the ESI current affairs also. Okay, ji. Now the next question is about the PASEX exercise. Okay, so PASEX exercise has taken place. You have to tell me that the Indian Navy has participated with which among the following? navy carrier that is by the name of csg21 theek hai ji the name is hms queen elizabeth you have to tell me that this uh, this ship belongs to which among the following question so answer is again very easy that is bay of bengal is the right answer here theek hai kahan pe hui thi bay of bengal mein now guys name the person who has been appointed as the member of un tax committee un tax committee let's see how many of you get your answer the answer will be again easy for you The answer is guys, Rashmi Ranjan Das is the right answer here. ठीक है जी. Then is guys about the question about National Broadcasting Day. ठीक है जी. So the question is that recently India has celebrated the National Broadcasting Day on which among the following day? Is it 18th of July, 19th of July, 20th, 21st or 23rd of July? ठीक है जी. So National Broadcasting Day it is celebrated on 23rd of July. ठीक है. then the next question is about the prime minister of india has inaugurated the rudraksh initiative very very important so rudraksh initiative has taken place you have to tell me this international cooperative and convention center that is by the name of rudraksh is established in which among the following city so guys kahan pe hua hai it is established in varanasi yes it is established in varanasi in uttar pradesh okay now the question could be asked in another form also that is they will ask you simple a question That recently in the Varanasi, an international cooperative and convention center have been set up. Name that center. Then your answer will be Rudraksh. Now, guys, the next question is: In the month of July, the Union Cabinet has approved a memorandum of understanding signed between the Ministry of Steel and Ministry of Energy of which among the following country on coking coal? So the answer is just a coking coal. The MOU has been signed with which among the following country? So guys, I'm getting the answer Russia. So the answer here is yes. Option number D, Russia is the right answer here. ठीक है जी? Then the next question is about the Tri-Nation Table Top Narcotics Anti-Narcotics and Maritime Search. So recently this exercise has been conducted. You have to tell me that this exercise has been conducted between Indian Navies, Maldives, and Sri Lankan Navy. The name of this exercise is important for you. Let's see how many of you get your answer right, guys. Okay. Every each and every information I've discussed with you, it is basically a tri-nation tabletop anti-narcotics and maritime search exercise. Okay, ji. Countries are India, Maldives, and Sri Lanka. And the name of the exercise is yes, exercise is shield. So just simply remember who is getting the shield, Sri Lanka. India and Maldives that is they are getting the shield then 
the question is about mangarbani hill forest so recently they say that it has been announced the archaeologists say that they have estimated that a prehistoric stone age site has been discovered at mangarbani hill forest you just have to tell me where this place is situated the mangarbani hill forest where this place is situated theek hai ji is it kurukshetra karnal panipat rohtak aur faridabad So guys, answer here is Z. That is option number E. Faridabad in Haryana is the right answer here. ठीक है जी? That is Mangarbani Hill Forest is in Faridabad. That is in Haryana. ठीक है guys? The next question is that Union Cabinet has approved a memorandum of understanding signed between India along with which of the following country on cooperation in the field of health and medicine? ठीक है जी? So this is between India and Denmark. Yes, India and Denmark. as we have recently signed a cooperation in the field of health and medicine then is guys very important question new prime minister of nepal so we have discussed the question on prime minister of israel president of israel president of iran now the next country the for which we have to remember the important designatory is Prime Minister of Nepal. Now let's see how many of you get your answer right. I think this is one of the most most easiest question of today's session. The answer is very simple. That is, Sher Bahadur Diuba has recently been appointed as the new Prime Minister of Nepal. Okay, ji. I am really glad to see all of you are giving the right answer here. That is option number A. Okay, ji. So this is really glad to see. It is just I am getting the question, and all of you, it is like a flood of answers, and all of the answer is option number A. Okay, ji. then the name the person who has become the third indian origin woman to fly into space very very important question third indian origin woman to fly into space is it kalpana chawla sunita williams peggy weston sirisha bandala or bhavna kant theek hai ji let's see how many of you get your answer right theek hai ji chalo So I'm getting the answer, Sirisha Bandala. Sirisha Bandala. I'm getting the answer from all of you. Let's see how many of you get your answer right. So yes, guys, option number D is the right answer because the first one was Kalpana Chawla, the second was was from Sunita Williams, and now the third one is Sirisha Bandala. So all these are important for us. Then is name the Indian legendary actor who has recently passed away or who was the first actor to win the. Film Fair Award for Best Actor in 1954. Very, very renowned actor. Let's see how many of you get your answer right. ठीक है जी? So I'm getting the answer. That is Mr. Dilip Kumar. Yes, guys. The most prominent legendary actor. That is Mr. Dilip Kumar, popularly known as. तो क्या बने थे ये? मुगले आजम के सलीम. ठीक है? तो He was renowned. So Mughal Azam he played a character of Salim, and he was a very renowned actor. That is Dilip Kumar. He has recently passed away, and he the very important thing is he was the first actor to win a film fair award in 1954. Okay, ji, chalo. Now let's start with the next question. That is the Indian Finance Minister has launched the Bhim UPI in which of the following countries? Okay. हाँ जी बिस्मिल्लाह तीन सिंह से tragedy king बोला जाता था इनको Oh okay, guys he must be known as tragedy king also but he was a very renowned very popular actor theek hai now coming to this question the bhim upi has recently been launched in which of the following countries by the finance minister nirmala sitaraman theek hai ji is it bhutan nepal sri lanka bangladesh or south africa so guys the answer here is option number a bhutan is the right answer here theek hai so recently bhutan mein jo hai now see we have discussed the question of bhutan to so bhim upi लॉन्च हुआ भूटान में देन वी डिस्कस समथिंग रिलेटेड टू टैक्स फ्रेमवर्क दैट वाज अगेन बीन लॉन्च इन भूटान ठीक है जी चलो नाउ कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन अबाउट द अरुण हाइड्रो इलेक्ट्रिक प्रोजेक्ट यू जस्ट हैव टू टेल मी इन व्हिच कंट्री दिस हाइड्रो इलेक्ट्रिक प्रोजेक्ट इज लोकेटेड ठीक है इट इज लोकेटेड इन व्हिच अमंग द फॉलोइंग स्टेट व्हिच अमंग द फॉलोइंग कंट्री तो आंसर बहुत ही सिंपल है आंसर इज नेपाल जस्ट अ फ्यू सेकंड्स अर्लियर वी हैव डिस्कस द क्वेश्चन ऑन the new prime minister of nepal 
Now the next question again related to Nepal is this Arun hydroelectric project that is located in Nepal. Now guys, the next question is about John Abraham. Okay, ji. So John Abraham. See now let's understand the first thing. He is a veterinary doctor. Okay. So don't get John Abraham of Shooter at Vadala. Okay. Man, man. What is it? Ala re ala. Mali ala. So it is not like John Abraham of Mana re ala re ala wala. So he is a veterinary doctor from Kerala. He has recently received an award. On which, on inventing which among the following thing from this slaughtered chicken waste. Okay. So let's see how many of you get your answer right. ठीक है जी तो दांसे हेरिस यस दांसे हेरिस बायोडीजल सो दिस इज इंपोर्टेंट थिंग टू रिमेंबर याद रखना जॉन एब्राहिम बहुत ही पढ़ने को जॉन एब्राहिम बहुत ज़्यादा बाइक्स उठाते हैं इन फिल्म्स सो दैट इज़ वाइज अब उन्होंने गाड़ी भी उठानी शुरू कर दी है विच इज़ अ डीजल कार सो जॉन so this is how you could remember about the John Abraham thing. Okay, ji. I think this is really funny way to remember this question about John Abraham. Okay, ji. Chalo. Now let's start with the. I think the fun is over. I, everyone is happy with this uh, trick of John Abraham. Now let's start with the next question. Okay, ji. Chalo. The next question is about the National Thermal Power Corporation and Renewable Energy Limited. They have invited a domestic tender, which will be on setting up India's first green hydrogen fueling station. In which of the following place? Now, very very important thing is that India ka sabse pehla, India's first green hydrogen fueling station will be set up in which of the following place? That is important thing to remember. Is it in Kutch in Gujarat? Is it in Leh Ladakh, Guwahati, Chennai or Thrissur? Let's see how many of you get your answer right. So guys, the answer here is yes, it is in Leh and Ladakh. Okay, to follow the vision of Prime Ministers of becoming a carbon neutral state or ka carbon neutral UT, India's first green hydrogen fueling station will be set up in Ladakh. Okay, ji. Or who is making it? It will. It will be set up by NTPC. Then the next question is about guys, the UNESCO. So, a temple by the name of Rudreshwar Temple has now been given a title of World Heritage World Heritage Site tag by the UNESCO. You tell me that this temple, that is Rudreshwar Temple, is located in which among the following state of India? Is it Kerala? Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, or Telangana. Okay. Let's see, guys, how many of you get your answer right for this question. So, yes, guys, Telangana is absolutely right. Yes, now Rudreshwar Temple, this temple's name is again important for you. They could simply ask you the question that recently in the month of July, which among the following temple has been given the title of World Heritage Site by UNESCO? Then your answer will be Rudreshwar Temple of Telangana. Okay, ji. Chalo, the next question is about the first solar company. In which of the following states the first solar company has planned to invest? Again, now just we have discussed first green hydrogen initiative, Ladakh. First solar company will be planning to invest. Now, you have to tell me that specific place. Okay, ji. Investment ki itni hogi. Investment will be of around US dollar 684 million. ठीक है, that is fully vertically integrated photovoltaic thin film, sorry, thin film solar module manufacturing facilities will be set up in that specific thing. So the answer is yes, Tamil Nadu is the right answer. So green hydrogen is Ladakh, or solar is Tamil Nadu. ठीक है? चलो जी, moving to the next question. The question is again a very important thing. Which of the following place has been included in UNESCO World Heritage Site? ठीक है, चलो. तो अलग अब डिस्कस the temple. Temple is Rudreshwar Temple. That is in Telangana. Just a few seconds अलग अब डिस्कस वाला क्वेश्चन. Now you tell me UNESCO's World Heritage List which site is situated? So the answer is very very simple. Dholavira. ठीक है जी एन एंशियंट साइट ऑफ ढोलावीरा अगेन अ वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन ठीक है सो आरती अमित पूजा अंजलि ऑल ऑफ यू आर गिविंग द राइट आंसर दैट इज ढोलावीरा इज द राइट आंसर हियर ठीक है जी नाउ गाइस द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज अबाउट द गवर्नमेंट बॉयज हाई स्कूल दैट इज व्हिच इज द फर्स्ट गवर्नमेंट रन स्कूल टू बी पार्ट ऑफ द प्रोग्राम लॉन्च ऑफ 75 सैटेलाइट एज अ पार्ट ऑफ द 75th इंडिपेंडेंस डे सेलिब्रेशन यू जस्ट हैव टू टेल मी दैट दिस बॉयज हाई स्कूल इज लोकेटेड इन व्हिच अमंग द फॉलोइंग डिस्ट्रिक्ट is it in Gandhinagar, New Delhi, Dhar, Maleshwaram or is it in none of the above? 
तो लेट्स सी द आंसर गाइस लेट्स सी हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू गेट योर आंसर राइट ठीक है जी द आंसर इज यस ऑप्शन नंबर डी मल्लेश्वरम इन बेंगलुरु इज द राइट आंसर हियर देन द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज अबाउट द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दैट हैज होस्टेड द द कोविड-19 एंड यूथ मेंटल रिकवरी इन ग्लोबल साउथ अ वे फॉरवर्ड फॉर लोकल एक्शन एट द यूनाइटेड नेशंस ग्लोबल समिट यू टेल मी दिस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हैज लॉन्च दिस स्पेसिफिक इवेंट ठीक है किस-किस ने इवेंट लॉन्च किया है लेट्स सी हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू गेट योर आंसर राइट गाइस ठीक है जी तो ट्रस्ट फॉर यूथ है ऑल इंडिया इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ मेडिकल साइंस है गवर्नमेंट बॉय सीनियर सेकेंडरी स्कूल है या फिर चिका फेडरेशन है सो लेट्स सी गाइस द आंसर इज यस आई एम गेटिंग द आंसर ऑप्शन नंबर ए पुडुचेरी सो यस गाइस ऑप्शन नंबर ए ट्रस्ट फॉर यूथ एंड चाइल्ड लीडरशिप पुडुचेरी हैज ऑर्गेनाइज्ड दिस स्पेसिफिक इनिशिएटिव ठीक है जी चलो द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज अबाउट वर्ल्ड जूनोसिस डे ठीक है तो वर्ल्ड सुनोसिस डे इज सेलिब्रेटेड ऑन फर्स्ट ऑफ जुलाई सॉरी इन द मंथ ऑफ जुलाई यू हैव टेल मी ऑन व्हिच डेट वर्ल्ड सुनोसिस डे इज सेलिब्रेटेड देन द नेक्स्ट इज व्हाट वाज द इंटरनेशनल टाइटल व्हाट इज द टाइटल ऑफ वेबिनार दैट हैज बीन हेल्ड ऑन द वर्ल्ड सुनोसिस डे यू जस्ट हैव टू टेल मी द नेम ऑफ दैट स्पेसिफिक वेबिनार ठीक है जी सो यस गाइस द ऑप्शन नंबर बी दैट इज the road map for the prevention and control of dog mediated rabies is the right answer here theek hai ji chalo now coming to the next question that is about the khela divas very important which state government has started this khela divas initiative just have to tell me the name of that specific state which has organized this khela divas day theek hai ji i think one of the most easiest question theek hai kaun si hai so khela divas day is celebrated by west bengal ठीक है जी तो वेस्ट बंगाल ने सेलिब्रेट किया है खेला दिवस डे अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन दैट आई आस्ट यू इन द ईएसए सेक्शन दैट वी कैन रिवाइज हियर इज वेस्ट बंगाल हैज नाउ इंप्लीमेंटेड द वन नेशन वन राशन कार्ड स्कीम आल्सो अलोंग विद दिल्ली ठीक है तो अलोंग विद दिल्ली वन नेशन वन राशन कार्ड स्कीम हैज रिसेंटली बीन इंप्लीमेंटेड बाय द स्टेट ऑफ वेस्ट बंगाल आल्सो ठीक है जी चलो तो द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज गाइस अबाउट इंडिया ट्रांसपेरेंसी रिपोर्ट ठीक है जी तो ट्विटर हैज पब्लिश इट्स first compliance of india transparency report you just have to tell me after which rules after the implementation of which rules this india transparency report has been published theek hai kis rules ke liye publish ki gayi thi so guys the answer here is option number c information and technology rules is the right answer theek hai it rules is the right answer here then the next question is about cabinet committee on economic affairs they said that the entire stake of 100% that is being held by the lic and the government of india will now be sold off you just have to tell me the name of that specific institute in which the government will be selling off its entire stake theek hai kaun si ghante let's see how many of you get your answer right theek hai ji chalo let's see how many of you get your answer right theek hai ji so anshu is saying sir idbi bank will be the answer arti is saying sir union bank will be the answer Okay, Menali is saying, sir, option number C, Bank of India will be the answer. So here it is a confusion. Some of you are saying Bank of India, some of you are saying Union Bank of India, some of you are saying IDBI Bank. But most of the question that I am getting the answer is from IDBI Bank. And yes, guys, that's right. Option number B, IDBI Bank is the right answer here. So, okay, IDBI Bank का hundred percent stake जो है वो sold out हो जाएगा. That has been approved by the cabinet. Then, India's first private lng plant will be set up in which month that is has been inaugurated in which among the following plates again a very important theek hai july mein bahut zara cheeze hui hai there are lot of things in july that is taken place for the first time so that is really really important for you india's first private lng plant it is inaugurated in we have discussed earlier so kahan pe hai ji it is in nagpur in maharashtra theek hai then which of the following state has signed an mou with police academy of cambodia to so, kisne sign kiya hai ji it is being signed by the state of gujarat so gujarat has recently signed a mou with the police academy of cambodia okay so what is in nagpur theek hai now guys i want your josh should be high theek hai ji now you can also tell me whether the pace is fine with you whether you want me to slow down the pace or whether you want me to increase the pace then also you can share with this thing me theek hai ji now let's wait let's see your response what you want theek hai what kind of pace you want whether you want the pace should be so high pace should be low or whether it, the pace is fine theek hai ji you tell me in the chat box karti is saying sir pace is fine all of you are saying the pace is fine theek hai 
Okay, so all of your things are paces, fine. Now guys, let's start again. Okay, let's start again. The question is about the cabinet has approved the change of the change of nomenclature and mandate of the Northeastern Institute of Folk Medicine. So now you have to tell me as which of the following. So, so in ka name, in ka name change ho jayega. That is the name of Northeastern Institute of Folk Medicine will be changed to which among the following? Is it Northeastern Institute of Ayurveda Research? Northeastern Institute of Ayurveda and Folk Medicine Research or Northeastern Institute of Folk Culture and Medicine. Okay, let's see how many of you get your answer right. So I'm getting the answer option number B guys. So yes, option number B, it will be renamed as Northeastern Institute of Ayurveda and Folk Medicine Research. Then guys, the next question is about the DARPG. That is recently an AI powered grievance management application has been developed with the joint effort of Department of Administrative Reforms and Public Grievances that is by along with Ministry of Defense and which among the following social giant is it Facebook, Google, IIT Kanpur, Irida or none of the above. So I'm getting the answer IIT Kanpur. Let's see guys how many of you get your answer right. Okay, let's see I'm waiting for a response. So Gokul are the saying sir IIT Kanpur is the answer. Okay, ji. Uh, Anshu is also saying so Kanpur will be the answer. Aarti is saying Kanpur will be the answer. So yes, guys, option number C, IIT Kanpur is the right answer here. Okay, ji. Chalo. The next question is about which of the following companies has come up with a portable battery powered medical grade refrigeration device in July 2021? Okay, ji. Let's see how many of you get your answer right. So ye bhi bahut important hai. Kisne kiya hai, ji? The answer here is yes, it is Black Frog Technologies. Option number A, Black Frog Technologies is the right answer. And Pooja Vasi has given the right answer. It is Black Frog Technology. Then, guys, the next question is about the Saint Queen Ketevan. That is, India has gifted the 17th century relic of Saint Queen Ketevan to which of the following countries? Okay, kisko India ne gift kiya hai? Is it UK, Azerbaijan, Turkey, Georgia, or none of the above? So let's see guys how many of you get your answer right for, for this question. I am getting the Pooja is saying sir, Georgia will be the answer. Okay, let's see. So Sheila is also saying Georgia will, Sheila is saying sir, Georgia will be the answer. Okay, so answer kya hai ji? Answer hai ji, bilkul sahi. Option number D, Georgia is absolutely right. Okay, then the next question is about that France has imposed a penalty of European 500. Euro 500 million penalty has been imposed by France. You have to tell me on which country this penalty has been imposed or on which, sorry, which social giant this penalty has been imposed. So guys, this is being observed. This is being, the penalty has been imposed on Google. Okay, on Google this penalty has been imposed. Then the next question is, Bhutan has become the first neighboring country of India to use which among the following app in July. Just a few seconds earlier, I have discussed this specific question. The answer is Beam UPI. Okay. So, we have discussed this question that Japan has now, sorry, Bhutan has now become the first neighboring country of India to use this Beam UPI app. Okay. So, Pooja, Nitesh, Kavita, Prashant, Vishal, Aarti, all of you have given the right answer. That is Beam UPI is the right answer here. And really glad to see your participation. I guys, I am really, really glad to see your participation. Okay, and your way of preparation, your level of preparation is again very apt for the examination. Okay, ji. Now coming to the next question. So recently, guys, which of the following company has become again the first Chinese company to pull back from their IPO listing in USA? You have to tell me the name of that specific Chinese company. Okay, ji. So what is answer? Is answer is Link Dog is the right answer here. Okay. So Link Dog has become the first Chinese company to pull back from this IPO listings in USA. Now talking about China, we have discussed what we have discussed about China is Sinovac, Shenzhou, okay, Lahasa, Tibet train and now about LinkTalk. So these are the important things that we have just till now we have discussed these important things from the state from the country of China. Now guys, coming to the next question, again a very important thing. So Union Minister of External Affairs, he has unveiled a statue of Mr. of the father of the nation, Mahatma Gandhi, in which of the following countries? Okay, in which country Mahatma Gandhi ka statue jo hai, 
दैट इज बिंग अनवील्ड सो दैट यू हैव टू टेल मी इन द चैट बॉक्स ठीक है जी यूके रशिया जॉर्जिया यूएसए और चाइना या सुशील हैंड इन हैंड ऑल्सो सो ये हैंड इन हैंड ऑल्सो ठीक है वन थिंग बोन हैंड इन हैंड वॉज अगेन वी हैव डिस्कस ठीक है जी तो आंसर इज येस आंसर इज जॉर्जिया इज द राइट आंसर हेयर ठीक है सो जॉर्ज इज वेरी राइट आंसर हेयर सो वट वी हैवीन वन वी हैव डन हेयर इज जस्ट अस इसके फ्यू सेकेंड अर्ली हैव डिस्कस द क्वेश्चन ऑफ जॉर्ज दैट अ स्टैचू दैट अ स्टैचू हैज बिन गिफ्टेड फ्रॉम इंडिया एंड नाउ ऑन द सेम कंट्री द स्टैचू ऑफ महात्मा गांधी इज ऑल्सो बिन अनवील्ड बाय द एक्सटर्नल फेयर मिनिस्टर नाउ The RBI has approved the reappointment of which of the following person as Federal Bank's MD and CEO for a period of three years. You have to tell me the name of that specific person who has the whose reappointment has been approved by RBI. Manoj Jain, Prashant Kumar, Nikhil Sahni, or then Shyam Srinivasan. So, guys, answer. What will be the answer here? The answer here is option number D. Shyam Srinivasan is the right answer here. So, Yakresh, Pooja, Sonu, Arti. Neha, Arti, so Neha, Arti, Sunny, they all of you are giving the answer right answer. That is option number D. Shyam Srinivasan is the right answer here. ठीक है जी. Then in the month of July, Israel has appointed who among the following as deputy prime minister and minister of defence. ठीक है. Now see how much active Israel is. Prime minister we have discussed. President of Israel we have discussed. Now the deputy prime minister of Israel, who is appointed as the deputy prime minister of Israel, so it is Benjamin Gantz. So Benjamin Gantz is appointed as the deputy prime minister of Israel. Okay, ji. Chalo. The next is about Mr. Vinay Prakash. So which of the following company has appointed Mr. Vinay Prakash as its resident grievance officer for India? So let's see, guys. How many of you get your answer right here? So answer, what is the answer? Is option number B. Twitter is the right answer. So just a few seconds earlier, we discussed. Twitter has prepared a report on information technology rules. Okay, ji. IT rules. We have discussed the question. Now, coming to the next question about July, who among the following minister has been appointed as the new union minister for? chemical and fertilizers so ठीक है new minister for chemical and fertilizers very very important because recently the cabinet has been reshuffled now the ministers has been reshuffled again so union minister for chemical and fertilizers who is now it is mansuk mandavia he is the new minister for union minister of chemicals and fertilizers then the new minister of union minister for civil aviation are telling me that specific guys all this name of ministers are now important theek hai those ministers who have recently been reshuffled or has recently been new newly appointed the name of all of them are important so now for union minister of civil aviation the answer will be that is option number b jyotiraditya sindhya will be the right answer here then now which among the following indian american has been appointed as the deputy administrator And the director of the U.S. Center for Medicine. You have to tell me the name of that specific person who has been appointed as the deputy administrator and the director of the U.S. Center for Medicare. ठीक है जी? Is it Shreena Kurani, Rashid Hussain, Vivek Murthy, Meena uh, Meena Shahmani, or Kamala Harris? So the answer is Meena Shahmani. Why? Because Kamala Harris is the vice president of USA. ठीक है जी चलो न मूविंग फॉर्दर दैट इज द क्वेश्चन अबाउट द विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग एस्ट्रोनॉट हैज बिकम द थर्ड इंडियन ओरिजिन एस्ट्रोनॉट टू फ्लाई इन टू स्पेस ठीक है थर्ड इंडियन ओरिजिन एस्ट्रोनॉट टू फ्लाई इन टू स्पेस यू टेल द नेम ऑफ दैट स्पेसिफिक पर्सन इज इट बैथ मॉसिस वैली फॉन्ग मीना शहमानी श्रीषा बांडला और रिचर्ड ब्रेंसन सो वाइज आंसर फॉर दिस इज ऑप्शन नंबर डी श्रीषा बैंडला वी हैव डिस्कस अर्लियर ऑल्सो थर्ड Woman also who has third Indian origin woman to fly into space. Okay, so this is the answer. Now, guys, the next is about the question about is Dev Dasi Parasmani. So recently in the month of July, Dev Dasi Parasmani has passed away. You have to tell me that she was the last Dev Dasi of which of the following temple? So she was the last serving Dev Dasi of which of the following temple? Is it Ayappa Temple, Kartik Mandir, Kedarnath, Jagannath, or Kartika Swami Temple? So Pooja Avidal Vasu, they are saying, sir. Yes, sir. That is, they are saying, sir. Option number 
that is Jagannath temple will be the answer and yes guys option number D Jagannath temple is the right answer here ठीक है जी then the next question is about a very important book ठीक है जी that is now the prime minister has received the first copy of the book that is the Ramayana of Shri Guru Gobind Singh ji ठीक है you have to tell me the name of the author of the book the name of the author of the Ramayana of Shri Guru Gobind Singh ji book is you have to tell me the name of that specific author is it Amir Khan Veer Das, Swami Vivekananda, Baljit Kaur, Tulsi or none of the above. So, Aviral, Sanya, Gokuldi, Priti. So, now I am getting the answer that is option number D. So, yes guys, option number D, Baljit Kaur, Tulsi is the right answer here. Okay, now guys coming to the next question. Okay, ji. So, very very important question because again a question related to Olympics. So, recently a very important member that is an, a member of Olympic gold winning hockey team he belongs to the state of West Bengal, has passed away. Very important thing about him is that he was the last surviving member of the Indian hockey team that has created the history by beating Britain to win India's first Olympic gold post-independence. Because India's first Olympic gold post-independence was win in the form of hockey. So this question can also be asked in your examination. The name of that specific person is that I'm getting in the options, I'm getting in the chat boxes. That is absolutely right. Is yes, Keshav, that is Mr. Keshav, that is the right answer here. Okay, so he was the last surviving member. Subsequent important question but that could be asked is India has won its first gold after independence is in 1948 London Olympics, that is in the form of hockey. So, that question you should also remember that could be asked in your examination also. Then guys, the question is about Shri Virbhadra Singh Ji. So recently, the former Chief Minister of which among the following state has passed away? His name was Shri Virbhadra, Shri Virbhadra Singh. Very, very easy question. You could ask me that thing. Okay. That who has, sorry, who among the following? So which, to which state he was associated with? So guys, he was associated with the state of Himachal Pradesh. Yes, Mr. Virbhadra Singh was associated with the state of Himachal Pradesh. Then the next question is about the World Population Day. You have to tell me on which among the following date the World Population Day is celebrated. So lot of days we have discussed about World Population Day. We have discussed World Blood Donor Day. We have discussed question about Blood Day. We have discussed a question earlier in the month of June. Okay. Now Population Day. You have to tell me on which date it is celebrated. So I'm getting the answer that says guys on 11th of July. So yes guys on 11th of July World Population Day is celebrated. The very important thing if I talk about the theme here is, the theme here is the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on fertility. The next question is about the e-commerce giant who has launched a new mobile application Shopsy. You just have to tell me the name of that specific e-commerce giant who has launched Shopsy. Okay, so Shopsy has launched KIG, Amazon, Nike, PTM, Flipkart and none of the above. So Shopsy is an initiative of Flipkart. Okay, Flipkart ka initiative hai ji, Shopsy. Okay, and this is again a very easy thing to answer. Okay, and really glad to see thing. Just a question has come into your screen. I am just getting the answer. Uh, I am getting a flood of answers. Sir, so Flipkart, 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 Flipkart. So yes, guys, Flipkart is the absolutely right answer here. Okay, ji. The next question is about a very important thing. So which of the following blockbuster by Rajkumar Hirani has been recently added in the National Film Archives of India collection? In the month of July 2021. Is it three idiots? Munabhai, MBBS, PK, Sanju, Yafin, none of the above. Okay, ji. So the answer is PK. Yes, I'm getting the answer from all of you. PK, PK, PK will be the answer. So, guys, yes. Just say, usme bola jata na, PK me, ke kaun sa gola me se a gaya hai. So, this kind of question will be in your examination also. If you don't know the answer, so this will be coming into your mind. Okay. This thing will be coming into your mind. Sir, you don't know anything about this question. We do not know anything about this question. So that is a trick. So remember this, okay? It is again a joke for you to lighten, to lighten up the lecture. I think this is the kind of thing that comes to your mind, okay? okay? When we do not know about the question, this is one thing that comes into mind. Okay, sir, you don't know which one has come from the question. Okay, sir? So this should be coming into your mind. Okay, so we don't want this kind of thing that comes to your mind. For that purpose, this is one thing. Now, focus more on the lecture okay? that is why we want major participation of you in the lecture okay chalo ji again lightened up now let's see about the next question okay ji 
So PK is the answer here. Now coming to the next question. India's first. So which metro city has launched India's first fast tag or UPI based cashless parking facility? Okay, ji. Okay. So I don't want to. I don't want to see this kind of comment in the final paper analysis. Okay, sir. Paper, pata nahi kaun sa gula se aa gaya hai. Okay. So now coming to the question. Okay, ji. Chalo. So let's see India's first fast tag or UPI based cashless parking facility has been launched in which among the following UT Ahmedabad New Delhi Chennai Bangalore or Kolkata So guys the answer here is yes the answer here is option number B New Delhi is the right answer here okay ji chalo now moving further so which of the following country has established an anti money laundering cell to come out of the FATF's grey list ठीक है तो विच स्टेट विच कंट्री हैज डिसाइडेड टू सेट अप दिस एंटी मनी लॉन्ड्रिंग आई थिंक दिस इज अगेन क्वेश्चन इजी क्वेश्चन टू आंसर ठीक है तो आंसर इज क्वाइट सिंपल पाकिस्तान बिकॉज पाकिस्तान इज कंसिस्टेंटली कमिंग इन दी ग्रे लिस्ट ऑफ एफ एटी एफ नाउ दे डिसाइडेड दैट दे विल बी फॉर्मिंग अ कमेटी दैट हाउ दे कुड कम अप ऑफ दिस एफ एटी एफ ग्रे लिस्ट देन गाइज द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज द गवर्नमेंट हैज अपॉइंटेड हु मंग द फॉलोइंग एज द मेंबर ऑफ एडवाइजरी काउंसिल ऑफ Open Network for Digital Commerce. Is it Ram Sevak or Nandan Nilkani? Is it Dharam Pal or Pushkar Singh Dhami? R S Sharma or Dilip S B? Dilip S B or Nandan Nilkani? Let's see, guys. How many of you get your answer right? So the answer for this is that is option number A. Ram Sevak and Nandan Nilkani is the right answer. So they both have been appointed as the member who will be advising India, who will be advising the government for creating an. Open network for digital commerce. Then is guys a very important question. New CEO of Amazon. Okay, new CEO of Amazon who has been appointed is it Jeff Bezos, Jeremy Garlick, Jeffrey Blackburn, Andy Jassy, or Mackenzie Scott? One of the most easiest question of today's answer, today's session is this question. Andy Jassy. So that so we know. Okay, all of you are using Amazon. So let let's see. The new CEO of Amazon is Andy Jassy. Then. The new question, very important, is hundredth president of the Association of Indian University. You have to tell me who has been appointed as the hundredth president of Association of Indian Union in July. Is it Dr. Baljit Singh Sekho, Professor Tej Pratap, Mark Lilastra, or sorry, I'm sorry for the pronunciation here. Okay, G, G, Tiru Vasangam, or none of the above. Let's see how many of you get your answer right. Okay, ji. So I think this is a very important question for this question. Very important question. Okay, for the lecture. So the answer will be that is option number D. Jiro Thiruvasagam Thiru Thiruvasagam has been appointed as the hundredth president of the All India University. Sorry, Association of India Universities that is set up in New Delhi. The next question is. So this question we have already discussed. The new Chief Minister of Uttarakhand. We know it is Mr. Pushkar Singh Dhami. ठीक है जी चलो सो दैट तो वी हैव डिस्कस अर्लियर ऑन नाउ कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया हैज अपॉइंटेड द न्यू गवर्नर्स टू एट न्यू स्टेट्स यू हैव टू टेल मी हु इज द न्यू गवर्नर फॉर हिमाचल प्रदेश ठीक है न्यू गवर्नर फॉर हिमाचल प्रदेश दैट यू हैव टू टेल मी इज इट मिस्टर बंदरू दत्तात्रेय ठीक है रवि विजय कुमार मलिमत राजेंद्र विश्वनाथ अर्लेकर और हरि बाबू कंबपति लेट्स सी हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू गेट योर आंसर गाइस दिस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट First of all, new ministers that we know, okay, that you should remember the new governors you should remember and the important Olympic winners. These are the most priority things that you should remember. Okay, ji. So I'm getting the answer. Hari Babu, I'm getting the answer. So yes, guys, it is not Hari Babu. It's option number C. Rajendra Vishwanath Arlekar is the right answer here. Now, if I talk about the important governors that has been appointed, so for Karnataka, it is Mr. Thavachand Gehlot. Madhya Pradesh, it is Mangu Bhai. Changan Bhai Patel from Mizoram it is Hari Babu Kambapati Himachal Pradesh it is Rajendra Vishwanathan Arlekar so Goa it is P S Sridharan Pillai Haryana is Bandaru uh, Bandaru Dattatreya Tripura is Satyadev Narayan Arya and for Jharkhand is Ramesh Bais so these are the important governor list that you have to remember ठीक है जी चलो now moving to the next question is that which of the following bank has signed an MOU with Indian Army under its Power Salute Initiative to offer a defence service salary package in the month of July 2021. Is it HDFC Bank, IDFC First Bank, ICICI Bank, Axis Bank, or Indusind Bank? 
ठीक है जी लेट सी हाउ मेन ऑफ यू गेट योर आंसर राइट I'm getting the answers. It is Hiran, Ritu. They are getting that. They are giving the answer option number D. So yes, guys, option number D, Axis Bank is the right answer here. Okay, ji. So the next question is the in which among that is recently the Indian Army has named a firing range after which of the following Indian actors? Okay, ji. Okay. Now let's see that indian army has named a firing range on which of the following indian actors is it anushka sharma vidya balan juhi chawla rani mukherjee deepika padukone theek hai ji let's see how many of you got your answer right theek hai chalo dekhte hain kis iska answer hai so guys the answer here is yes all of you are giving the answer right yes that is option number b vidya balan is the right answer so very easy to remember is theek hai ki vidya balan to honor his acting ठीक है, so he is inspired from his acting, so Indian Army has named a firing range after Vidya Balan. ठीक है जी, again a very important thing is, so you could remember a movie that is by the name of Vidya Balan, Sherni has been released, so from that you could remember. ठीक है, Sherni, Sher Shah से तो Vikram Batra, Sherni से Vidya Balan और Indian Army, so that you could also remember as a trick to remember this question. ठीक है जी, चलो. Next is, who among the following rider has completed the world's फर्स्ट सोलो वुमेन मोटरसाइकिल एक्सपेडिशन इन जुलाई 2021 ट्वेंटी वन इज इट शिफाली वर्मा ऐश्वर्या पिसे रोशनी शर्मा और कंचन उग्रसेंडी और नन ऑफ दी बाउ लेट सी हाउ मेन यू गेट योर आंसर राइट ठीक है जी चलो देखते हैं कि इसका आंसर है ठीक है तो लेट सी गाइज लेट सी हाउ मेन यू गेट योर आंसर राइट ठीक है जी चलो लेट्स वेट हाउ मेन यू आर गेटिंग योर आंसर राइट So somebody saying sir, Kanchan will be the answer. Somebody saying Ashraf will be the answer. But most of you are saying option number four. So yes, guys, option number four, that is Kanchan, is the right answer. So she has now become the very part of the world's first solo woman motorcyclist expedition. Has she has completed the world's first solo woman motorcycle expedition in the month of July. Now president of Haiti, he has recently passed away or recently been assassinated at home. So just have to tell me the name of that specific person who has been assassin assassinated. Is it Claude Jos? Lord Joseph, Jovlin Moyes, Nay Bukel, or Michael Matley. So let's see, guys. How many of you get your answer right? Okay, so the answer is this. The answer is option number B. Jovlin Moyes is the right answer. That is, he has recently been assassinated in his home. Then, is astronaut from which of the following countries have recently completed the first spacewalk at their new station? You have to tell me the name of that specific country. ठीक है जी द पर्सन दैट इज द एस्ट्रोनॉट फ्रॉम विच कंट्री हैव कंप्लीटेड द फर्स्ट स्पेस वॉक एट देयर न्यू स्पेस स्टेशन सो गाइस व्हाट विल बी द आंसर द आंसर इज ऑप्शन नंबर डी चाइना इज द राइट आंसर हियर ठीक है सो चाइना इज द राइट आंसर हियर देन मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज व्हिच मैसेजिंग ऐप हैज लॉन्च्ड व्यू वंस दैट वी हैव अगेन डिस्कस अर्लियर ऑन द आंसर इज वेरी सिंपल दैट इज व्हाट्सएप इज द राइट आंसर हियर ठीक है जी चलो नाउ मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन Which of the following mission by NASA has recently got a two-year extension in July 2021? Let's see, guys. How many of you get your answer right for this question? That is, which of the following mission by NASA has recently got a two-year extension? Is it Juno mission? Is it Amazonia, Gaganyaan mission, Neo Voice, or the Plasma Crystal? Let's see how many of you get your answer right. ठीक है जी चलो देखते हैं कि इसका आंसर सही होता है. So I'm getting the answer, sir. G uh, Neo Vice is the answer that I am getting the answer from you. So guys, yes, Neo Vice is absolutely right. Gaganyaan, why is Gaganyaan? So which mission is Gaganyaan? Why it is not correct? Because it is a mission of ISRO. Okay, shall we? Now moving to the next question, Indrajal. So which of the following Indian firm has developed India's first indigenous drone defense dome by the name of Indrajal? You have to tell me the name of that specific Indian firm. Is it BEL that is Bharat Electronics Limited, Bharat Dynamics, DRDO, Green Robotics, or none of the above? Let's see how many of you get your answer right, guys. So the answer is yes. Option number D, Green Robotics. So Green Robotics have developed this Indra Ja. That is a very very important thing. So Nitesh, Sushil, Shreya, Neha, Vishal, they all of you are getting the answer right. That is Green Robotics is the right answer here. Then, guys, coming to the next question. So, recently, the astronomers of which of the following countries have made the use of 
artificial intelligence to reveal the true shape of universe so artificial intelligence to reveal the true shape of universe let's see how many of you get your answer right china japan russia india or usa let's see how many of you get your answer right now so guys the answer is yes it is it i think it is wrong here it is not denmark i am really sorry for this thing i think i am not right here so i think it is japan okay so don't worry we will make the correction in the pdf don't worry about that thing okay we will make the correction in the pdf okay don't worry about that thing okay so japan will be the answer here okay ji chalo let's see how many of you get your answer right chalo so the next question is about guys recently the committee of hegriva madhava temple okay that is hegriva madhava temple has signed an mou with five organizations to conserve the rare to conserve the which among the following rare thing in the state of assam is it indigenous tribes it is manohari golti is it mandarin duck or is it black soft shell turtle let's see how many of you get your answer right for this question very very important question guys this question is theek hai ji black turtle hai ya kuch aur hai let's see i'm getting the answer black turtle so yes guys the right answer here is option number d that is the black soft shell turtle is the right answer here theek hai ji that is absolutely right to conserve this rare species of black soft shell turtle the this madhava temple has signed an mou the next is guys which of the following state has decided to build a corridor to connect the three of its tiger reserves theek hai you tell me the name of that specific state which will be building this corridor is it arunachal pradesh rajasthan andhra pradesh madhya pradesh or assam so the answer here is again a very simple question yes guys the answer is rajasthan so tiger reserve se kaafi cheeze yaad rakhni hai about the state of rajasthan theek hai then is about the world chocolate day so chocolates are again really really important for you theek hai ji now see world chocolate day let's see how many of you get your answer right is observed or is celebrated on which among the following date is it 10th of july 9th of july 8th of july or 7th of july theek hai ji to world chocolate day So yes, guys, World Chocolate Day is observed on seventh of. It is celebrated on every seventh of July. Then the next question is about the seventh Indian. That is, which of the following country has hosted the seventh edition of Indian Ocean Naval Symposium? That is again a thing that we have discussed. Okay, we have discussed this thing earlier also. So answer is very simple. Hai. Answer is France. That we have discussed earlier on. Okay, ji. The next is guys about yes dash has become the india's first female swimmer to qualify for tokyo olympics in 2021 i think that is again a very important thing that we have discussed earlier on also theek hai ji to kya hai inka answer to answer kya hai ji mana patel was the person so mana patel is the swimmer who has qualified for the tokyo olympics theek hai ji now coming to this question about the fire so recently guys the science and research board of india has launched that is the has launched which among the following has launched the first of its kind research initiative that is by the name of fund for industrial research engagement to advance the deep tech researches in india theek hai ji is it intel india facebook wipro microsoft or none of the above let's see guys how many of you get your answer right theek hai ji chalo dekhte hain kis kis ka answer sahi hai So I'm getting the answer Intel India Intel India so yes guys option number A Intel India is the right answer here then moving to the next question the next question is about the PM FM scheme very very easy question because these are kind of questions that is why we always say that the ESA question can also come in your GA section theek hai ji so PM FM scheme what does F in PM FM PM FM stands for is it function foundation farmer formalization or none of the above So yes, guys, the answer is option number D. That is formalization. And if I talk about PMFME, the PMFME stands for the Prime Minister's Formalization of Micro Food Processing Enterprises Scheme. Then, guys, the next question is about India has been ranked at which of the following places in the recently released Global Startup Ecosystem Index? So, you tell me the rank of the India in Global Startup Ecosystem Index.
is the 21st 11th 25th or 20th let's see how many of you get your answer right guys तो आंसर क्या है जी इसका आंसर है ऑप्शन नंबर डी ट्वेंटी इज द राइट आंसर हियर ठीक है सो ऑप्शन नंबर डी इंडिया हैज बीन स्कोर्ड इंडिया स्कोर ट्वेंटी रैंक दियर देन द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज अबाउट दी विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग एप्लीकेशन हैज बीन लॉन्च बाय द ऑफिस ऑफ प्रिंसिपल साइंटिफिक एडवाइजर टू गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया टू इक्विप द फार्मर्स विद एक्शनेबल एग्रीकल्चरल इन एंड प्रोवाइड अर्ली वेदर अलर्ट यू टेल मी द नेम ऑफ दैट स्पेसिफिक इनिशिएटिव ठीक है जी लेट सी गाइस हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू गेट योर आंसर राइट हियर नाउ ठीक है जी लेट सी हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू गेट योर आंसर राइट नाउ कृषि ऐप है क्या है लेट सी हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू गेट योर आंसर राइट सो एम गेटिंग द आंसर दैट इज कृषि ऐप आई एम सोनू अंशु ऑल ऑफ यू गिविंग द आंसर दैट इज ऑप्शन नंबर ए कृषि ऐप विल बी द आंसर एंड यस गाइस ऑप्शन नंबर ए इट इज कृषि ऐप इज द राइट आंसर है ठीक है जी चलो नाउ मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट इज रिसेंटली इंडिया एंड रशिया हैज बिगन द कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ यूनिट फाइव एंड सिक्स ऑफ कोडन कोलम न्यूक्लियर पावर प्लांट यू हैव टू टेल मी द नेम दैट विथ विच प्लेस इज कोडन कोलम न्यूक्लियर पावर प्लांट इज सिचुएटेड इट इज इन केरला तमिलनाडु कर्नाटक आंध्र प्रदेश और तेलंगाना ठीक है जी लेट सी हाउ मेन यू गेट योर आंसर राइट गाइस so here the answer is yes it is in tamil nadu very very easy thing to answer again a part of your static gk also but because it is in current in use so the question could be asked from current affairs section also then is the question about global cyber security index theek hai ji to india tha hume pata chal gaya 10th place pe that we have discussed earlier on theek hai ji now you tell me that The Global Cyber Security Index for 2020 was released by ITU. Which of the following country has stopped this index? You have to tell me the name of the country who has stopped this cyber security index. Okay, again, very important questions that is from reports and indices that are left in our previous session. I have asked you now. Okay, so I think this is again a very easy answer. Let's see, because if you have gone through the index, this will be really easy for you. But if you have not gone through the index, then it will be difficult for you. Okay, so this question will be that the other goal has come. ठीक है जी इट विल बी लाइक दैट क्वेश्चन सो आंसर इज ऑप्शन नंबर डी यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स इज द राइट आंसर हियर ठीक है नाउ द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज अबाउट विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग बैंक हैज लॉन्च दिस सैल्यूट डॉक्टर्स इनिशिएटिव ओके व्हिच इज अ डिजिटल एंड इंस्टेंट बैंकिंग सॉल्यूशन दैट इज डिजाइंड एक्सक्लूसिवली फॉर मेडिकल डॉक्टर्स लेट्स सी हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू गेट योर आंसर राइट गाइस The answer here is ICICI Bank. So ICICI Bank has launched an initiative, but it is by the name of Salute Doctors. Okay, ji. So I am getting the answer. Some of you are saying HDFC Bank, some of you are saying ICICI Bank. So ICICI Bank is the right answer here. Okay, ji. Chalo. The next is recently, which of the following state has launched a women entrepreneurship scheme by the name of Hosla, that is inspiring her growth. Very very important questions. Hosla scheme. ठीक है जी स्टेट स्पेसिफिक स्कीम जनरली बिंग आस्ट इन इन द नबार्ड एग्जामिनेशन लेट सी हाउ मेन ऑफ यू गेट योर आंसर अबाउट हौसला सो द आंसर इज यस जम्मू एंड कश्मीर हैज लॉन्च द स्कीम बाय द नेम ऑफ हौसला इंस्पायरिंग हर ग्रोथ देन इज अबाउट द क्वेश्चन दैट विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इंस्टीट्यूशन हर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हैज लॉन्च अ नॉन लिंक्ड नॉन पार्टिसिपेटिंग सिंगल प्रीमियम इंडिविजुअल इमीजिएट एनुटी प्लान विच इज बीन नेम्ड एज सरल पेंशन प्लान तो आपने मुझे बताना है किसने सरल पेंशन प्लान इज लॉन्च किया है इज इट पी एफ आर टी एल आई सी आर बी आई एन आई एस सी एल और नॉन ऑफ दीब ओके सो लेट सी हाउ मेन यू गेट यूर आंसर राइट फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन सो गाइज आंसर हेयर इज एल आई सी दट इज लाइफ इंश्योरेंस कॉर्पोरेशन ऑफ इंडिया इज द राइट आंसर हेयर देन आई मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज दट रिसेंटली विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग कंट्री हैज बीन अवॉर्डेड और हैज बीन डिक्लेयर्ड एज has been declared as given the malaria free certificate by the world health organization in the month of july 2021 is it india pakistan kenya china or none of the above theek hai ji let's see how many of you get your answer right here guys so the answer here is yes it is option number d china so china has recently been awarded the certificate of malaria free by the world health organization in the month of july 2021 then the next question is that ptm in partnership with aditya birla finance limited has launched a small ticket instant loan services 
you tell me the name of that loan services is it postpaid major postpaid mini prepaid mini prepaid micro or none of the above okay ji let's see how many of you get your answer right here guys to answer kya hai ji answer is option number b postpaid mini is the right answer here then the next question is on 1st of july international fruit day has been celebrated you just have to tell me the motto of international fruit day very very important thing the question is relevant for your ard section also international fruit day okay the motto of international fruit day is it create change together take a fruit break cherish others reformation our food or none of the above let's see how many of you get your answer right guys theek hai ji i'm getting the answer sir create change will be the answer so yes guys option number a create and change together is the right is the motto of the day of that is international fruit day that has been observed on 1st of july 2021 so this date is again important for you the next is a question is about that who has been appointed as the brand ambassador of khadi prakritik paint that is khadi prakrit paint who among the following has been appointed as the brand ambassador of it is it akshay kumar nitin gadkari narendra modi vidyut jamwala sonu sood okay ji let's see how many of you get your answer right theek hai ji akshay kumar nitin gadkari narendra modi vidyut jamwala sonu sood so yes guys option number b nitin gadkari is absolutely right that is he has been appointed as the new ambassador or a brand ambassador for khadi prakritik paint theek hai ji chalo the next question about the month of july is which of the following application has been launched by the union minister of fisheries to spread the latest fresh water aquaculture technologies to the aqua farmers of india theek hai so now guys these are very important questions the questions are very much related to your ard section but these is the one thing that is these kind of question could also come in your a sorry ga section also so is it matsya bridge matsya setu krishi setu matsya sampada ya none of the above theek hai ji let's see how many of you get your answer right so here guys the answer is option number b Matsya Setu is the right answer here. Okay, so Matsya Setu app has recently been launched by the Union Ministry of Fisheries. So those of you are saying, so Biswant Pooja Jai Singh sir, Matsya Setu is the answer. Yes, Matsya Setu is absolutely right. Now, guys, the next question is about the digital kendra. So Amazon has launched its first digital kendra. You have to tell me that at which of the following place this digital kendra has been set up. Okay, is it in Surat? Indore, Ahmedabad, Jaipur, or Bhopal? You have to tell me the name of that specific place where this is situated. So Hiran is saying, sir, it will be in Surat. Let's see, guys, how many of you get your answer right here. ठीक है जी तो answer क्या है जी answer बिल्कुल सही है. Option number A, Surat is the right answer here. If I talk about the digital Kendra initiative here, the aim of the Amazon India is that is they will be launching, that is they are being launched, that is being they have been committing themselves to digitize. 10 million Indian MSMEs by the year 2025. ठीक है जी तो अब आपको मुझे बताना है वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इंडिया फर्स्ट क्रिप्टो गेमिक गार्डन ठीक है इंडिया फर्स्ट क्रिप्टो गेमिक गार्डन हैज बीन इनगोरेटेड इन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग प्लेसेस इज इन भोपाल शिमला देहरादून कोहिमा और पंचकूला ठीक है इंडिया फर्स्ट क्रिप्टो गेमिक गार्डन लेट सी हाउ मेन ऑफ यू गेट यूर आंसर राइट सो क्रिप्टो गेमिक गार्डन इज इन Yes, it is in Dehradun. So those of you who are giving the answer right, that is Dehradun is absolutely right. The first crypto gaming, very very important. So I have discussed with you a lot of time. If anything is taking place for the first time, there is a very very high probability that a question will be asked from that specific news. Okay, ji, chalo. Now coming to the next question, which of the following country has become the first country to adopt Bhim UPI that we know that is? Bhutan is the right answer here. Okay, so for that purpose, Bhutan is the right answer here. Then is guys recently which of the following state has launched the Chief Minister's COVID-19 Window Sports Scheme to provide social and financial security to the widows of the COVID-19 victims? Let's see how many of you get your answer right. Again, a question related to state specific scheme. Let's see how many of you get your answer right. Is it Nagaland, Assam, Tripura, Manipur, or Mizoram? Okay, ji. Let's see. 
सो गाइस द आंसर हेयर इज ऑप्शन नंबर बी असम इज द राइट आंसर हेयर ठीक है जी सो असम हैज लॉन्च्ड अ स्कीम बाय द नेम ऑफ चीफ मिनिस्टर्स कोविड-19 विडो स्पोर्ट स्कीम देन इज गाइस अबाउट द क्वेश्चन अबाउट यूएन वर्ल्ड फूड प्रोग्राम सो यूएन वर्ल्ड फूड प्रोग्राम हैज पार्टनर्ड विद व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेट्स टू इंप्रूव द टारगेटेड पब्लिक डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सिस्टम सो टारगेटेड पब्लिक डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सिस्टम लेट्स सी हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू नो द आंसर so is it gujarat rajasthan madhya pradesh punjab or haryana let's see guys how many of you get your answer right very very important question is this theek hai un world food program so is it gujarat rajasthan madhya pradesh punjab or haryana so guys i am getting the answer rajasthan let's see how many of you are getting the answer right so all of you are saying rajasthan some of you so uh, yavnika is saying that it will be haryana but guys yes those of you who have given the answer rajasthan they are absolutely right ठीक है जी सो विजडम शिफा तानिया दे हैव गिवन द आंसर दैट इज राजस्थान दैट इज राजस्थान इज एब्सोल्युटली राइट ओके नाउ कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ द जुलाई दैट इज अबाउट दैट व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेट हैज लॉन्च्ड द हॉर्टिकल्चर वीक फॉर डबलिंग फार्मर्स इनकम हॉर्टिकल्चर वीक इट हैज बीन लॉन्च्ड बाय व्हिच अमंग द फॉलोइंग ठीक है जी लेट्स सी सो गाइस द आंसर हियर इज हॉर्टिकल्चर वीक ठीक है जी तो हॉटिक गलत है बिल्कुल भी आंसर आज इतने फॉर योर क्वेरी यू को ड्रॉप अस एन ईमेल एट हेलो एट द रेट एडिट टाइप डॉट को डॉट इन ठीक है योर क्वेरी विल बी एड्रेस्ड हियर दैट इज अबाउट द रिपोर्टिंग टाइमिंग यू कोड एड्रेस द क्वेरी हियर ओके जी चलो द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज अबाउट कर्नाटक हैज लॉन्च द डैश टैक्सी स्कीम टू इंप्रूव द फर्स्ट एंड द लास्ट माइल कनेक्टिविटी एंड रिड्यूस कार्बन एमिशन एंड जनरेट सेल्फ एम्प्लॉयमेंट अपॉर्चुनिटीज फॉर यूथ इन द स्टेट इज इट इलेक्ट्रिक स्कूटी इलेक्ट्रिक बस इलेक्ट्रिक ऑटो इलेक्ट्रिक बाइक और नॉन ऑफ दी बव ठीक है जी लेट सी हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू गेट योर आंसर राइट है गाइस तो आंसर क्या है जी आंसर है इसका इलेक्ट्रिक बाइक ठीक है हैज लॉन्च द इलेक्ट्रिक बाइक टैक्सी स्कीम 2021 द पर्पस ऑफ इट विल बी दैट इज इट विल बी द फर्स्ट एंड लास्ट माइल कनेक्टिविटी इट विल हेल्प इन रिड्यूस कार्बन एमिशन द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट इज इट इज बीइंग लॉन्च्ड बाय द स्टेट ऑफ कर्नाटका सो दीज आर अगेन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स ठीक है जी कुछ इंपॉर्टेंट स्टेट स्कीम्स वर देयर दैट वी कुड नॉट डिस्कस इन द स्की गवर्नमेंट स्कीम सेशन सो दैट आई हैव डिस्कस नाउ इन टू डेज सेशन ओके दैट विल अगेन बी हेल्पफुल फॉर यू देन इज अबाउट द व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग डिजिटल प्लेटफार्म हैज बीन लॉन्च्ड टू हेल्प फार्मर्स टू गेट द राइट इंफॉर्मेशन एट द राइट टाइम टू गेट टू गिव देम द राइट इंफॉर्मेशन एट द राइट टाइम इन देयर डिजायर्ड लैंग्वेज इट इज कृषि मित्र किसान दोस्त किसान सुरक्षा किसान सारथी और नॉन ऑफ दी पाओ ठीक है जी लेट्स सी हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू गेट योर आंसर राइट नाउ सो गाइस द आंसर हियर इज दैट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम इट इज किसान सारथी इज द राइट आंसर हियर ठीक है सो किसान सारथी इज द राइट आंसर हियर द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज अबाउट द इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ हेरिटेज यू टेल मी दैट द गवर्नमेंट हैज डिसाइडेड दैट एट व्हिच प्लेस द वर्ल्ड क्लास इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ हेरिटेज विल बी सेट अप इज इट इन जोधपुर कानपुर जयपुर नोएडा और रोपड़ ठीक है वर्ल्ड क्लास इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ हेरिटेज विल बी सेट अप एट व्हिच अमंग द फॉलोइंग प्लेस सो आई एम श्योर दैट इज एब्सोल्युटली राइट ठीक है किसान सारथी वाज लॉन्च्ड एट द 93rd आयकर फाउंडेशन डे लेट्स सी अबाउट द इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ हेरिटेज वेयर इट विल बी सेट अप सो यस गाइस आई एम गेटिंग द आंसर फ्रॉम ऑल ऑफ यू नोएडा विल बी द आंसर सो यस गाइस नोएडा इज एब्सोल्युटली राइट ठीक है जी तो इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ हेरिटेज कहां पे बन रहा है नोएडा में बन रहा है दैट इज Now a salary count. So which of the following has signed an MOU with Indian Navy so that they could offer a salary count to all the personnel of Indian Navy? Again, a simple. I think this is a kind of question that is generally being seen. Okay, it is not that much easy. Okay, but these kind of questions can ask can be asked. So the answer is Kotak Mahindra Bank. So Kotak Mahindra Bank have recently signed an MOU with Indian Navy that is they will be offering a salary count to all the personnel. That is about the NOCA. So which of the following space agency has launched NOCA which is a lab module to international space station so just you have to tell me about NOCA is it NASA Roscom ISRO or JAXA let's see how many of you get your answer right about the NOCA initiative theek hai ji which of the following space agency has launched the NOCA initiative is it NASA Roscom ISRO or JAXA So I'm getting the answer. Isro, some of you are saying Roscom also. Let's see, guys. The answer here is option number B. Yes, option number B. Roscom is the right answer here. So it is not Isro. It is Russian Space Agency. They will be launching an initiative by the name of NOCA, which is a lab 
module to their international space station now guys this is all about the month of july theek hai ji now whether you want a break or let's proceed with the month of august it all depends on you theek hai ji how are you liking the session tell me that in the chat box also whether you are liking it whether you are feeling comfortable whether you are getting the answer right or is it like ke sir i am not getting the answer right let's see how many of you are doing how you are performing till the this month of july then we will proceed with the month of august okay okay guys we will have a break of a, let's say 5 minute okay let's have a break of 5 minute then we will continue okay let's have a break of 5 minute then we will continue with the next next set of questions from august and september so thanks for your appreciation wisdom and shreya thanks for that theek hai ji okay arti singh sir got 16 mark arti don't worry this this is one thing the purpose of pro giving you mock test or purpose of providing you the mock test is that see this is very much important that if you are not scoring good that means analyze yourself so that you could perform very well in the final session that is one important thing theek hai if you will be performing very well because if you are scoring less marks that means you should now tell us you should look at the you should analyze your weak areas okay analyze your weak areas and work on that and then i think this will really helpful when your final paper will be taking place okay ji chalo okay guys now the other important thing is are your focus high theek hai whether your focus is high or not so now whether your focus is high or not i want that specific thing from you also theek hai ji focus high hai na bibi after covering the two months questions of june and july whether your josh is high or not okay so tell me in the chat box so then we will start with the questions of august okay so tell me in the chat box whether your josh is high or not whether you are feeling low so i am getting bhumika is saying the josh is really really high okay ji chalo let's see so anshu saying sir whether ritika ma'am will join us today or not so anshu i think your request has been accepted so yes ritika ma'am just within a few minutes ritika ma'am will be here and she will be now proceeding with the month of august okay so don't worry guys ritika ma'am aa rahi hain theek hai so it is not like ritika ma'am nahi aayenge so as decided ritika ma'am will be here within a few minutes she will be there and she will be starting with the month of august okay ji ओके सो आरती सिंह सर यू मस्ट बी टायर्ड वेयर इज रितिका मैम आरती ओके थैंक्स फॉर दिस ठीक है जी सो डोंट वेरी गाइस रितिका मैम इज हियर ठीक है जी तो जो शुड बी हाई ओके सो विद इन अ फ्यू मिनट्स रितिका मैम विल बी हियर ओके जी चलो ओके गाइस नाउ रितिका मैम विल बी टेकिंग द सेशन फर्दर फ्रॉम मी एंड शी विल बी प्रोसीडिंग द एमसीक्यूज फ्रॉम अगस्त एंड सितंबर ओके जी चलो okay so my dear lovely friends hope you have enjoyed the two months of current affairs as discussed by gurkirat sir so let's start right i can see josh is already high i have seen students saying that they have enjoyed a lot very nice so let's get started for august and september theek hai let's start fine shall i ask the question Thank you so much, Gurkirat sir. He has, uh, I can see he has worked really hard. Two months of questions in one go. Hats off to him. Chaliye ji. My next question to you from August. So I have around two hundred questions from August and September. September is a very important month. We'll discuss hundred questions from September. So very first question is PV Sindhu has become first Indian woman to win two Olympic medals which player did Sindhu beat to win the medal at Tokyo Olympics Very easy I think students must have seen this match wherein she beat uh, Bing Zhao but she could not beat tai zu ying right so bingjao is the right answer sindhu has won 
Olympic medal this time also. This was her bronze medal last time in last Olympics. She won a silver medal. Very nice. Ministry of Culture has released Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav initiative for 75th Independence Day celebration. Who is the current Minister of Culture? Hanji. Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav is important very much. If you have seen the speech of Modi ji, he mentioned about this Mahotsav in his speech on 75th Independence Day. Okay, so G. Kishan Reddy is the right answer. Which of the following states has virtually launched the Sahaj Jeevanam project? Uh, this is some garbar. This is, I'll, I'll correct this answer. Okay, please forgive me for this error here in the PPT. Sahaj Jeevanam project, can anyone anyhow answer? Please tell me if you know which state has launched Sahaj Jeevanam. I'll correct it here. Theek hai? Meanwhile, you tell me about Sahaj Jeevanam. Which state has launched it? Come on. Let's not waste the question it's at least. Which state? Kerala. Right, right. That's right. Kerala is the right answer. Do not worry. Here it is written wrong. I'll correct it. I'll just, just write here. Kerala. Theek hai? This PDF will be corrected here. Okay, ji. Question 3 of August. I've marked it. Chaliye. Who among the following personalities has chaired an open debate on maritime security at UNSC? So at United Nations Security Council, Narendra Modi ji chaired the debate on maritime security. UNSC's chairmanship was taken by India. So that's why this was a debate on maritime security Modi ji took over. When is Muslim Women Rights Day celebrated in India? 1st August guys, right? 1st August is Muslim Women Rights Day. Who among the following Indian players has or have won Olympic medals in boxing? Olympic medals in boxing has been won by all of the above. Vijendar Singh, Lavlina Bargohan, Mary Com. Hoga Abhishek, do not worry, do not worry Abhishek, hum PDF mein isko correct kar denge. Akasa Airlines, which is set to hit the Indian airline market in April 2022, is based on which of the following models? So, this Akasa Airlines was in news because of Akash, uh, sorry, not Ak Akash, it's Junjun Walaji. Okay, so Akasa Airlines, he said that he's gonna run, which will be starting from April 2022 and it will be based on, based on ULCC, Ultra Low Cost Carrier. Very nice. Not high cost. It's not ultra high cost, guys. Please do not mark it wrong. It's ULCC, low cost. Just say, for example, Indigo Airlines, it is a low cost airline. So this is being uh, launched to make it more low. Recently, which of the following food delivery platforms has recently partnered with Hero Electro to deliver food via e-bicycles? Hanji, anyone up for the answer? Swiggy, is it? Right, that's right. Swiggy is the right answer. Guys, I'll just take your session quickly. I know students have been here with me. Okay. NASA has recently opened application for its one-year mission to simulate Mars-type conditions on Earth. What is the name of this mission? So, the mission by NASA in which uh, Mars-type con conditions would be simulated is... Crew Health and Performance Exploration Analog. It's Chepia mission, basically. Okay, ji? Chepia mission by NASA to simulate Mars type conditions on Earth. Which of the following awards is the highest sports honor award in India with a cash prize of 25 lakhs for the winner? So, highest sports honor. You have to know this award. Why? Because it was recently renamed Major Dhyan Chand Khel Ratan Award. Earlier this was used to called as Rajiv Gandhi Khel Ratan. But then after Olympics it was decided to rename it to Major Dhyan Chand Khel Ratan Award. Right? Please do not forget it. It's very important from the month of August. So your paper is in September. So August, September are very important. Uh, 2021 Skytrax World Airport Award Ranking has been released. How many Indian airports were among the top 50 airports in the world? 
so guys one airport of india was under top 50 there were i think three or four airports under top 100 but on top 50 only one neeraj chopra has won the gold medal in men's javelin throw at this year's olympics how many medals has india won at Tol tokyo olympics 2020 hanji uh, uska answer delhi airport bilkul sahi hai ji that's right now this question i would like you to give me the answer Neera Chopra ji from Panipat, hailing from Panipat, has won the gold medal. This was the first medal of India in the field games. Okay. So, this year, India won seven medals. This was a good performance by India. So, Indian Army has qualified for the International Army Games 2021. What is the venue for the event? So, Indian Army Games 2021's venue, US, China, UK, Russia, France. Russia is it? Is it? That's right. Ji. So Russia is the answer. International Army Games for which India has qualified. Indian Army has qualified. A new award for excellence in IT has been released by Maha government. That is Maharashtra government. The award has been renamed or named after whom? This is interesting. You will be able to answer it. I think very easy and interesting. It was named after Rajiv Gandhi. What happened interestingly that after uh, central government decided to change the name of uh, Rajiv Gandhi, Khel Ratna, Khel Ratna was changed to uh, Major Dhyan Chanji, right? So after that, Mahara Maharashtra government came up with this award on IT and Rajiv Gandhi has played a very important role in bringing information technology in India, right? He brought computer in India, basically. Who among the following war heroes recently passed away in August is known for bombarding the port of Karachi in 1971 war, right? Vikram Batra ji to cannot be the answer, right? He was not there in the port of Karachi wala war, 1971 war. I think you have seen the movie uh, Sher Shah, right? If you haven't, don't see it now after an exam you're free to see. So Vikram Batra is not the right answer. Here answer is Commodore Kasargod Gopal Rao. So he recently passed away actually. So that's why it was a news that this was a person who bombarded the port of Karachi. 1971 was a very important war which led to the formation of Bangladesh ultimately. Okay. So there Commodore played a very important role. Recently, India and US have signed an MOU that will directly benefit Rama and Omni. The MOU is regarding which of the following? So, India and US have signed MOUs related to weather forecasts. Dash has recently uh, retired from Indian cricket. He was the captain of Under-19 World Cup winning team for the year 2012. So this was quite surprising that this person has retired and the name is Unmukt Chand. Theek hai ji? Am I, am I audible? Theek hai answer? Very nice. Kaziranga National Park, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, has given satellite telephones to its guards. How many World Heritage Sites are there in India? This is very interesting. Total of... 40 World Heritage Sites are there in India. You are preparing for any exam. These current affairs are going to help you. But we have focused on NABAD as of now. Okay, so Kaziranga is located where? I want you to tell me that also. Kaziranga National Park is in which state? It is also called as like, it is the uh, national park which is known for rhinoceros. One horn rhinos. So, it is located in the state of? Please answer. Very nice. Come on, one more question, please. Thank you, Bhumika, for answering correctly. Mili, Pooja, Tarun, Krish, Arti, everyone has answered correctly. So, which among the following missions by ISRO has confirmed the presence of HO as well as H2 on the surface of Moon? Hanji. So, there was a mission by ISRO on the surface of Moon. So, either you will answer Chandrayaan 1 or Chandrayaan 2. Theek hai. Chandrayaan 1 was the first one on which the preliminary research was going on. So, Chandrayaan 2 is the second mission by ISRO on Chandrama. That is moon. So, it has confirmed that there is water as well as HO, hydrogen monoxide on the surface of moon. Which among the following oil companies has started door-to-door -door fuel delivery initiative by the name Flu Fuel Cart? Hanji. Flipkart you guys have been using, okay? 
तो नाउ फ्यूल कार्ट हैज बीन स्टार्टेड बाय बीपीसीएल भारत पेट्रोलियम कॉर्पोरेशन हैज स्टार्टेड दिस डोर टू डोर डिलीवरी इट्स अ वेरी लाइक इन इंपॉर्टेंट इनिशिएटिव टुडेज टर्म्स वेयर एवरीथिंग इज नाउ अवेलेबल एट योर डोर स्टेप A bank has partnered with Paralympics Committee India to provide financial assistance to Indian athletes during 2020. What is the tagline of this bank? Now this is not a very easy question. If you have been referring to the general awareness videos earlier, you can answer it easily. Right. So Paralympics Committee is going to be headed by this bank whose tagline is your own bank banking that's twice as good. What is the name of this bank? That can be the easy question. Shafa you are right but i want you to tell me the name of this bank so if it is asked that which bank is it you should be able to answer indian bank right if it is asked that what is the tagline of indian bank then you should be able to answer this if the question is asked directly then you already know the answer on india 75th independence day modi ji announced uh, to mark vibhajan vibhiksha smriti divas on which of the following dates it's a uh, partition horror remembrance day so this day is going to be observed on 14th august okay which of the following credit card issuers have been banned by rbi for not complying with its data storage norms so data storage norms are there that you have to store the data of the users here in india itself right these were the um, norms by rbi like one of the norms so all these mastercard diners club american express these three are not indian based so they, they were banned by rbi recently a ban on hdfc was lifted by rbi india has launched e emergency visa for the refugee refugees of which of the following countries so e emergency visa has been launched it's easy afghanistan afghanistan is the country which is currently in an, an emergency situation so although we provided e emergency visa but refugees could not even come out of the kabul airport if you have been following news right so afghanistan due to the uh, taliban taking over the power again has been in news a lot you have to know this capital i am ex like i am expecting you know the capital of afghanistan it's very easy kabul theek okay? hai iims delhi has become nation's first hospital to get dash on its campus so nation's first hospital to get fire station on its campus see now this is not a very big news but because i am delhi is nation's first hospital to get it that's why it's becomes important it becomes important gurkirat sir has been telling you anything that happens for the first time in india or even for that matter globally you have to cover it who among the following pms has resigned after receiving intense criticism over his covid policies so uh, muhiddin yasin has resigned over his covid policies muhiddin uh, yasin was the prime minister of anyone he has now resigned from it like people usually do not take it lightly and they do not resign okay so he has resigned and he was the prime minister of correct correct absolutely correct i am sorry if i am not able to take the names of all the students but malaysia is the right answer and i am getting it as the right one who among the following has been appointed as the new prime minister of malaysia following the resignation of muhyiddin so after he left yasin saab ismail sabri yakub took over so it can be in any way that muhyiddin yasin is related to which country Ismail Sabri has taken over after Muhyiddin Yus uh, uh, Muhyiddin Yassin as the PM of which country as it can anything can be asked an MOU has been approved between India and Dash in the field of DM disaster management so here the answer is Bangladesh please remember it India and Bangladesh they came up together for disaster management how can you remember this both countries are the two nations basically India Bangladesh the neighboring countries not very well in managing disasters so they said let's help each other which of the following athletes has become the first indian to be a part of nba championship roster unmak chand we have already covered that he has retired 
uh, from Indian cricket recently. Sunil Chetri is not related to basketball. Okay. Uh, our answer is Prince Pal Singh. ठीक है. World Mosquito Day is observed on which of the following dates? So 20th August. ठीक है. 20th August is your World Mosquito Day. Okay, ji. Next question. For the first time in Indian Army, women officers have been promoted to which of the following ranks? Is this easy to answer? For the very first time, women have been promoted to the rank of Marshal. India's highest herbal park has been inaugurated at a height of 11,000 feet in which state are UT. So guys, 11,000 feet is just a figure. I don't think it will be asked in the examination because this is quite a trivial question that what is the height of the new herbal park. But anyhow, if you can remember it, try to remember it. Otherwise, the state where this is located is Uttarakhand. Okay? Achha, udar answer is Colonel, you are saying this one, not Marshal. Colonel, that is Captain. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll have to check, okay? I'll check and make change in the PDF. Do not worry about it. Do not worry, please. Thank you for your feedback. Taking you to next question. Herbal Park is situated in the state of Uttarakhand. India's first smog tower has been inaugurated in which city? So, India's first smog tower is in New Delhi. India's first purif air, tallest air purifier is in Chandigarh. Now, see, this was not very much in news. Why I, why do I know this? I have recently seen it. I was crossing over and I got to know, Achha, this is also here. So, it was in newspapers also. So, Chandigarh has got the tallest air purifier uh, and a smog tower, New Delhi. Which of the following banks has become first Indian lender to list its 81 bonds on IFSC. What is the full form of IFSC? It is a very basic question, can be asked in static part also. So, IFSC is International Financial Service Center and the first lender to list 81 is HDFC Bank. So, what happened is recently HDFC, uh, the ban on uh, issuing new credit cards was removed by RBI and HDFC. So, HDFC came up with a new plan for the credit cards and also came up with the additional tier 1 bonds. Name of the joint training exercise between India and Kazakhstan is Kaz Ind. So, ka, Kaz and Ind. This has been taken, this and this becomes a chronym. Kaz Ind 2021. Why? Because 21 was the year. Which of the following has become first uh, Indian renewable energy to get listed on NASDAQ? So, renew power is the answer to it. It's easy. Renewable energy, only one option. Renew power, right? NSE has decided to include dash and dash in its nifty indices. Easy one. Mona Lisa, you do not worry about the PDF. The PDF will be posted on our Telegram channel today itself. Uh, for that, uh, to join our Telegram channel, you will have to go to the description of this video. Okay, do not worry about the PDF. Be with me in the session. So, REITs and NWITs, Real Estate Investment Trust and uh, Infrastructure Inve Investment Trust have been now decided to be included in the Nifty Indices. The entry age for National Pension Scheme has been revised from 1865 to 18 to 70 years. So basically the entry age of national pension scheme has been revised upwards. This question can be framed in any way. That, that entry age is 18. Okay, this will be given probably if they want to make a dif difficult question. And the upper entry age, the minimum is uh, 18. Okay, they will give like this and maximum will, would be 65 or 70. Or it has been revised upwards, it has been revised downwards, it is the same, anything can be framed. So it has been revised upwards, 65 to 70 it is. India has been ranked dash most sought after manufacturing destination across globe by Cushman and Wakefield's 2021 Global Manufacturing Risk Index. So India is second most sought after destination after which country? Any one of my friend there would like to answer it? Come on.
China. That's right. That's right. China is the right answer. LIC has launched an application named Ananda for LIC agents. What does D in acronym Ananda stands for? Digital. So Ananda has been launched by LIC wherein D stands for digital. Which of the following companies has become, are this is, uh, is this the same repeated question? Yes, it is. So Renew Power we have already covered. This is a repeat question. India has conducted a webinar and an expo on the theme Indian Defense Industry Global Outrage, Outreach for Collaborative Partnership with which country? So a webinar has been recently conducted on what? Defense Industry Global Outreach. India plus Malaysia. Malaysia is the same country we have recently covered that PM had to resign, Muyuddin had to resign, new one took over and they also came up with India for a global outreach for collaborative. Which of the following countries has signed 530 million agreement with Indian company Afcons to construct a Greater Mali Connectivity Project. So Greater Mali Connectivity Project, India and Maldives. So basically Mali is the capital of Maldives, right guys. So I think it will be easy for you. To remember, Union Minister of Ayush has launched a yoga application to increase the productivity of individuals at the workplace. What is the name of this mobile app? Right. So, Ayush is Ayurveda, Yoga, Yunani, Siddha and H is Homeopathy. Right. So, all these are very important, especially under the current uh, government of our country so a yoga app has been released uh, to increase the productivity the name of the app is yoga break so basically in through this app they want people to take small breaks and in those breaks uh, they should do yoga so that they are healthy and productive at the workplace so it is very very easy Which of the following UT states has announced to introduce Desh Bhakti curriculum in government schools from 27th September to mark the birth anniversary of Bhagat Singh Ji? Only one answer by Srini. Delhi, Maheshwari is also giving the right answer. Arti, Shreya, Anshu, Anupam, Krishna, Rinki, uh, Wisdom. Very nice. Thikhe ji, answers are right. New Delhi has decided that they will introduce Desh Bhakti curriculum. I hope you are getting the point that it is not necessary. That question in your examination will be exactly on the same lines. It might be there that... New Delhi has uh, decided to come up with a curriculum to mark the anniversary of birth anniversary of Bhagat Singh Ji. So what would be the name of that curriculum? The different curriculum was, would be there like let's say Ayurveda curriculum, happiness curriculum, uh, presence of mind curriculum, anything can be there. So Desh Bhakti curriculum would be the answer. India has delivered medical supplies through INS Savitri to which of the following countries under Mission Sagar 3. So, INS Savitri has been used to deliver uh, medical supplies to the state of Bangladesh. Okay? With which we have signed MOU for disaster management. Do you remember? You have to relay it. Otherwise, it will be difficult for you to remember so much of things. Although we have tried to cover, we are trying to cover a lot, a lot of important things in today's lecture itself. Which of the following ports has created a new record for handling a vessel with highest parcel size? Okay. So, here the answer would be Vio Chidambarnar port. A vessel with highest parcel size will be Chidambarnar port. Where will it be located? Hirenji answer is right, but can you tell me where is this port located? Chidambarnar port. Come on. Let me see if you know this answer. Come 
come on, come on. Right, that's right, that's right. Many of you have answered correctly. Tamil Nadu is the right answer. Who among the following has become the first women mining engineer of CCL to work in an underground mine? Right. So women are breaking the glass ceilings. Women are coming and working in so many fields. Right. So answer is Akansha Kumari. Please remember we have seen such questions are very important for general awareness like the first women fighter pilot. That was also asked. And the first women to summit any highest peak that has also been asked right so the first women mining engineer of central coal fields limited uh achha, people are asking ke kitne questions hai aaj ke lecture mein. guys i have 150 more questions for you will you be fine with that will you maintain the josh see we promise that we'll cover many many questions for you so i'm trying to do that will you maintain your josh well, see again let me tell you that if you refer to this lecture guys your complete general awareness will be done for the NABARD examination you do not need to worry about anything else chalo thank you haryana government has renamed hisar airport as maharaja agrasen international airport i'll try to pace up so that you can uh, cover quickly right so uh Hisar airport is located in which state? Now this question will come and it will be a static question and you will say a static question came and I did not study. Guys, this is a current event related question and sometimes it has been observed that it can be framed in a way that you feel it is static. Okay? So Hisar airport is now Maharaja Agrasen International Airport which is located in Haryana. Which of the following companies has launched its Dragon X capsule to the ISS to supply food and materials for the seven astronauts at the International Space Station? So this has been done by SpaceX. So Dragon X, it's easy to guess even here, SpaceX is the company of uh, Elon Musk. So he used this uh, Dragon X to supply food and materials to the astronauts at ISS. Are you covering all the aspects of this question? Dragon X, SpaceX, uh, Elon Musk, let's say, International Space Station, purpose, supply, food and uh, materials. Which of the following countries has passed a new law, personal information protection law to protect online users' data privacy? This has been done by China. So China wants to protect the privacy of the people who are using data online or giving their data online. So for that purpose, this has been launched. Who among the following has taken charge as secretary in the ministry of I and B? Because again, such a question is important only when it is just from like one month before the exam. So that's why we are covering it. So Apurva Charda is the new secretary. Who among the following has been appointed as joint secretary of ministry of cooperation? Ministry of Cooperation is a recently set up ministry. It will do the cooperation among uh, like small medium enterprises. This is basically focusing on what? Uh, on employment generation, facilitating the businesses. So Abhay Kumar Singh is the joint secretary. That's why this portfolio is important for this ministry because this ministry is itself a new one. Olympian O. Chandrasekharan has passed away. He was related to which of the following sports? So O. Chandrasekharan was associated to football, recently passed away. It can also be asked that uh, Apurva uh, Chandrasekhar, uh, Apur Chandrasekharan was in news. He is related to football, something like that, right? International Day Against Nuclear Test is observed on 29th of August. Right? Remember this day, please. Renowned writer Buddhadev Guha has passed away. He belonged to which state? So, Buddhadev Guha is related to West Bengal. I think this is a common surname in West Bengal. I think. So, you can remember it that way. Buddhadev Guha, even the name, the Dev, aise karke hai na? I think this is quite common in West Bengal. If anyone from West Bengal, can you confirm if it's right? 
बुद्ध देव लाइक आई एम टेलिंग स्टूडेंट्स दैट दे कैन रिमेंबर दिस थ्रू द नेम इट सेल्फ दैट बुद्ध देव देव बी व्हेन दे कॉल इट इट्स यूजुअली वेस्ट बंगाल ठीक है एनी बंगाली स्टूडेंट कैन कंफर्म इट वेरी नाइस पीपल नो दिस आंसर See, it's easy. You have to know how you can use the beauty of our country, the diversity in our country, to remember such things, right? Very nice. Thank you for the confirmation, Mona Lisa. Uh, thank you, Ji. IIT Madras, headed by Chennai-based IGCS, Indo-German Centre for Sustainability, has announced to develop an online platform to tackle electronic waste. What is the name of this online platform? So, the online platform. which is uh, gonna be used for uh, electronic waste tacklement is e source not e waste or e bin it's e source which of the following institutes has developed india's first indigenous motorized wheelchair vehicle called neo bolt that can be used on uneven terrains so uh, motorized wheelchair has been developed by iit madras guys this is very important you have to understand why it's a wheelchair which can uh, run which can walk on or move on uneven terrains so it will be it is basically kind of empowering the people who are using this wheelchair probably with special abilities right so you have to understand it is important not iit roorkee iit madras Indian Navy has conducted a joint exercise in Gulf of Aden with which of the following countries? So the answer here is Germany. Gulf of Aden. Uh, which two countries conducted the exercise in Gulf of Aden? You have to know India. This can also be asked that which two countries have conducted, or even this can be a question that India and Germany have conducted this exercise where? In Gulf of Aden, ठीक है. First maiden naval exercise, Al Mohed Al Hindi, twenty twenty one, between India and Saudi Arabia was held at which place? Again, same here. Al Mohed Al Hindi is an exercise between which two countries, India and Saudi Arabia. ठीक है. This is the first thing you have to remember. Second is which location. So for any exercise, now you have to know the countries involved. Uh, if uh, any theme was there under which that exercise was being held, then that theme and location is a must. Okay. So what would be the location here? Gulf Coast of Saudi Arabia. So Saudi Arabia said that come visit our coast and conduct the exercise there also, right? Paralympics 2020 held at Tokyo recently. India finished dash on rank in the overall medal tally. So India has performed well in the Olympics as compared to previous years, and even in Paralympics the performance was quite good. So the location is very easy. Do not get confused that. you might think in the paper that i have followed the olympics but i did not follow paralympics so i don't know the location the location is same tokyo right it is the same location wherever they are held so the india's rank in the medal tally in the medal tally was 24th in paralympics okay not olympics do not get confused theek hai ji Which of the following banks has tied up with Paytm to launch digital payments product lending and POS solutions? So Paytm has partnered with HDFC Bank. See HDFC Bank is active nowadays. You will hear about this bank a lot. Why I have told you already that there was a ban on uh, RBI, ban on HDFC by RBI. They could not issue new credit cards and new uh, like products were also banned. by rbi for hdfc because the online platform that is used outages basically were there hdfc uh, could not solve the outages of its online m banking and all so rbi put a ban on them so after the ban was revoked this uh, hdfc is in a very active mode okay so they are pursuing a lot of things Which of the following banks has become first lender to list its eighty one bonds on IFSC? So this is HDFC again. So um, 
81 bonds on IFSC. IFSC is the full form I have told you and it is located in Gujarat. A 20 foot high statue of former CM of UP, Dr. Sampurna Nanda has been inaugurated in which city? So, um, Dr. Sampurna Nanda was a CM or has been a CM of which state? This also you have to know. So, here answer is Uttar Pradesh, okay? And Lucknow is the place, okay? Which of the following companies has decided to acquire one of India's oldest payment gateway, Bill Desk, for 4.7 billion? So, guys, if you remember earlier in earlier days, now a lot of options are there, pay you and other when you are making the payments online, but earlier there used to be only Bill Desk. So, that was the oldest gateway. Okay, now it has been, it is going to be acquired by PayU. So, PayU is the now most common. So, it is kind of making it some monopoly, it seems. Buildesk will be now acquired. Union Cabinet has approved, sorry. Union Cabinet has approved an MOU between India and which country to strengthen the relationship within the framework of international scientific and technological collaboration? Hanji, her answer would be here, Switzerland. So, India and Switzerland are going to work on international scientific and technological collaboration. Who among the following has been appointed as new Secretary General of Rajya Sabha? Recently, this appointment has been done. So, P. Patabhi Kesava Ramacharyulu, P. P. K. R, if you can remember this way, P. P. K. R, is the now Secretary General of Rajya Sabha. Sports Minister Anurag Thakur ji has announced a mobile application dash on National Sports Day. Hanji. Fit India, a mobile app has been recently uh, launched by whom which minister this is also important for you theek hai pm has released a commemorative coin of rupees 125 to mark 125th birth anniversary of dash an indian spiritual teacher so here answer would be bhakti vedanta swami prabhupada 125 years commemoration of his birth, 125 rupees coin. So, these coins are not very available, not very easily, but they are usually launched to mark something. So, Prabhupada is the answer. Which of the following institutes has built an application with NDMA that can predict natural disasters? So, natural disasters, we, for uh, disaster management, we have collaborated with Bangladesh, okay. And NDMA has developed a uh, an application for natural disasters in collaboration with IIT Rurki. Theek hai? IIT Rurki. Which of the following digital platforms has partnered with fintech startup Setu to let users open fixed deposits on their platform? Google Pay says now a fixed deposit FDs can be opened on their platform and for this purpose they have uh, partnered with Setu. So, again, this question can be framed that uh, Setu and Google Pay are going to partner for providing which uh, facility for the users of the Google Pay. RTG, June to September are very, very important, right? Aise to enough for not even six months, but what we suggest is that we have seen that most important are latest three months of current affairs, including the month in which exam is held. So, considering that, we have brought this session for you. Okay? Which of the following online payment platforms has launched buying, selling and holding of cryptocurrencies for its customers in UK? Answer here is PayPal. Google Doodle illustrated one Indian personality to mark her 107th birth anniversary. So, her is there in the question. Ideally, it should be uh, like his or her so that you do not get to know uh, that it is a female only. So, you from this question, you could have eliminated it. So, Sarla Thakur or Sarojini Naidu would have been there. Sarla Thakur is the right answer. 
which of the following uh, has become the first ever edtech startup to offer options to uh, offer stock options to educator so this has been launched by an academy they have launched esops and uh, this is the first edtech startup company who have launched teacher stock option or tsops basically esops are employee sops but they have launched tsops worth us dollar 40 million to the tutors who have spent 3 4 or 5 years on the platform an academy government of up recommended to change the name of jhansi rani railway station as virangana lakshmi bai railway station of course we are giving more uh, respect to uh, jhansi ki rani a very very important personality a very renowned personality women personality especially from the freedom struggle ka time usse pehle ka to lakshmi bai railway station and where is it up jhansi is in up so you can remember that way sports minister has launched theme song for india's paralympics contingent who has written this song so guys this song has been written by manish narwal and uh, this is again very important because recently this has taken place where india go, uh, india's performance was really good theek hai to sports minister has launched this uh, theme song called kar de kamal tu for india's paralympic contingent the song is, song is composed and sung by sanjeev singh to so written by whom that also you have to know then after the singing has been done by sanjeev singh guys composed and sung by sanjeev singh Ministry of Road Transport and Highways has decided to install solar panels on national highways in order to explore solar energy generation. Acha, let me go to the question. You are saying that this is not right, is it? Can you please check because some of you are saying that it's right, some of you are saying not. ठीक है? मुझे ना I want you to guys, I want you guys to check it. I'll wait on this question. Please remember, I have asked who has written this song. you have to check it okay kar de kamal tu has been written by manish composed and sung by sanjeev ji theek hai chalo here i am already getting the answer let me read the question please ministry of road transport and highways has decided to install solar panels on national highways to explore the solar energy generation potential on national highways it has signed an mou with esl energy efficiency services limited solar energy generation potential so we will hire esl esl is the body that has been giving this led bulbs uh at a very subsidized rate MOCA Ministry of Civil Aviation and DGCA have granted conditional freedom from UAS rules 2020 to the National Institute of Science and Education Science Education and Research located at which place so NICER is located at which place Bhubaneswar is the right answer Delhi government has approved how much percentage hike in the salary and allowances of MLAs so this was proposed by center and this has been now approved that hike of 66% would be given to the MLAs salary which of the following has partnered with hero electro this we have covered swiggy right so hero electro has partnered with uh, swiggy RBI has fined dash uh to hp financial services private limited so hewlett packard hp has been fined rupees 6 lakhs by whom rbi so guys whenever it is a question right that, that this financial service or this bank has been uh, fined by whom so reserve bank of india you have to answer theek hai which of the following awards has been renamed to major dhyan chand very easy we have covered it the other perspective that the re renaming is done of राजीव गांधी खेल रत्न अवार्ड दिस इज द हाईएस्ट स्पोर्ट्स ओनर अवार्ड विद रुपीस ट्वेंटी फाइव लैक कैश ठीक है एंड देन इन ल्यू राजीव गांधी आईटी अवार्ड आईटी अवार्ड वाज लॉन्च्ड बाय महा गवर्नमेंट ठीक है उद्धव जी 
which of the following organizations has established permanent body to address uh, challenges of racial discrimination so united nations came up with a permanent body and they said that we need to address racial discrimination and uh, permanent forum for the people of african descent has been set up MOU signed between India and Dash over Ashwagandha trials for COVID recovery. Achha ji. Very, very important it seems. So, United Kingdom. Actually, guys, why do they understand the importance of yoga, Ayurveda or for that matter Ayush? Because United Kingdom has actually ruled. Britain used to rule India, right? For so many years they have ruled on us. So, they understand that there are some things that are very important. And that can contribute. So they said, Chalo, Ashwagandha ke trials hum karte hai, and they agreed with India. Hai ji, easy rahega. You'll be able to remember it. Amazon.com has been hit with the 746 million euros fine for processing personal data in violation of which of the organization rules? EU guys. EU karta hai se kaam usually. European Union is the body which is imposing fines on the multinational companies they are looking at the people at the big companies big tech companies who are not following the guidelines so european union is very high on it right to repair was actually also passed by eu that the electronic devices should be repaired they should not only be replaced who among the following has been appointed as the chairperson of national commission for women so here answer is rekha sharma ji so rekha sharma ji is the Chairperson of National Commission for Women. Okay. Rupam, you can find these MCQs in the session. Later on, the PDF will be available. Do not worry. Rest if you are a subscriber of our course, then of course, a lot of other MCQs plus these are also there, right? So, Vice Chief of Naval Staff uh, is now Vice Admiral S. Ghor Made. Okay, ji, will you be able to remember it? Recently, Abraham Raisi has become the new president of which of the following region, uh, which of the following countries amid the regional tension? So, Iran. Uh, Abraham Raisi is the president of Iran. Please remember, it's a very important appointment. Who has taken charge as the new CGA of the Department of Expenditure, which is under Ministry of Finance? So, Deepak Das, again, a very important appointment. Controller General of Accounts, which is under which ministry? Ministry of Finance. Drishti Banerjee becomes first woman director of which of the following institution in 100 years? Guys, I hope you know this is very, very important. Why? First woman director of the ZSI in 100 years, Drishti Banerjee. The name is also very, very important. Please do not remember. Again, because this has happened for almost the first time in 100 years, it has been done. So, that's why it's important. Rashid Irani has passed away. Which of the following fields did he come from? So, the Rashid Rani came from the field of films. He is a film reviewer majorly and other he is a he owns a restaurant and all but he has recently passed away. So, Rashid Rani is related to films. Renowned noted sculptor, cartoonist P.S. Banerjee has passed away. He was from which state? So, here guys, the uh, you see the difference, the profession or the field is given that he was a cartoonist but he came from which state? Here, the Banerjee thing did not work because uh, you. I was telling you, Buddha Dev, you should remember, is from ba uh, West Bengal. So, P.S. Banerjee came from the uh, Kerala state. He got Lalit Kala Academy Fellowship also, right? Which of the following institutions has launched India's first consortium for virtual reality called as Consortium for VR uh, Engineering Mission in India? The first consortium for virtual reality was launched by iit madras so iit madras has been doing a lot a lot of good things okay for the students who have joined in just now my dear lovely friends we have covered gurkirat sir in the session earlier covered june july i am almost on the verge of completion of august and then i'll cover around 100 questions from september tkg 
चलिए विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग हैज ऑर्गेनाइज इंटरनेशनल कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑन रेंज टेक्नोलॉजी सो दिस इज बाय डीआरडीओ डीआरडीओ हैज लॉन्च दिस रेंज टेक्नोलॉजी कॉन्फ्रेंस which of the following countries has missed the deadline to submit fresh targets for cutting greenhouse gas emissions to united nation guys all these nations india china saudi arabia they did not uh, submit they did not meet their deadline to submit the targets for cutting ghgs greenhouse gas emissions right all are the right answer here please remember India, China, you won't forget. India and China are actually the most uh, growing nations that are developing, and Saudi Arabia followed the lead. A new frog species has been discovered by DU researchers at which place? So here, answer would be Western Ghats Biodiversity Hotspot. So conventionally, if we see, then this is not a very important question. Okay, but we don't want to take any risk. We are covering so many things in our lecture, so let's cover the important one, which is not so, but still, let's cover the uh, current affairs. So species which has been recently found is Miner Minervaria pentali. named after the uh, vice uh, vc of uh, delhi university deepak pentel so minervaria pentel theek hai indian government has announced uh, which of the following days as national handloom day to mark 100th anniversary of swadeshi movement which started in 1905 so swadeshi movement is a landmark movement after which you remember you must when you used to read in school you used to read a lot of stories about the swadeshi movement wherein uh, bonfires of the foreign clothes were done people used to give up the foreign liquor foreign cloth everything and they started following the khadi material and other things so that was the starting of swadeshi movement which started in 1905 and to mark its 100 years on august 7th it was decided that this will be observed every year as national handloom day very nice us has approved the sale of harpoon joint commission test set and related equipment to india for an estimated cost of dollar 82 million in which year harpoon missiles first got deployed so harpoon missiles were deployed in the year 1977 for the very first time this missile harpoon is world's most successful anti ship missile okay now you it, it was with the us always now they have said that they are gonna sell it also so india will always be interested in it which of the following has introduced auto pay functionality for its mutual fund investment offering through upi so auto pay functionality has been introduced by phone pay so google pay and phone pay are doing really good nowadays in competition right so uh, through upi they have decided that mutual fund investment auto pay functionality would be there which of the following banks has launched sim binding feature for its banking apps sbi so the bank will be actually bound to the sim and not the phone so if your phone gets stolen or something happens probably this might help because if sim is not working then otherwise if sim is working it can be traced right so that is a kind of additional security feature which of the following banks has signed an mou with society of innovation and entrepreneurship which is an iit bombay so sign has partnered with indian bank for this partnership wherein uh, what will they do is that they will extend the credit up to rupees 50 crores to msmes and startups so sign and indian bank okay who has been appointed as the first brand ambassador and equity partner of home lane एम एस धोनी जी एम एस डी आई होप दिस इज इजी टू रिमेंबर ही इज द फर्स्ट ब्रांड एम्बेसिडर ऑफ होम लेन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेट्स और यूटीज हैज साइंड एन एमओ यू विद वॉलमार्ट वृद्धि एंड हक दर्शक सो हरियाणा केम अप विद वॉलमार्ट वृद्धि एंड दिस प्रोग्राम इज गॉन ऑफर एम एस एम ईज ट्रेनिंग एंड सपोर्ट अपार्ट फ्रॉम द अपॉर्चुनिटीज टू ज्वाइन ऑनलाइन एंड ऑफलाइन global marketplace so haryana is the state right please note this is important for you arunachal pradesh signed an mou mo a 
not a memorandum of understanding rather memorandum of agreement with which of the following for the development of two hydro power projects in the state so arunachal pradesh will get a uh, two hydro power projects by neepco there can be a question that neepco is going to develop hydro power projects in which state as per the moa signed recently so then you know what is the answer arunachal pradesh your northeastern state theek hai neepco which of the following states or uts has launched proof that is photographic record of on site facility jammu and kashmir is the answer so proof app has been launched by jammu and kashmir so the most scenic ut i would say the most beautiful is jammu and kashmir only ladakh is also very beautiful like every state is beautiful but as considered that jammu and kashmir used to be called as the heaven of india at one time it is still i think so um, this proof for photographic uh, interest you must go to jammu kashmir ठीक है डैश स्टेट पुलिस लॉन्च अ फर्स्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ इट्स काइंड ड्रोन फॉर एनसिक लैब एंड रिसर्च सेंटर विद अ नेम टू एड्रेस द राइजिंग कंसर्न्स इन दिस रिगार्ड सो ड्रोन फॉर एनसिक लैब हैज बीन लॉन्च बाय द स्टेट ऑफ द स्टेट पुलिस ऑफ केरला अ टैक्सेशन लॉज एक्ट 2021 रिसीव्ड द एसेंट ऑफ द प्रेसिडेंट रिसेंटली so you, there are three four statements given related to taxation laws again this question is usually if you ask me conventionally it's not a question of nabard pattern but we have seen seen the change in the rbi pattern the results of rbi the final results were yesterday declared so we are glad to announce that many 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 of our students have been selected and we also did a marathon super marathon for uh, ultra marathon for rbi so on the same lines we have developed this super marathon for nabard and we have taken learnings from rbi that what pattern did they change and we have tried to incorporate it here theek hai ji acha break chahiye bachon ko to guys uh, let's do august questions quickly and then before starting september i'll give a chota sa break right please bear with me we have a lot of things to cover so here taxation laws ke bare mein it would scrap the retrospective taxation clause in it law it amends the finance act 2012 and the it act 1961 it nullify demands raised on transactions prior to may 28 2012 so all these are correct these are all three related to the taxation laws which has been recently passed and this will also be helpful not only in phase 1 but in also phase 2 so i hope you guys set for phase 2 also Exim Bank of India has entered into an agreement of dash with the Mauritius for the procurement of defence items. Hundred million guys, remember this term. Hundred million Exim Bank to give to Mauritius. Union Minister of Women and Child Development Smriti Ji launched second phase of Samvad program on fourteenth August. What does acronym S stands for in Samvad program? So Samvad program. has been launched by ministry of women child development which basically means will be related to women child development so this samvad stands for support advocacy mental health interventions for children in vulnerable circumstances and distress so to provide support advocacy and mental health support to the children this has been launched Union Health Ministry approved dash under the India COVID-19 Emergency Response and Health Preparedness Package to all states and UTs what is the amount it's not easy to remember this amount right i understand that but because you are covering today and just few days after you have the exam don't forget it take a screenshot if needed download the pdf and then revise it you should not mark any answer wrong which is covered here okay 14744.99 crore is the right answer so this has been approved under covid 19 emergency response fund it's a centrally sponsored scheme that means basically uh the some components are completely funded by center while some are 60% funded by center bharti airtel limited has achieved the closure of its agreement with reliance jio infocom to transfer the right to use of airtel's dash spectrum in three circles to jio so basically they have now said that they have uh, like shared the right to use that spectrum and the spectrum would be 800 megahertz so airtel's spectrum would be used by jio right Gujarat CM has launched Dash mobile app and portal which covers 10 modules with services like property tax professional tax water drainage 
बिल्डिंग परमिशन एक्सेट्रा सो बेसिकली गुजरात सी एम हेज लॉन्च एन एप फॉर लाइक डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द थिंग्स विच मेक पीपल्स म्यूनिसिपल लाइफ इजर आई वुड से राइट द इश्यूज दैट यू हैव विद म्यूनिसिपैलिटी सो ऑल दीज वुड बी हैंडल्ड अंडर ई नगर ठीक है नगर होता है शहर काइंड ऑफ ठीक है तो बेसिकली वहां की जो प्रॉब्लम है वुड बी हैंडल्ड गुजरात सी एम डैश ग्राम पंचायत बिन अडोप्टेड बाई एम पी फॉर द डेवलपमेंट अंडर संसद आदर्श ग्राम योजना टिल थ्री ऑगस्ट सिंस टू थाउजेंड एटीन सो दिस इज द लेटेस्ट डेटा दैट वॉज अवेलेबल बिकॉज दैट इज रिलेटेड टू अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट योजना दैट हैज बिन आज इन योर एग्जामिनेशन अर्लियर दैट इज वेट्स इंक्लूडेड हियर सो द आंसर इज नाइन सेवेंटी सिक्स प्लीज रिमेंबर दैट यू हैव टू कवर सच डेटा सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट हैज डिसाइडेड टू सेट अप आई आई एच इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ हेरिटेज एट विच प्लेस नोएडा नोएडा इज इन यूपी सो इन यूपी आई आई एच वुड बी सेटअप नेशनल सेंटर फॉर फॉर गुड गवर्नेंस एंड डैश टू रिफॉर्म पब्लिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन इन द कंट्री इन व्यू ऑफ चेंजिंग पब्लिक सिनारियो हैज बिन डन सो एन सी जी जी एंड आई आई एम इंदौर दे आर गोना सेटअप दे आर गोना चेंज द पब्लिक सेक्टर सिनारियो गवर्नमेंट इज फाइनलाइजिंग डैश वर्थ इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एसेट्स इंक्लूडिंग नेशनल हाईवेज एंड पावर ग्रिड pipelines which would be monetized so national monetization pipeline it is basically nmp and the amount given here would be rupees 6 lakh crores theek hai ministry of commerce and industry has laid down a road map for targeted us dollar 1 trillion in exports of goods by year dash guys such targets are very important not only for ga but also for esi oh i hope you understand that these are related to esi also they might be asked there so ministry of commerce and industry has laid down this uh, road map for 2028 finance ministry released first fifth monthly installment of revenue deficit target or uh, deficit grant of rupees 9871 crore to how many states 17 states RBI has proposed penalties for banks and white label uh, white label ATM operators if their ATMs are found to be lying without replenishment for more than dash to ensure customers and their uh, ensures that they are not in the inconvenience again RBI is being very strict nowadays if your ATM is lying without money for more than 10 hours then RBI said that bank is going to be laid a penalty right cash out will attract a flat penalty of rupees 10000 per atm that if there is no cash you, you cannot just get the atm license from the rbi and just sit khali you have to provide money there government has set a target of achieving dash renewable energy capacity excluding large hydro by december 2022 the 150 gigawatt 150 gigawatt of renewable energy we want to get by december 2022 we have excluded the energy from large hydro power theek hai so with this 121 questions we are done with august now i have for you september month questions a little chota sa break chotu sa we'll start again okay have water have tea we will start again theek hai ji glad to see answers coming in very nice students i want all of you to crack the exam okay phase 1 जी ए यू शुड स्कोर लाइक द मेरिट सेक्शन शुड एक्चुअली यू शुड स्कोर रियली हाई चलो जस्ट अ ब्रेक थोड़ा सा एंड देन विल स्टार्ट अभिषेक ये आपने चेक किया है ना दैट इट इज एक्सक्लूडिंग हाइड्रो इसको चेक कर लीजिए प्लीज एक बारी ठीक है इसको चेक कर लीजिए इफ नॉट आई विल आल्सो चेक एंड देन इफ रिक्वायर्ड आई मेक चेंज इन द पीडीएफ राइट पीडीएफ के बारे में स्टूडेंट्स वर आस्किंग के कैसे मिलेगा तो टेलीग्राम चैनल एडिट ऐप का है वहां पर आपको मिल जाएगा ये
ठीक है जी ये मैं ठीक कर लूंगी इफ देर इज एन एरर डू नॉट वरी ठीक है जी चलें फिर करें स्टार्ट राइट वी हैव कवर्ड सो मेनी क्वेश्चन राइट नाउ मूविंग ऑन टू सेप्टेम्बर अगेन आई हैव हंड्रेड क्वेश्चन फॉर यू सी गाइज वी आर वर्किंग बिकॉज वी वॉन्ट गाइज दैट इफ यू आर गिविंग योर टाइम टू आर चैनल इफ यू आर ह्योर यू शुड बी एबल टू गेट रियोली गुड मार्क्स ठीक है थैंक यू सो मच फॉर द कंसर्न चले फिर स्टार्ट करते हैं करें अच्छा अनिर्बन हैज अ क्वेश्चन आई टेक दिस दैट मैम इन द लेक्चर्स दैट यू आर टेकिंग अंडर मैराथन लाइक सुपर मैराथन ई एस आई ए आर डी एंड जी आर ऑल दिस एनफ टू क्रैक दी एग्जाम सी आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू टेल माई ऑल डियर स्टूडेंट्स दैट गाइज वेन यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर अ कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जामिनेशन वट एवर यू प्रिपेयर इज समेर समवेयर समथिंग इज लेफ्ट राइट यू हैव टू प्रिपेयर मोर एंड मोर योर बार इज टू हाई what is the aim of these lectures the aim of these lectures is to make you revise the aim is to make you revise the most important questions if you have covered already so that in the last days you are not worrying about your revision okay second if you could not cover these questions then you still have a chance because we are covering the most important things now your duty is to revise these questions again okay and then go in the examination i cannot say that each and everything is covered that no one can claim guys because students who have been preparing from past so many months dedicatedly reading every day we are providing weekly magazine weekly lectures everything if you are covering that then of course it cannot compete that but it can provide you an advantage okay theek hai abhishek ji don't worry i'll make change in the pdf तो चलो जी चाय में उबाल नहीं आ रहा तो छोड़ देते हैं चाय को और आगे बढ़ते हैं सेशन खत्म होने के बाद नाउ यू शुड हैव इवनिंग टी चलिए अच्छा देर इज सम गड़बड़ ठीक है वो मंग द फॉलोइंग हैज वन रेमन मक्से से अवार्ड फिर दौसी कादरी मोहम्मद अमजद साकिब रोबोटो बेलून स्टीवन मनसी माई आंसर हियर इज ऑल ऑफ दी अब आई हैव रिटर्न फॉर योर रेफरेंस द प्लेसेज फ्रॉम देयर फ्रॉम वेयर द हिल फिर दौसी कादरी जी हिल्स फ्रॉम बांग्लादेश मोहम्मद अमजद फ्रॉम पाकिस्तान रॉबर्ट बेलून फ्रॉम फिलिपींस स्टीवन मनसी फ्रॉम अमेरिका दीज फोर हैव वॉन द रेम एन मगसे से अवार्ड फॉर द ईयर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन गाइज अवार्ड आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर जी especially when they are latest oscar awards have been asked booker prize awards have been asked so raymond mcsesse took place in the month of september it was given and september is the examination month so cover them okay who has been honored with prestigious times excellence award sabarna roy ji has been given this award uh, which of the following psus was awarded the association for talent development best award recently 2021 so the psu that was given this award is power grid so power grid is a wonderful organization it's a maharatna central psu it has been given association for talent development 2021 best award which of the following has been conferred with prestigious dun and brad street corporate award 2021 in the category of best growth performance power han ji ntpc sjvn rights nhpc SJVN Dan, uh, Dun and Brad Street Corporate Award given to SJVN in the category of best growth performance power okay which of the following state government has decided to conduct a 30 day special drive to make the road uh, in the states pothole free to so, UP Yogi ji said that I'll make all the roads potholes free. There will be no cut down any road, and for that a 30 day special drive was launched in the month of September. So this is very very important. Okay ji, why was it there? Because recently a data was shared where it was said that 15 percent of the total road accident deaths in the country were from UP. So the largest share of deaths coming from accidents were in UP, which is very unfortunate. So that's why this was considered. Which of the following state or UTs has launched a portal? चलिए रहने दीजिए I was uh, remembering यहाँ पे कुछ आप याद कर पाते हैं यूपी को I think आप कर पाओगे A lot of web series are there. I think आप लोगों ने देखे होंगे 
तो चलिए फिर विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेट यूटीज हेज लॉन्च अ पोर्टल एंड इंटीग्रेटेड लोकल सेल्फ गवर्नमेंट मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम केरला सो केरला हेज लॉन्च दिस लोकल सेल्फ गवर्नमेंट मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लोकल सेल्फ गवर्नमेंट केरला इज कंसिडर टू बी अ स्टेट विद वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग पंचायती राज सिस्टम ओके दिस ऑल्सो हैव टू नो सो सेल्फ गवर्नमेंट इज ऑब्वियसली एनफोर्सिंग पंचायती राज अगेन सो दैट्स वाई केरला ठीक है चलिए फिर नेशनल ई गवर्नेंस डिविजन अंडर द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी हैज साइंड एन एमओयू विद तो ई गवर्नेंस डिविजन अंडर विच मिनिस्ट्री दैट यू हैव टू नो इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड आई टी हैज साइंड एन एमओ यू विद एन एल यू एंड एन एल आई यू ठीक है चलिए जल शक्ति मिनिस्ट्री हैज स्टार्टेड अ हंड्रेड डे कैंपेन डैश As part of Azadi का अमृत महोत्सव so this Azadi अमृत महोत्सव one question definitely you'll see in the paper related to something or the other, okay? So hundred day campaign, सुजलम जल है ना तो सुजलम प्लीज याद रखना सुजलम सुफलम करके हम पढ़ते स्कूल में वी यूज टू सिंग दिस सॉन्ग इफ यू रिमेंबर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एक्सपेंडिचर मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ फाइनेंस हैज रिलीज एन अमाउंट ऑफ रुपीज डैश टू ट्वेंटी फाइव स्टेट्स फॉर प्रोवाइडिंग ग्रांट्स टू रूरल लोकल बॉडीज गाइज अगेन आई एम सेंग दिस इज नॉट ओनली फॉर लाइक टेस्टिंग दिस इज ऑल्सो सो दैट यू कैन रिमेंबर इट एट लीस्ट नाउ ठीक है जी सो ही आर आंसर इज थर्टीन थाउजेंड थ्री एट्टी फाइव पॉइंट सेवन जीरो करोर दिस इज द ग्रांट टू द रूरल लोकल बॉडीज I know this is not easy to remember, but because we have covered today, I have told you this is important. You will try. You will not forget this. Which of the following has been interested with the task of closely monitoring portion abhiyan? So portion abhiyan is a very important abhiyan for nutrition of women and children. And Niti Aayog has been interested with the task of monitoring it. Okay. Apart from this, an additional information I have included here: portion vatika or vatika is a garden. Portion vatika. Uh, was launched during the nutrition month which is september only theek hai so uh, starting from september 1 uh, portion vatika was launched for the protection of sam children sam are what severed actual mal malnourished children unke liye portion abhiyan was launched portion vatika was launched for them and it is being taken care by niti ayog navy has signed a contract with which of the following for supply of for supply of first indigenous comprehensive nads with both hard skill and soft skill capabilities so a uh, naval anti drone system hard skill soft skill means means that uh, hard skill they can kill uh, with the hard hit soft skill is they can make use of other things like laser and all so bell has launched it the health ministry has partnered with dash to enhance people's access to covid-19 vaccine this is very important when a ministry signs with any important organization you have to know google is such a big company ministry of health has signed an mou they are going to partner with google so that uh, uh, people's access to covid-19 vaccine can be increased with that on that note i would request you to get your second dose if you haven't got it till now theek okay? hai if you are done with second dose good NMCG has signed MOU with which of the following for capacity building on integrated river basin management with a focus on technology of geospatial in riverine ecosystem guys 100 questions from september we have tried to cover 1 to uh, 10 september theek hai SAI ARD this is very important SAI ARD has signed an MOU with NMCG for what purpose capacity building on integrated river basin management on the occasion of 40th meeting meeting of the national capital region planning board ncr planning board capital aapka delhi hai na to ncr region is the region near that so ncr planning board which of the following web geo portals was launched parivahan sathi pariman paristhal none of the above anyone up for the answer pariman theek hai Pariman has been developed by NIC and uh, following uh, given here options out of this Pariman is the right answer it's a geo portal launched for NCR planning board 
which of the following countries has hosted the 8th meeting of agri experts of bimstech countries this is again very important agri experts meeting has been done uh, and hosted by india bimstech is bay of bengal initiative for multi sectoral technical and economic cooperation government recently launched a 5 minute yoga protocol mobile app called yoga break so this is a kind of revamped question we have covered earlier specifically designed for working professionals to de stress refresh refocus at their workplace so that their productivity increases and their health remains good so yoga break is the mobile app 5 minute yoga protocol a uh, union minister of culture kishan reddy ji launched the book geet govinda jay devas divine odyssey it has been authored by so launched by whom is the very first what is the name of the book would be the very first thing launched by whom would be the second third would be written by whom utpal k banerji geet govinda jay devas divine odyssey please do not get confused the launching and uh, written by jaise wo piche hua tha na song jo humne theme song kiya tha to students were saying that uh, Okay, you got confused between the writer and the singer. Okay, so launched by uh, Kishan Reddy ji, written by Uthpal Banerjee. NBAGR has recognized 19th unique breed of dash found in India. So NBAGR has recognized 19th unique breed of buffalo. NBAGR is located in Karnal. This I have covered, I think, in your ARD lecture. and guys what about this uh, nbpgr i think i have asked this earlier also batana where is it located please be quick nbagr is in karnal national bureau of plant genetic resources is in if you have followed the ard current affairs lecture you can easily answer it if you haven't you are required to go back and see those lecture in the same playlist of super marathon pusa thank you averal the first one to answer akhil first one to answer theek hai so uh, pusa new delhi and bpg are located so 19th breed of buffalo ard maybe this question can arrive okay cil has launched a new software named dash which will help in identifying thin coal seams under the earth crust and also improve the assessment of coal resources using the seismic survey so cil has launched this software called as spectral enhancement it is related to coals basically thin coal seams can be identified and improvement of the survey can be done so that mining can be done easily theek hai as per the recent data india's forex reserves soared by 16.663 billion to touch a lifetime high of 633.558 billion 633 theek hai ji this is again important this question can you can easily see it can be asked in esi also a latest data shared in the month of september finance and corporate affairs minister nirmala sitaraman ji chaired dash edition of fsdc uh, meeting financial stability and development council so the meeting of F fsdc is an important body as from the name itself you can see it's about financial stability of the country So recently, twenty fourth edition took place in New Delhi. So capital is New Delhi. The location you won't forget because where can you find all the ministers? Where your parliament is? Where is your parliament in New Delhi? So that is the answer. Twenty fourth edition. This was RBI has imposed a penalty of rupees dash and Bombay Mercantile Cooperative Bank for deficiency in regulatory compliance. I've told you who puts the penalty. It has to be RBI. On whom it has been put? That you have to know. Amount is fifty lakh. So such questions from the latest month are important. Okay, LIC has picked up nearly how much percentage of equity shares of Bank of India through open market transactions. Now LIC has picked up four percent share of Bank of India, and now they have the share of seven point zero five percent. Okay, is that fine? Remember this, please. It's important. LIC's disinvestment is also due as per the announcement of the budget. I hope you have seen the budget on uh, the video on Union Budget. If you haven't, you have to you have to find out the channel. Okay, on the channel you will find the video. A monetary penalty has been imposed on how many payment system operators for the violation of norms by RBI? So recently, on five payment system operators (PSOs) 
the violation of norms by RBI has been have been put. HDFC Life Insurance Board has approved the acquisition of dash per, dash per sh, percent share capital of Excited LIC Life Insurance Company for a total consideration of six thousand crore. Hanji. So HDFC's Life Insurance Board will acquire Excited's Life Insurance Company with the hundred percent share capital. ठीक है everything they'll take उधर से. I told you HDFC is going to be very active. After the ban released by RBI, RBI will set up a committee to scrutinize applications and give rec give recommendations on NUE licenses, new umbrella entities. How many members committee uh, is formulated for this? So for new umbrella entity, this is going to be set up, and the five member committee has been set up, which will look after this and give recommendations. Okay, ji. As per the recent data in September 2021, India's M cap to GDP ratio has hit 13-year high of how much percentage? 122 percent. So because market capitalization, this is highest in 13 years. So that's why we need to cover. Okay. Uh, who answered correctly? Prashant. Uh, Prashant was the first one to answer here. 122 percent. The market value of private sector lender ICICI Bank crossed five trillion mark. Which of the following bank has more market value than ICICI Bank? Guys, answer it. Very easy. Take a guess. Take a wild guess. This bank has been in news a lot. So ICICI Bank and this particular bank are considered compet competitors. Okay. And recently, five trillion cap uh, was crossed of market value. Uh, five trillion market value cap was crossed by ICICI Bank, which is already held by. HDFC Bank guys, HDFC and SBI are the competitors. Okay, no sorry, HDFC and ICICI are considered to be the competitors. State Bank तो is like uh, untouchable. वो उसको तो मतलब you cannot unreachable, not untouchable. I'm sorry, it's unreachable. State Bank of India is the largest coverage. Okay, वो तो जैसे बहुत it's like quite wide ranging. ठीक है, but HDFC and ICICI are the private sector lenders. 45th meeting of GST Council has is gonna be held on September 17th. Grade B, NABARD ka paper de rahe honge student. That day would be appearing in the examination. Who among the following will will chair the meeting? So here answer would be Finance Minister. The Finance Minister is gonna head the GST Council. We have also covered that FSDC meeting. Finance uh, Stability Development Council meeting is going to also take place, which will be headed by Finance Minister. It will take place in New Delhi. ठीक है जी. And GST Council, if we talk about, uh, then on 17th of September it will take place. RBI imposed a monetary penalty of rupees 25 lakh on Axis Bank Limited for violation of rules. Which of the following rules were violated? So Axis Bank was laid penalty of rupees 25 lakh. They did not follow KYC direction. So KYC is basically that your Aadhaar card, PAN card have to be linked, right? For everything you follow, they have to be linked up. So this was not followed by Axis Bank, on which it has been laid a penalty. Morgan Stanley has maintained India's GDP growth estimate at one what percent? This is the recent GDP forecast. Okay, the answer here is ten point five zero percent. I want to tell you one thing. Uh, just in two days, your lecture would be live. In which on fifteenth of September, a lecture would be live by Kaushik sir. He will be taking up all important GDP estimates, latest data available. Right, so he will be taking up there. Do join that lecture also. And tomorrow and day after tomorrow also there are lectures at seven pm by Prakash sir and Diksha ma'am. Do take them. NSO has released the estimates of GDP for the first quarter uh, of the 2021-22. GDP at constant prices in this quarter is estimated at 32.38 lakh crore, showing a growth of what percentage as compared to a contraction of 24.4 percent in the previous year? What is the answer here, guys? Growth of 20 percent. 
Office of Economic Advisor, which is under DPIIT, has released the index of core industries for the month of July. This is from September. Okay, the combined ICI stood at one thirty four in July twenty twenty one. Who releases it? The uh, combined ICI is released by whom? Office of Economic Advisor. Which is under DPIIT. This you have to know. What was it for the month of July? Why July? Because this is the latest data available. Answer is one three four. Okay. It is an increase by nine point four percent. Of course, because economy was in lockdown earlier. India's merchandise exports have soared forty five point one seven percent to US dollar thirty three point one four billion as compared to twenty. 2.83 billion in august which of the following organizations released this data guys this is an easy question because what is the data this is already given who releases it has has been asked on the other hand it can be given that a uh, ministry of commerce and industry has released the data according to which uh, india's uh, india's merchandise exports soared by this percent this can be a dash you'll have to fill it up okay so please remember you have to cover it new epidemic intelligence hub has been opened in which city recently berlin in germany it is so epidemic intelligence hub has been set up german chancellor angela merkel opened a new intelligence hub with who director general tedros adhanom ghebreyesus the hub will be given a funding of 30 million euros and where the place is very very important who launched it is also important if you know berlin you can answer market easily that the chancellor of germany will only launch if it is being launched in germany usually hansa new generation trainer aircraft designed and developed by dash has successfully made its made in uh, made its first flight csir nal theek hai on which of the following days international literacy day has been observed september 8th so september 5 is your teachers day hai na september 8th is your literacy day which is international this is national teachers day please do not confuse and this year's theme for international literacy day was literacy for a human centered recovery narrowing the digital divide human centered recovery according to the document animal discoveries 2020 which was recently published india has added how many new species to its fauna so for flora and fauna are there flora are your flower species uh plant species fauna the animal species so zoological survey of india Dr drishti banerji we covered she became the first um, woman head in 100 years that is important i hope you will be able to relate second is <clears throat> how many species added 557 which of the following has begun flight testing electrical vertical take off and landing aircraft ev tol for air taxi services under am national campaign so first fl uh, flight testing has been done by nasa nasa has collaborated with joby aviation and they have tested this flight for taxi services theek hai hydro power generator sjvn limited plans to have 25 gigawatts of capacity by this was recently announced because it won awards also so sjvn said that we will have 25 gigawatt of capacity by the year 2040 right 2040 is the answer a new low a new uh, low cost integrated composting technology which includes microbe aided vermi stabilization has been developed in which state low cost integrated vermi uh, vermi composting technology or vermi stabilization technology has been developed by tamil nadu right urban air laboratory a startup company has developed a living plant based air purifier called as u breathe life that amplifies air purification process in indoor spaces it was incubated at which iit 
guys so you breathe life is what it is an air purifier which will purify the indoor spaces it's a plant based air purifier which has been incubated at iit ropad so we have covered covered about iit madras iit roorkee iit ropad is also here it's in punjab theek hai hurun research institute has released hurun india future unicorn list what is the rank of india on this list so according to this list india's rank is third in the unicorn list so india is the third largest unicorn system in the world after us and china but predictable this was usually when india is at third or fourth so when india is at third it is after us and china and when we are at fourth it's us china and russia theek hai so in terms of unicorns india is at the third position THE has announced the results of World University Rankings 2022 which of the following is the highest ranked institution from India So Times Higher Education Ranking because recently it has been released we need to cover and India's top institute is IISC in Bengaluru so this has been always the case that IISC Bengaluru is the top notch institution the which actually uh, falls under the or fulfills the criteria of the international level who among the following international cricketer resigned from all forms of cricket so uh, earlier we uh, saw that unmukh chand who was the under 19 captain earlier has retired but now this uh, cricketer has retired from all forms of cricket dale steen who has been appointed as the chairman and md of itpo so india trade promotion organization <coughs> is headed by lc goyal right please do not forget lc goel ji is the md of itpo theek hai guys speed is fine i hope you are not doing very quickly but jaldi we are not working right i know you guys are tired but just few more questions will be done very soon rajni call passed away she is related to which of the following fields to rajni call is related to journalism she recently passed away in the month of september she was the first woman to read a news bulletin in hindi on bbc nearly 60 years ago so rajni call is an important personality when we talk about journalism first hindi news reader was rajni call she has now passed away sayyad ali shah gilani died recently he belong to or he comes from which field sayyad ali gilani belong to the Uh, like politics he uh, was from jammu kashmir and he was a very important personality right and uh, he has passed away which of the following state governments has decided to amend its sports policy to reserve a certain percentage of jobs for athletes so sports policy has been launched by the state of assam haryana uh, is a state that does really good usually in sports right Assam uh, north eastern states are do also doing good so now assam has come up with this initiative that they will amend the sports policy so that uh, athletes can get a job directly which of the following states or uts has launched tourist village network under mission youth mission youth is related to jammu kashmir again why it's very easy hear me please that we feel that uh, uh, people of jammu kashmir should feel united to the state of india okay so the youth should be getting uh, that familiarity they should get the respect and they should know that what all opportunities are lying there in the country so that they should move to other states of india also so that is why this mission youth was launched theek hai jammu kashmir hai tourist village network has now been launched what is the objective of tourist village network objective is to adopt best practices recognizing the uniqueness of each village showcasing the landscapes theek hai Ladakh administration and dash signed an MOU for upgradation and improvement of road network in UT in the UT Ladakh is now union territory so the Ladakh and BRO border road organization so itni difficult height pe only border road organization can go and makes uh, roads right Arunachal Pradesh CM Pema Khandu has launched two credit linked schemes in state to boost what agriculture as well as horticulture that is why probably we are covering it here so agri and horti will be catered to by the scheme by pima khandu it is a credit linked scheme 
which of the following states or UTs has declared snow leopard edit as its state animal and black necked crane as its state bird? Guys, Ladakh. So, Ladakh UT said that our uh, UT state animal is uh, leopard and crane is our state bird. It can be asked this way also that which of the following is the state bird of uh, the newly created UT Ladakh? You must know it's black necked crane. Which of the following states or UTs has launched rural and enterprises acceleration program titled Saath for SHG's women? Saath is for self-help group of women which has been launched by Jammu and Kashmir. So rural enterprises acceleration are being done. Guys, many things pertaining to Ladakh, UT of Ladakh, Jammu Kashmir are being done. Mission Youth we have covered, Agri Hoti we covered. Uh, Nay, that was different. State animal valley cheese we covered. So, this is again enterprises program. Which of the following railway station has been awarded a five star eat right station certificate by FSSAI? Hanji, anyone? I am hoping that speed is not quick. I am trying to cover more and more questions very quickly. Anji. Okay, speed is fine. This answer to lovely students have given correctly. Chandigarh is the right answer. Speed is okay, but please let me know. Right. Yes, four hours ho gaye hai. I agree. We are trying to wind up jaldi. Very nice. Thik hai, thik hai. Chandigarh hai. Do not worry about PDFs, okay? Which of the following state government has decided to introduce catch-up courses for flood-affected students in the state? So, the, the students, they were flood-affected, their studies suffered. Uh, so, this has been launched by the state of Bihar. Which of the following states or UTs has launched Save Water to Get Free Water scheme? Save Water to Get Free Water will be launched by Goa. Households in the state would not be charged for water consumption up to 6, 16,000 litres. Very interesting. It's a part of your ESI. Also, guys, you have to understand that. That if you save water, you will get free water. That means if you do not spend above 16,000, your water would be free. Okay, but that does not mean that you start spending more because uh, itna sara water is coming for free. Okay? Chalo. Aur jaldi karte hai, students are requesting. Nagaland government has made an ambitious plan of attaining 100% literacy by DASH through strengthening Anganwadi centers and early childhood care centers or education besides improving infrastructure. So, Nagaland government has decided and the year is 2030. India and US 2 plus 2 dialogue to be held in November 2021. Which of the following statements are true related to it? So, the US 2 plus 2 dialogue took place. 2 plus 2 is India. So, this dialogue takes place between foreign and defense ministers. It's a biennial dialogue between India and US. This first dialogue took place in New Delhi in 2018. What is correct? Guys, uh, 1 and 3 are correct. Okay. So, uh, foreign as well as defense ministers come together. Inaugural dialogue took place in New Delhi in 2018. Okay? So, it's an annual dialogue. It's not biennial. Please remember. So, from 2018, we are doing this for every year. Okay, my dear lovely students, do not worry. We are uh, covering quickly. Just thodi si there or Okay, few more minutes and we'll be done. Uh, I really appreciate you guys have been constantly answering. Mil ministry, uh, sorry, the militaries of China, Pakistan, Mongolia, Thailand will take part in multinational peacekeeping forces to be organized by PLA. PLA is from China. 
right what would be the name of this exercise the name is shared destiny so china pakistan mongolia thailand want to share their destiny which will be organized by china so do you think pakistan mongolia thailand want china to lead their destiny we don't know but this will be organized by shared under shared destiny okay i hope you help this helps you to remember ndb new development bank has approved which of the following countries as its new member so ndb's new member is bangladesh uruguay uae ndb let me just recall and tell you that that ndb is the bank of brics brazil russia india china, china south africa it's a regional bank new development bank and now these three bangladesh uruguay uae are going to be their member india and dash have signed a project agreement for alue awaz what is this air launched uavs so uh, india and us so we take a lot of technology from us and israel also so this uh, air launched uavs are going to be uh, together india and us okay is that fine which of the following south asian countries has declared an economic emergency to contain soaring inflation after a steep fall in the value of the country's currency after a uh, spike in food Uh, prices very important this is guys Sa sri lanka declared an economic emergency you should know you should be aware that which neighbor of yours is saying that they are in economic emergency because then you have to help them okay that's your responsibility india is actually considered a very good nation it helps its nearby nations aisa nahi hai that we give vaccines to all the people and we used uh, don't use for the ourselves but uh, still we help others who has been appointed as economic affairs advisor to ap government so recent appointment this is we covered it here the personality is also important rajneesh kumar is now the economic affairs advisor of andhra pradesh chairman of the assembly of soci what is this soci uh i'll tell you it's assembly of the asian organization of supreme audit institutions gc murmu is now the chairman of it and it is supreme audit institutions assembly right is that fine india is going to host this assembly of soci in 2024 gc murmu please remember related to soci 2024 these are the three things most important who has been appointed as md of exim bank exim banks md M exim bank decided that they are going to give money to maldives right to so, harsha bhupendra bangari is the md of exim bank recent appointment central government has inaugurated five food processing projects in the state of gujarat assam karnataka or all all g a k food processing projects tamil nadu government has decided to celebrate every year the birth anniversary of imi ramasami periyar on dash as social justice day so ramaswami periyar is a very important personality from kerala okay his uh, birth anniversary would now be celebrated as social justice day and uh, uh, nahi he was from tamil nadu acha tamil nadu government government ne kiya to september 17th again <coughs> nabard examination grade b aspirants would be there he started self respect movement social justice day is on which day and announced by which government these are the two most important aspects the date of this day and the government that has announced central government has not announced this this you have to know india's first dugong conservation reserve will be set in which state dugong conservation reserve will be set up again in tamil nadu so social justice dugong dugong is a species which is found in water you can google the image if you want i did do, like i did not put the image here social justice day theek hai ji these two things you have to remember they are related to tamil nadu which of the following state government has decided to ban online gambling and betting so guys karnataka said that we will not do online gambling and betting why because online uh, it industry is there no so they want people to focus only on work right ठीक है जी विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेट्स और यूटीज हैज 
its first pollen calendar which can identify the potential allergy triggers this is by chandigarh right so it can provide a clear understanding of allergies about their causes and all pollen calendar which of the following states has launched an outreach program go to hills 2.0 so go to hills 2.0 is by manipur theek hai ji it aims to ensure that people in remote areas are able to aware the benefit avail the benefits at the doorstep to go to hills 2.0 is related to manipur please remember very very important who has been appointed as india's sherpa for g20 meet piyush goyal ji to sherpa he is our sherpa just remember this our sherpa is piyush goyal sherpa is a term related to g20 our sherpa is piyush goyal that's it which of the following organization has announced the launch of first edition of youth connect sahel forum 2021 the answer would be undp youth connect sahel forum by undp swachh sarvekshan gramin has been launched under sbm2 by which of the following ministry swachh sarvekshan gramin 2021 by the ministry of jal shakti स्वच्छ सर्वेक्षण है तो प्लीज रिमेम्बर स्वच्छ भारत मिशन इज रिलेटेड टू जल शक्ति कॉमर्स मिनिस्ट्री हैज नोटिफाइड टी आर क्यू टैरिफ रेट कोटा फॉर सर्टन आइटम्स लाइक पाइन एपल्स टूनास फॉर द इम्पोर्ट ऑफ दीज गुड अंडर द ट्रेड पैक बिटवीन इंडिया एंड सो टी आर क्यू इज रिलेटेड टू इंडिया एंड मॉरिशियस राइट अगेन दिस इज रेलिवेंट फॉर यूर ई एस आई ऑल्सो Recently, September 2021, a uh, SEBI introduced Dash Settlement Cycle for completion of share transactions on an optional basis. SEBI introduced the T plus one uh, settlement cycle. Right. CIL has announced to contribute rupees Dash towards NSDF as part of CSR. Uh, it's important. The amount is really huge. So, uh, Coal India said. that they are gonna uh, give 75 crore as the corporate social responsibility nsdf is what national sports development fund so cil is giving 75 crore one this you have to remember second they are giving to what olympics recently took place they decided that sports talent is there in a country we should pamper that which of the following organizations has implemented their anti money laundering solution at lic this is done by idbi intech a monetary penalty has been imposed on which payment bank uh, payment system operator for violation of norms by rbi so monetary penalty has been imposed on all of the above right we covered there were four so all these uh, we covered five payment system operators were fined these are the names of those four right Equitas Small Finance Bank has collaborated with which organization to launch its digital fixed deposits So digital FD we also covered Google Pay has announced that it is going to do on through UPI Equitas SFB is going to do it again through Google Pay According to the depositories data foreign investors have pumped in nearly dash in Indian capital market important data for not only GA for also ESI ठीक है, so for foreign investors have pumped in sixteen thousand five hundred crore in our capital markets. According to CGA, uh, Controller General of Accounts, government's excise collection jumps to what percentage in April July twenty twenty one? Recently in the quarter, what was the jump? It was forty eight percent. This is the data by government. It is the latest data, so we should cover it. Which of the following banks has joined hands with Fisdom? So Fisdom has partnered with UK UK Bank, right? Co Union Cooperative Bank. ADB has approved a dash loan for sustainable housing project for urban poor in Tamil Nadu. Guys, very important. Note down this, okay? You, if you want, take a screenshot. ADB partnered with Tamil Nadu. right for urban poor sustainable housing of urban poor the amount is 150 million which bank has given amount to tamil nadu for urban poor sustainable housing you have to know the answer adb what is the amount given by adb 150 million adb has given 150 million to tamil nadu for what purpose that can also be a question so three aspects of one single question 
ओके प्लीज रिमेंबर दिस Which of the following personalities has been selected to head a task force, which is constituted by Ministry of Coal, so that hydrogen mission can be overseen? So, his answer is Vinod Kumar Tiwari ji. He will oversee the hydrogen mission. As per NIRF ranking 2021, Ministry of Education, uh, which of the following institutions has emerged as the best institute in India? So, uh, as per NIRF rankings, it's IIT Madras. While, if you remember, in Times Higher Education International Rankings, it was IISC. So they usually in your national rankings they promote others or other organizations, other institutes. They know IISC is actually very good. In overall as well as in engineering category, IIT Madras topped. Every year, Himalayan Divas is celebrated on September nine. What was the theme for twenty twenty one? Himalayan Divas. Date, remember it. Theme was contribution of Himalayas and our responsibility. Very easy theme. So Himalaya ka contribution hai, and we should have responsibility. Which of the following power transmission companies has set up a cyber security system to protect power supply network network from hacking across the state? Very very important. So the power transmission company of Madhya Pradesh. It's a wonderful state in terms of governance. Also, it is considered as. So a cyber security system has been set up by Bharat Ka Dil. It's India's heart. It is considered as Madhya Pradesh, right? It is somewhere like if we say it is here, no, Madhya Pradesh. That's why, right? Indian Petroleum Minister has conducted a meeting with his counterpart from which country on strategic clean energy partnership. So Indian Petroleum Minister had a meeting with the counterpart from USA. It was about what clean energy. National Mineral Development Corporation has launched Global Grace Cancer Run in which city? Hyderabad, right? Global Grace Cancer Run in Hyderabad. Union Minister Jitender Singh has inaugurated latest state-of-the-art Doppler weather radar and indigenous GPS-based pilot uh, sonde in which city? Jammu, hai guys. So Jitender Ji has launched in Jammu the latest Doppler weather radar. Okay, they want to see the radar. Chandrayaan two has completed more than how many orbits around the moon? Nine thousand. So we read about Chandrayaan two recently. Who among the following has led India's contingent as the close at the closing ceremony of Tokyo Paralympics? What would be the answer? Avni Lekra. Everyone knows this answer, right? It's easy. India's contingent at the closing ceremony was led by Avni Lekra. Very, very important. Not Tokyo Olympics. Tokyo Paralympics. Chali. Next question. Which of the following drug manufacturing companies informed that TB Alliance has granted it a non-exclusive license to manufacture anti-TB drug Pretamonid? What would be the answer here? Sun Pharma, Glenmark, Sipla, Lupin, Mankind. Lupin is the answer, guys. TB Alliance has granted Lupin a non-exclusive license to manufacture anti-TB drug Pretamonid. Chale aage. Exercise Surya Kiran has conducted between has been conducted between India and Nepal at which of the following places? Pithoragad is the answer, guys. Surya Kiran has been conducted between India and Nepal. Very nice. Acha, slow, slow. Okay, okay. Let me be. ठीक है. थोड़े से just questions were left. No problem. 
नो प्रॉब्लम लेट्स बी स्लो ये ठीक है इज दिस डन एक्सरसाइज सूर्य किरण कंडक्टेड बिटवीन विच टू नेशंस इंडिया एंड नेपाल पिथौरागढ़ इज इन उत्तराखंड राइट इंडियन नेवल शिप शिप थ्री कंड पार्टिसिपेटेड इन मैरी टाइम पार्टनरशिप एक्सरसाइज विद द नेवी ऑफ विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग कंट्रीज हां जी आई एन एस थ्री कंड पार्टिसिपेटेड विद जर्मनी अच्छा वी हैड नाइनटी सेवन क्वेश्चन ओनली चलो जी ठीक है आई थॉट वी हैड हंड्रेड सो दैट्स इट गाइज माई डियर फ्रेंड्स थैंक यू सो मच फॉर योर प्रेशियस टाइम I wish you all the very best. I want you guys, the deserving candidates, to be on this Hall of Fame. Wishes, best wishes from Team Edutap. We wish you all the very best for any query. Drop us a mail at hello at edutap to hello at edutap dot co dot in. Uh, thank you so much for your precious time today. I really hope that the time you have devoted to us is gonna help you. I think that this session. will be helpful to you please let us know if you found the session useful pdf will be after cross checking i have to do a lot of cross checking after that the pdf will be posted on telegram by today or tomorrow right any query i'll be here with you ask me any query and those of you who do not have query are free they can go have their tea or lunch whatever they want theek hai ji thank you so much for your precious time any query please ask ओल्ड पी डी एफ नहीं है मिल जाएगा पी डी एफ वॉट कैन यू टेल मी दैट विच स्पेसिफिक पी डी एफ आई यू सेंग इफ यू टेल मी देन इट विल बी बेटर फॉर अस टू कॉर्डिनेट अच्छा कल के लेक्चर का पी डी एफ नहीं है आई एल मेक श्योर वो आपको मिल जाएगा ठीक है डोंट वरी दीक्षा मैम वाला हम करवा देते हैं अपलोड एंड आपके वाला भी करवा देते हैं आज वाला भी राइट एनी थिंग एल्स फील फ्री आई एम ह्योर विद यू Please study really well. Okay, do the revision. Download the PDFs. Do your revisions. Mil jayega PDF Telegram pe uh, today night or by tomorrow you'll be able to get it. ठीक है? Yesterday's PDF and today's PDF both will be posted. Yes, merit section is based on GA, ESI, and ARD. I would like to thank Gurkirat sir also. He took the session for two months. He completed and then he handed over it to me. So I hope you found the session useful. We tried to cover four months, uh, June, July, August, September. Most important, four hundred questions have been done. Four hundred plus questions were there. Next class, call hogi, right? Seven p.m. I think so. That will be it. ठीक है. Thank you so much. I'll wind up the session. Bye bye. Take care, and uh, wish you all the very best. Be happy. Be healthy. Keep calm. See you soon. And tomorrow is your session at seven p.m. Tomorrow's session will be on computer awareness. Right? Uh, either it will be on computer awareness, or yeah, do you have to check the schedule? ठीक है जी. Anshu Tawar, I have noted down your suggestion. ठीक है रवि जी वी हैव नोटेड योर सजेशन एंड विल ट्राई टू कम अप विद दैट ठीक है जी ओके सो बब बाय टेक केयर थैंक यू